What is up, Friday Nighters? Welcome back to another episode of Just Another Friday Night. I am one of your two hosts, CM Chuck, across hey. from me, Double hey, A. what's up, everyone? And these lovely ladies in the back here, uh, this is Jess, uh, my girlfriend. You guys have heard me talk about so many numerous times, uh, dressed as uh, one of the Sanderson sisters. And then Foxy Roxy returning uh, to the pod lab as Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Uh, guys, it's ladies' night tonight, so... We promise you pretty faces tonight, and we deliver. Yeah, so there you go. Something much better to look at than me and Double A, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Guys, thanks for joining us back on another episode. Uh, Foxy Roxy prepared us a drink tonight. What are we having? We are having Elvira's Kiss. Oh, there you go. It's got a cherry, cherry in the bottom. I'm waiting to get to that there. Well, here's to you, ladies. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Here's... Steve. Cheers, Steve. Cheers, Steve. <laughs> oh. It has a bite. That's got bite, for sure. <laughs> I don't think it's like a real kiss from Elvira. Uh, hun, welcome to your first time on the show. Thank you. Glad to have you Thank here. You for inviting me. Yeah, the co-creator of our logo there, as you guys all know, the awesome logo that I like to throw up anywhere I get a chance to. So uh, I have Jess to thank for that, my lovely artist thank here. You. Um, guys, uh, what is uh, up out there in the... Um, podcast uh audience land uh, steve says how's the brew oh uh, so the brew is good also got a beer here steve uh, me and double what are you drinking what are you drinking we're tonight? having some rolling rock me and jess rolling both we're, we're doing that yes. with our elvira's kiss here he's asking rpa no no no, no. a good no. old good old rolling rack steve i know you know from back in the day i know my dad said it was a big one back, back Roxanne, in the, in can the you tell days. us what was in elvira's kiss absolutely it was coffee liqueur champagne Champagne. With a uh, cherry, garnish. Mm. cherry garnish. I gotta say, champagne and coffee liqueur seem like a they wouldn't go odd. together. Yeah. There's an odd comp pairing right there, but I guess you gotta try. Kara's yes, in the sure. house. Kara says, "Love those ladies." Hey, Kara. As do we, Kara. Kara, welcome to the show, Kara. We appreciate you being here in the house, guys. We're starting uh, well, a little bit, well, kind of on time. Before yeah, eight for me is a win. <laughs> so, uh, double A, dazzle us with what happened in the world of pop culture okay, this uh, week. I know there was some major things. Halloween were, debut. Uh, Halloween Kills. Halloween Kills. Yeah, uh, I saw it on Peacock. I purchased Peacock. Oh, very so I nice. Just saw it on there. Okay, yeah. so we were trying to watch it at home and we couldn't find it, but it's I guess on Peacock. Peacock. Okay, okay, okay. okay. you got to buy it. That's what it What'd you pay? Twenty? Uh, it's four ninety nine. Oh, okay. No, no, no. It's just you're paying for a service. For That's it. Yeah. Oh, oh, sure. it. So, and, oh wow. Yeah. And it's already streaming on. And there. it's streaming. Badass. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Halloween awesome. Kills. Or it's ten bucks if you want ads free. But it's like all the NBC shows. It's got like Saved by the Bell. You know all the other shows that oh, I guess awesome. was on NBC. I think Dirty I have Rock. the free version because I was watching uh, Young Rock on there. On the Peacock, I Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. the NBC channel. You know, oh, like okay. Paramount, CBS, and okay. Hulu's ABC. So this is know. the paid service. Yeah. Okay. For which one? For Halloween. For Halloween's Peacock. Peacock. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 And cool. it was a pretty good movie. He's uh, he kills a lot more people in this movie. <laughs> oh, okay. Interesting. Kara just says oh, Halloween kills was a huge letdown. Let I've been hearing mixed reviews. So have you, ladies, seen it? I haven't. I've not seen it. it. Not seen. Looking forward to seeing it. Not really. I mean, I don't know. He, I didn't even. Like, he killed a lot of people in I this movie. I didn't really like the last oh. one that much. Okay. <laughs> Is it just the Rob Zombie versions you don't care for? Or? Well, no. Well, th that wasn't the last one. The last one actually had Jamie Lee Curtis on that. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is this one, too. But it was Rob Zombie, though, right? No, the, no, no, the no. Danny McBride movie. Is that right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting, interesting. Okay. No, so, see, you, you know that it's... Uh, Rob Zombie when you see Sherry Moon Zombie. There you go. Right? <laughs> like the like the Speaking of which, White we saw the picture of the monsters. Yeah, the monsters came so, out. That was revealed. Mm -hmm. He revealed mm -hmm. that. I think a lot of people were saying they weren't too happy with his casting because it was kind of the people he uses all the time. You know what I mean? I mean, everyone wife. uses everyone. Yeah, I mean, I guess if they uh, gave John him Carpenter. that property. John Carpenter uses the same people. Mm -hmm. Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. <laughs> Adam Sandler. <laughs> Seth Rogen's <laughs> crew. Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I mean. Uh, Steve says uh, he's having a scotch. Jason in the house. What's up, Jason? Go Astros, he no, says. Fuck no, Astros. no, fuck Astros. <laughs> no, fuck Astros. Double A's just the Astros, so there you go. I don't know. I mean, Sorry, Jason. I'm not always up on, on Houston teams personally, but who's left? Uh, I think Red Sox are still hanging in there by mm -hmm. the Astros, mm -hmm. and uh, I forgot what's on the National Is it Dodgers League. and... Dodgers uh, and Braves. The Braves. The Braves, okay. All right, interesting on, on that <sighs> side. Uh, you know, I got no... Uh, Skin of the game on on that in baseball. So. Oh, and then like some uh, pretty bad news. Uh, Alec Baldwin. Did you hear about right. that? Right. Yeah. Ooh. He uh, killed a uh, not a, intentionally. Right. A prop gun. Prop, prop gun. gun. Yeah. yeah. Prop gun I was like, yeah. Ooh. Very similar to the Brandon Lee incident, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So but that's awful. It was awful. a live round, and, and this one. Yeah. yeah. Whereas something something was just 
a debris inside. Like lodged in the right. other one. It's like, right? man, who checks? Who yeah, they're supposed to have a prop like master. There should be no bullets but, there. Right. Yeah, I know. Pretty wild. Uh, Kara says, are you wearing Amy's shirt uh, to me? Uh, I am, but I'm trying to make it my own. So if you see my shirt there, it's the squad there. Uh, yeah, I had to borrow. I had to borrow one for our theme That's tonight. That's actually a pretty perfect shirt. So. Yeah, pretty perfect. So. Uh, oh, unfortunately, shit. not not lit, lit lit as I'd like to be. Uh, Steve says, "Got off at noon, so I'm a little toasted. Be here for a bit. Well, we appreciate right. it. See, we're trying to get where you're at. Your Steve. guys in the house. Uh, Nene in the house. He says, hey. "If the guys twerk, I'll share this live." Uh, happy, Nene. Nene, you know we all, you always ask us, man, but it's a you don't understand. There's not a lot of room in here. <laughs> Twerking could cause all this alcohol to fall hey man, over. Your, your videos have been great. Been checking them out. It's been really good. Keep yeah. up the keep up the great work, man. I love you guys. Uh, are, you guys are fucking killing it out there. Angel and Michael Myers have yeah, been uh, fantastic, Myers, man. Yeah. Those have been really awesome. Uh, so <laughs> keep it up with that. Up. I want more Michael Myers, though. <laughs> Less Angel, more Michael Myers. <laughs> but great job, Nene. We appreciate, it, man. You're heading towards that million on TikTok, God, brother. Please. So uh, we, if I could follow you 10,000 more times I would to help you get there man but uh keep it up bro You're doing the good work uh let's see what else uh, uh, the DC fandom happened DC we got fandom our first happened. look at uh teaser trailers for the flash for the Batman movie yeah yeah pretty uh, exciting the new Batman trailer was really cool uh what do you think of Robert Patterson uh yeah he looks good I think he looks good he I, looks you, really good you were saying you were pretty excited yeah for when I saw him and and they show his you know his face and everything I was like who I'm gonna watch it yeah what about like, the cars yeah. here hmm? the, the car yeah, his car. It's different. It's cool. I didn't see it. I yeah, didn't see it. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to check it out. Yeah. They just debuted a new trailer and they showed like the new car and it kind of looks more like you know, well, kind of like your wife's car, but in black in a way. <laughs> you know? It looks like a regular yeah. car. I think this is supposed to be like a younger Batman. You know what I mean? Kind of when he's getting started. They right. kind of have tried to go back and do that before, but I think it looked pretty cool. I, I mean, it looks great. You know, I'm excited yeah. for you. We saw Penguin talk. I couldn't see Colin Farrell. I couldn't hear Colin yeah. Farrell. Yeah, that's like, Colin fuck. Farrell. Colin Farrell's playing the Penguin or really? whatever. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. Looks I could either. not hear him whatsoever. He looks like a big... I think guy. I just paid yeah. attention to when, you know, Patterson came out. I was just like... <laughs> I like how they're showing he has the black... I like that too. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty it cool. Keeps yeah. It real. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so, uh, what do we got oh, here? Jason says, "Don't be a hater. Go after us." <laughs> and Steve Go says, assholes. "Steve says, screw the twerk, protect the beard." Always, Steve. Always. Um, so you guys also, uh, I don't know if you guys did know or don't know, but they debuted a trailer for The Flash, also the new Flash movie. So they're taking the guy that was in the Justice League Flash, giving mm -hmm. him his own movie. Ezra Miller. Uh, Ezra yeah. Miller, right. Mm -hmm. But they're bringing in Michael Keaton back as Batman. So oh, wow. uh, they did not show him in the costume, but you see like a silhouette and it was okay. pretty cool. Oh, and nice. then you also see like, you can tell it's the old Batmobile under a tarp. And you see kind of him yank the cover off uh, Ezra Miller, but you don't see it. It goes black right at that moment. But he's like, you hear him being like, oh, you know, so it was a really cool wow. moment. I watched almost the whole thing. I casted it from YouTube onto my TV. Uh, it was a good fandom. You guys um, did a good job of posting that shit. Uh, yeah, man, it, it was really, really cool. I enjoyed watching. That was my first one watching the whole thing. Um, DC fandom. So that was pretty cool. Um, they also... Um, Titans, I think, had its season finale today, came out, uh, was really badass. I enjoyed it, uh, Titans season finale. Uh, again, go out and watch Titans if you're not watching it on HBO Max. Mm -hmm. uh, Rocks for You uh, last night came out. Uh, Dune, the new yes. Dune, oh. debuted. I'm very excited about it. You're a fan Dune. of the old Dune. I'm a fan of the old Dune. Nice. And there's some it had people a big who, star power. Oh, it did. It had a lot of stars in it. Kyle MacLachlan, though, was very young in it. And mm -hmm. it was just something that I watched religiously with my sister. We quote the movie. We love Damn. the movie. Nice. And people were, we were watching it, they're like, man, this is cheesy. I was like, I said, no, it is not cheesy. It's <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. Actually, it was a commercial flop, I believe. Yeah. Yes, I think it, it was. cost 30 yeah. million it and it only made, it, like, it cost 40 and it only made 30, I think. And I also think that it's the movie that David Fincher directed. He says he hates. I think, oh, was wow. it Fincher that directed? Yeah. I, I don't know. David Lynch. David Lynch. David Lynch. That's who it is. Yeah, that's the one piece of work that he and says he hates. And that's why like a lot of Kyle MacLachlan is also in, like, you know, directors use their actors over and over mm -hmm. again. Kyle MacLachlan was definitely one in, like, Twin Peaks. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's a favorite of his. It's a favorite of mine. I love the whole idea of it. It looks like a fantasy film. Did he do Blue Velvet? Mm -hmm. yes. Blue Velvet okay. and Mulholland okay. Drive. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people that say that but they hate Kyle, Dune. So. Oh yeah, Kyle yeah, Block is yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, he's in Blue Velvet also. Yeah, and people that hate hate. Uh, I guess people, some people that try to hate on him for Dune. He's got Mulholland Drive and like Blue Velvet that kind of redeeming. Yeah, yeah Mulholland you know. Drive, man, it got me until the end. <laughs> yeah, that's a freaky one. I, I like. I, I, like know, I didn't know what movies. happened after. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I'm trying to get you to watch it, CM. The, new, the old one. The old one. <laughs> the new one looks really cool. We saw trailers before we saw uh, Shang-Chi, I think. And uh, I mean, Oscar yeah. Isaac's in there. I love yeah. Oscar. It Isaac, looks great. So. Jason Momoa. I mean, uh, Zendaya. So I mean, I was like, wow, whatever this is looks pretty epic. How do you feel about the new one? The way I'm, it looks. I'm excited to watch it. Okay. I will give it a chance because I'm so in love with the film. Yeah. Um, I actually have the book at home, but I never really read it. Okay. Oh, it's they like told a me whole I would love franchise. It. Yeah, it's yeah. A, I have like three of the books at home. Okay, so they're probably gonna make more off of well, this if hoping. it's successful, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So, will you watch it at home because that's on HBO Max, or will you go to theater for I it? I want to go to the theater. It looks very theater worthy the way it looks. Like it looks like a big movie. You know what I mean? Right. But I don't know if we'll make it to the theater for it. Or not. <laughs> it's hard when it's at home. It's like, oh, it's already here. You know? Right. Steve says. Go Astros and John in the house. Oh, what up, oh, Hope Chess, Bear? Guys. Yeah, man, we appreciate you being here, Johnny <laughs> Boy. <laughs> uh, uh, Roxanne, something really cool for us uh, and John. Uh, Michael Rosenbaum and Tom Welling got together on the fandom, and yes. they're thinking about doing something now. So. Yeah, the Smallville stuff, yeah. right? We so. were a big, big fan of Smallville. Watch that every week with Cat. Yeah. I mean, yeah. with yeah. Adam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Double A was telling me about that. Y'all would come just to watch it like on a Tuesday or something. It was like on that. a Tuesday and yeah. then it moved to Wednesdays. But I mean, Pretty John cool. and Roxanne would always come, and it was like seven, eight o'clock. Yeah, know, see John's car going around. Yeah. Like, hurry up, hurry up. You know? yeah, we ran, to, Cause, ran cause, to the yeah, to the door. We didn't yeah. have pause at that no time. Pause, so. no, no TiVo back then. Right? <laughs> and uh, Double A, uh, is it uh, Friday Night or Jack that became a fan like later afterwards? Later, after yeah, it was later. already done. I feel yeah. like he watched some of your shows afterwards. That one, Supernatural. Yeah. but after they were kind of in yeah. there. Uh, in their later uh, years. Uh, Holty Bear says, bring Smallville back. Uh, I would definitely like to check it out. They both look pretty good. I know they you posted the, uh, the Twitter uh, stream that they had done or whatever. I think there was a full interview. The fandom didn't show yes. at all. Yes, but... it was. It was a full interview. So uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, he looks great. He looks big now. Yeah, he looks like, pretty he big. He can really play Superman. Like he's trying to work, been trying to work it out, for sure. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty cool. Uh, they also showed uh, my guy, Tyler Hoechlin, the new uh, Superman, right. and uh, Elizabeth Tillich, who are playing uh, Lois Lane, Lois, the yeah. Superman and Lois show. They're going to do a season two. Uh, great season one. You can watch, I think, it all now on HBO Max. Really, really That's fun right. show. I think if you guys like the Smallville, you might uh, get into this one. A different kind of take on the whole Superman stuff that's going on. So, right. um, anything else, Double A, that kind of happened in the world of uh, pop culture, uh, movies, TV th this week? That Just the Eternals is coming up. Uh, next week, soon. yeah. Uh, we got like, what, nine days till Halloween? Mm -hmm. We still so haven't caught Bond Halloween. yet. Yeah, we, no, nine no, days till Halloween. I know, I, I want to go see that one. Um, and that other one we talked about with uh, The Last Duel with uh, Adam Driver and oh, Matt yeah, Damon yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, came out, I think, is out already as well. So it if you looks good. get to the it's theater, amazing. something to check out. Um, so I think you guys, that's anything you want, you just want to talk about? That may have happened or that you may have seen or talked about? We've well, been... I watched the American Horror Story, the double feature. that one? That looks weird. Mm -hmm. That's the funny thing about it. So the first one was Red Tide. So it's a double feature. Okay. It featured vampires, which was kind of cool okay and it brought back um evan peters which i love and if, yeah, whatever evan peters does, oh, yeah. I love. <laughs> yeah. it had <clears throat> such a good emmy premise. winner yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it had such a good start i was just like oh this is kind of nice because a lot of times with american horror story it's up and down right you'll have a yeah. good start yeah. and not a good finish mm -hmm. and that's i was like oh this is looking promising and then the ending happened and i was like mm. <laughs> me and jess were watching sorry. up until uh we did Roanoke, and then we stopped because it was like the next one we couldn't After get into. Roanoke. Well, and we just... I think that's the one that had Trump on it, right? No, that's Cult. That, that was cult. The, the one after Roanoke. Mm -hmm. okay. So whatever one was after Roanoke, that's where we, we watched we one stopped. or two and we were like, now nah, we're yeah. done. And I was kind of the same way. The cult one I saw and I said, oh my God, this is about Trump and it's about everything. This is a little too real for me. Yeah. yeah. I need to stop that's it. That's what kind of yeah. sucks, right? Shannon, actually, my sister Shannon, and she said, no, keep going because... Uh, Evan Peters is hilarious. Okay. And so okay. I was like, oh, okay, let me watch it. I said, like, oh, I see what she's talking about. <laughs> it's kind of tough when you're watching something and like you have to push through. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, man. Like, now, I've always heard like, Witches you know. is the best season. Is that true or no? I always thought Murder House, the first the season, first season. Was the Yeah, that best one was one. really good. Um, our, I, think, I did love The Witches. But I love yeah. The Witches, the witches but cool. only because um, yeah. the music was uh, uh, from, what's her name? Uh, Stevie? Stevie Nicks. That's oh, right. Stevie Nicks. Yeah. It was like all of her and music comes out. in that and show. She comes in, she and she comes I was just like, it just went with the the whole 
the whole uh, Caesar series yeah. of that witches, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, you know, she's dancing to the music, mm -hmm. dreams, you know. Oh, it's, nice. it's just I, awesome. Coven is the one I rewatch a lot. Coven, yes. Coven, Coven, that's Coven. the one. Yeah, yes, I yes. like Coven, but Asylum is my favorite. Asylum, I think it's favorite. Asylum, Murder House, then Coven for me. Mm -hmm. uh, but the circus one was cool too. That was circus like the one. circus one had circus a circus really one. good yeah. beginning. Yeah. Oh my god, neat. the beginning was actually scary because mm -hmm. they had this twisty the clown twisty the clown yeah, yeah. yeah. And probably then the breakout one the character. ending mm -hmm. kind of like fell flat for me the and they were doing the freaks <clears throat> they kind of showed the freaks oh yeah but they the didn't freaks. do anything with the freaks which yeah was they did it yeah. i was a little bit sad about right. it yeah. yeah and they kind of based i think some of them on real like actual yeah. carnival mm -hmm. uh was it what was it called was uh, actual movie? Freak no, no, no. That, that season of American Horror Story Freak it was show. Freak Show. Freak That's show. what I was talking about. Freak Show. show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very cool. But this one had a double feature. So the first was vampires. The second one was aliens. And the aliens, what I liked about it is they had like kind of like a two two story thing. One in black and white where it showed Eisenhower, Mamie Eisenhower, hmm. uh, Richard Nixon, really, <laughs> uh, John F. Kennedy, okay, Marilyn okay. Monroe. Okay. So cool. it's got like these people who play these characters and dealing with. Like area is it area fifty one? Area fifty one. Because oh, yeah, that shit. was a time of area yeah. fifty one. So it shows that show yeah, we did contact aliens, right? Right. Oh, and then it, it would show it to twenty twenty one, where these characters we really didn't care about that much, I guess. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But um, it just ended. Okay. Like it, it, there was the finale where like everybody thought, oh, I'm gonna press pause, go to the bathroom, and see what comes on at next, and then they were like, oh, wait a minute. That, that's that's it. the end. Okay. <laughs> wow, interesting. So, what do you think yeah. it is, Roxanne? Do they or just do they need to shorten the episodes? I actually or think. Or do they not have it planned out? And... I think having a double feature this year was a terrible idea because okay. uh, Red Tide actually had a good beginning. They just needed to flush it out a little bit. What what happened was? You would think they would have enough time. I yeah, know. seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like are they in a rush to pump these out? I mean, like, like Marvel he, does a great job of fleshing out mm -hmm. the characters. Yeah, I, I, you know, even Hotel was okay. We liked Hotel. I also. liked Hotel. Is that the one yeah. with Lady Gaga? Yeah, with Lady Gaga when she first it came out. Yeah, of, uh, the Sarah Paulson character yeah. was great. Well, She's that's... always fantastic. Is she still around? Yeah, she is. She was okay. in both ah. of them actually. <laughs> okay, good. Nice. Well, that's here's good. the problem on the one red tie with the vampires. They established characterization mm -hmm. within minutes with Aaron, Evan Peters and Francis Conroy. Like, you're like, oh my God, I instantly like them. Mm -hmm. I can get who they are. In the second episode, you really get who they are. So okay. it wasn't that, that wasn't the problem. The problem was is that they killed off all the awesome characters uh, and you're left with the proud no. characters. Okay, okay. <laughs> so that was what I thought. Mm -hmm. I think I liked that last one because it was kind of Shining-esque. With the ah, hotel, okay. yeah, with the hotel, yeah, you know definitely, mean? yeah. So yeah, and they even brought in some real serial Crouching. killers like that Ooh. played into it. Like that was they brought like they showed Richard, Richard Ramirez, Ramirez Zodiac yeah, killer. Like he, he right. was like the main part in that Eileen newest Warnes. one, the Camp, the eighties. Oh really? Nineteen eighty four. Yeah, nineteen eighty four. Yeah. Yes. Okay, interesting. Uh, we have a question from Aaron B. He says, "Who are those two awesome looking ladies in the background?" <laughs> Aaron. Hi. Oh, and then Jonathan John brings up something pretty interesting. He said, "No more Splashdown. Yeah, they so are closing uh, Splashdown, and it's going to be a car dealership now." Wow! Yeah, I'm so <laughs> yeah. Well, I just read I just read an article a few hours ago about it, and they were just talking about how um, the owners of Splashdown were in a conversation with the Cavender uh, oh, owners about buying Splashdown. So that's the last that i heard so wow i think, and I think they it's probably gone. finally yeah. they purchased it i guess well what you got to do is you got to have the cars inside a splash town <laughs> and you can see the cars <laughs> while you're splashing you actually around. rode through one to get to the uh, water there you go right <laughs> you add that to the water slide it's a whole nother element Ain't nothing right like going there. through a cadillac right <laughs> sam rich says what's up everyone rich in the house rich in the house uh, guys yeah. for those of you just joining us uh we do have foxy roxy here and of course J lady j jess uh my girl in the house <laughs> as well so El virus kid a virus kiss well, right here. Well, it was so good that I finished mine. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I said about powering through. <laughs> uh, Tony Stark himself in the house, it sounds like. He says, hey, y'all, it's Rizzo, uh, still banned from my main hey, account yeah. for another two days. Hey, it's guys. been a long week. What up, Riz? We appreciate you Damn, being here, brother. Okay. Riz, I had no idea that that was you in that under that disguise as that in the uh, in some of the other groups that we're in together. Here you are hidden with a hidden identity. Right. 
appreciate you being here. Rich, cheers to yeah, you Rich as well. Yeah, Rich says Rich. cheers to everybody. Uh, good, good drinking, y'all. What did y'all see out of DC Fandom? Or what have you been watching in the spirit of spooky season that's been getting yeah. you uh, Roxanne, pumped up? You, and uh, Tony on Instagram, I don't know if you follow him or not, mm -hmm. but he in his story, he's he's doing uh, 31 movies that probably no one has ever seen. Oh, a lot okay. of foreign a lot oh, of I've stuff. seen that. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. him and Caitlin. Mm -hmm. They've been doing like a really cool thing nice. on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there a movie that you would probably recommend that, you know, no one would see? Because everyone always sees Texas Chainsaw. Yeah. Halloween. Absolutely. Or UJS or UCM. Tony, mm -hmm. you know, Caitlin, have you seen uh, La Mageddon? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We've scrolled past that a couple of times, uh, and we've decided on no. But he he had in there. He had the gate. He had the original mummy. Yes, he actually the, had the, the thirty two yeah. mummy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So some yeah. of them he had in there. I yeah, have so. seen. Yes, yeah. Um, well, I would the recommend. Gate was a good pick. I, I was like, cool. With the yeah. gate. I what would you seen. recommend? For that, for huh, there's a you know every day I'm watching something on Shutter uh -huh. and it's just like some of them are like wow <laughs> big time. Yeah. Um, why did I watch it? I don't know. Maybe just to say I watched it, but I mean there isn't nothing. Well, actually, um, when I told you about the one that was called um, Trip Camping Trip. Oh yeah, Camping Trip. You said that one was pretty good, worth watching. Yes, it was okay. So it's subtitled. It's um, I guess Austrian. I want to okay, say okay, language, okay. but um, you but can of course Shutter. convert it. Um, yes, it's on okay, Shutter. On Shutter. Um, and um, it was really good. It was about the couple. They go to a cabin, and ah, um, that's always bad. They mm -hmm. are having their differences, and you know, of course they are. They both decide that hey, we're gonna kill each other. Ah, but oh, neither yeah. one knows it. The other one decided that. The other one that. decided that. So. Kind of like, that's kind of a different twist. Right? And the <laughs> events just keep twisting and mm -hmm. twisting, and you're like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> it's just. You you know I, I'm you have to see it you yeah. have to see it it's 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 pretty it's pretty good. Well, Rizzo okay. says that right now him and his family are watching Poultry Guys. Nice. They haven't seen it before. His family. <gasps> oh, cool. oh and, it's such and a good movie. Then John, I know it came on Turner Classic. We saw it earlier this week. And then John says Polaroid. Polaroid. Yes. Polaroid. Okay. Oh yeah. We watched well, that. First off, oh. Roxanne, tell us about that movie that you're talking about. First off, before you get into Polaroid. Which one? That oh. one that you said. What is Tony? What is that? Lamageddon. 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 What is that? It's ridiculously terrible that it's it's so terrible that you're like, oh, I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> That's what I go I, through every day. I, but actually, I didn't get to finish it because I was getting ready, but I was like, oh my God, Lama. Oh, you're watching it today. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was getting ready and I was just like, oh, I need to finish this one. But I've seen different things like Black Sheep was hilarious. Um, there's Killer Couch. Oh, jeez. Wow. <laughs> but there's actually one, if, I, if we're going to be serious, I actually really like one that's on Shutter playing right now with Jodie Foster and Martin Sheen. And oh, it's that the, movie. The little girl who lives down the lane. Yeah, like Martin Ooh. Sheen is playing, is playing Ooh. like Ooh. kind of like a, like a child molester. Oh, yeah. Like, oh. This, is when, this is when Jodie was still like taxi driver age. Yeah, she's oh. 13. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, so this is a classic. Like, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I was like, Ugh. Well, the day before yesterday, I was watching uh, Killer Bong. That's, oh my God, has <laughs> uh, oh, Chong man. in it. Oh, shit, Chong. Actually, Chong was, was uh, out on it. I was in and out of sleep during that one, and the parts I was catching, I was like, fuck this. So, I was like, uh, Elvira is, you know, of course, she's doing pop-ups in there, right? Oh, she's that talking. made it awesome. Okay. And, and one of the things is she's like, well, let's see how many times uh, Chong says man. And it goes <laughs> Like thirty something, nice. he's like, yeah, man, there. and yeah. uh, you know, take a token of this man, and it's just like ding, ding, ding every time he says man. It's oh, it's just so yeah. She did it was the, horrible, uh, but you know. She did. We just was watching uh, Elvira do uh, the Satanic Rites of Dracula. It's a Christopher Lee yes. one. Yes. Yes. But she was like, yes, this I movie's so bad. They should call it the Satanic Wrongs of Damn. Dracula. <laughs> and dude, I mean, that was such a snooze fest, man. I was like, oh man, I knocked out. We did watch Hellraiser though, because Jess was saying she hadn't Hellraiser. watched him in a while. Love those so we two. watched uh, part well, one, yeah. and it was a uh, you know I mean I remember it really well. Violent, yeah, gory, I remember it really violent, well. So the bloody. characters, like yes. the characters. Yeah, Uncle I, Frank. I forget how yeah, Frank's an asshole. I was mm -hmm. telling him the other day. I was like, man, these characters are so great. Like, yeah. there's no CGI. Like these no. things are made up. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what they make polymer, wax, whatever it is, but it's mm -hmm. great. Like, it takes me uh, back. And I made Jonathan Uncle Frank one year for yeah. Halloween. Oh, nice. Right. John was a really good now, Uncle Frank. Roxanne, tell us about Polaroid. Polaroid? That John brought up. Well, you know, we actually kind of just 
found it okay. on Netflix. Netflix, mm-hmm. okay. And it's kind of one of those movies where like, okay, it's not like the best movie, but it's so entertaining that you're like, okay, I'm going to finish watching it on the couch because a lot of times we'll give a movie five minutes and we're like, this is not worth our time. Yeah. But what was really nice about it is that they took a picture and the the photograph is like has a demon attached to it Ooh, sh- that okay, kills you. Okay. okay. <laughs> and so if you take I a, think I saw this with y'all. So if you take a picture like with five people, that demon's gonna go through the line Damn. and kill the five people. So it's a little people. bit final yeah, destination is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You seen it? I'm I've seen it. it yes. Okay. Interesting. Um, it wasn't bad. Some. Polaroid and what was the movie you suggested, Jess? Uh, Killer Bong. Killer Bong. <laughs> There you go. Hey, Rich says, that's Which why I, I don't go camping. Horror movies happening in a camping ground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me, for Tony, two picks or anyone out there to go watch, if you can find them, watch A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. We're oh, going to be talking about it. Movie. And then the other one is Aramentari, uh, but it's the translation is uh, The Blacksmith and the Devil. Uh, I believe it's Portuguese, I think. Is that yes. Me? That's not me. You're correct. It's, it's is that you? Oh, I was going to say, that's somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the mic's picking that up, turn it off. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, we're pretty close to our first break here. We won't take it just yet. Um, but uh, when we do, then we'll come back and uh, open up the, the subject matter with you guys. Yeah, it's going to be a uh, fun one, and that's why we invited Roxanne and Jess here. Yeah, very specific um, reason, and we invite you all to join the conversation, too. I'm sure... There is this topic is so huge. There's no way we're going to touch on everything. I have a list, and no. it's just and then we haven't talked to each other really about it. So we're going to see what everyone kind of brings to the table. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It's this. kind of like uh, you know everyone talks about you know Michael, uh, Freddy, Leatherface, Jason, Freddy, Jason, yeah. and you see those costumes every year. You see mm-hmm. people dress up, but we're, you know this time it's like, what about the other side? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of iconic uh, Halloween. Out yeah there, oh yeah for sure know? for sure we want to definitely get into all of those uh double eight i don't i don't remember hearing you say your opinion about halloween kills oh did you say that you oh, did I like liked it, it. You i liked it. it okay okay i, I know you said yeah. you saw it but i wasn't sure if you were like yeah, he kills a lot so okay like, cool 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 <laughs> all right good i mean oh, more than the first one yeah way more than the first michael one. myers no why, why were you not looking forward to it are you just done with michael myers or no it's just like my thing is is that he comes back they kill him they can cut his head off or mm. you know pretend they cut his head off and he just comes back and i'm just like when is it gonna when is he going to die oh, that, that's the thing i was saying that's the thing i was saying my wife christina is like these movies are kind of difficult to figure out like this one this series that they're doing just completely ignores two through right yeah. resurrection okay right. this is just like a sequel to the first one a new and, time yeah and, and then, i don't even think she has a son in this one it's a no, daughter no 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 a daughter yeah mm-hmm. Mm. And uh, yeah, because uh, what's his name? Uh, Josh. Uh, Josh. Uh, Harnett. Okay. Josh Har- Harnett. Is that I name? forgot it. You the know, one from Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, Josh yeah. Har- he was a son of HBO. Oh, ah, okay. you know. So and then the Rob Zombie movies are like a direct sequel, part two. Okay. And they ignore three, four, five, six, and seven. Somebody was yeah. saying <laughs> that somebody was saying that Paul Rudd was in one of them. The yes, he, is. he should come Myers. back. And he's Tommy. He's Tommy Doyle. He plays Tommy. The, the little boy. Plays, yeah, the little but they boy. brought someone new to be Tommy. Anthony yeah. Michael but, Hall is Tommy. Oh, yeah. He should have kept Paul Rudd. And that person, Michael Myers, had like some weird... He, he like, was part of like a cult. Yes, a cult. A Celtic cult. Yeah, and he was like <laughs> almost the embodiment of an evil Halloween. And then, <laughs> and then the little girl in 4 and 5, she's supposed to be the niece of Laurie. Yeah. So mm-hmm. they There's kind of ignored kind of that too. And okay. then part 3 is just like a stand Hmm. Just There's on its whole, own. The whole Michael Myers re- re- reminds me of those, um, these uh, American soap operas that never die, like the Young <laughs> and the Restless. <laughs> it's like okay. they bring back the children's children and they continue the story. It's like <laughs> let let me finish it for me, please. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I was, it was funny because I was actually watching a, a documentary about Halloween, and she said she wanted it to end on H two O. Well, right when they were about to finish shooting, that's when they came out and said, uh, Jamie, there's a contract. I mean, there's a clause in the contract. You can't kill Michael. And she's like, but that's the whole point of doing H2O. Was he finally kill the bastard? And she's like, no, you can't kill Michael Myers. And so that's why they did Resurrection. Uh, to show that it wasn't him that he got his head chopped off. Right, right. Yeah. After, yeah. But so there was a clause and she was pissed about it. And she was like, well, fuck, why I mean, are we I making like this movie too? To the, you yeah, know, she's, but she was movie. like, why are we yeah. making this? You know, <laughs> right. she was like... Yeah. yeah, that's why the first one is the best. Mm-hmm. The first one is and the I best. I love the second I, one. I like the first one, yeah. And I think the second one's pretty but, good, you know, too. I, I never did right like how they made him brother and sister, because I can never figure out that connection. How the fuck were they brother and sister? <laughs> 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I think they said that the parents had another little girl, but yeah, she was so. adopted by the Strohs. And yeah. He, it was I don't know so how proud, he, so. exactly he found out, but he found out yeah. from like Loomis, Doctor Loomis. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Freaking Doctor Loomis. <laughs> Good old Loomis. Well, we'll have to find out, guys, and check out Halloween Kills for ourselves and discover if it's you know whatever. But you know, if you saw it already, what did you think about it? And are you done with Michael Myers? Do you want more Michael Myers? Less Michael Myers? Well, it made fifty mil, so there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah. so. uh, guys, we're right up at that first break, so we're going to take that now, let our audio load in, read through the comments, answer any questions, and then we're going to be back and get into the subject for tonight on another episode of Just Another Friday Night. So, guys, we'll be right back. All right, guys, and you know if you're watching us on Facebook Live, we didn't go anywhere. There's no actual break. Uh, they took our commercial away, so yeah. Uh, our lighting right now is totally screwing with me. It makes me, I don't know, I feel like you're I'm, fine. I feel you're like fine. I'm in you're the beautiful. shadows. You're but, beautiful. Uh, yeah, beautiful. 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 We'll can uh, it's uh, good. have one of these. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, we, we read Rich's comment about camping. Uh, Kara says, uh, I love the Rob Zombie versions of Halloween. Uh, but awesome. you just said Halloween kills suck. No, 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 no. But Halloween kills is not part of Rob Zombie. Oh. Right. He only did the yeah, Halloween this is, one and two. This is part two of Danny McBride's trilogy. Okay. okay. Danny McBride is the, the main guy directing this new trilogy. And he's the one that did. He's a curly hair dude, the comedian. Really? Yeah. He's directing With these? Seth Rogen. Well, he's he's not directing them, but he's pretty much like the guy behind it. No kidding. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So that idiot is fucking doing these movies. <laughs> All that right there, I'm lost. I love that guy. I know. I yeah. love him, too. He's fucking, I love him, and this is the right. end. Yeah. yeah he's uh, and in uh, Girls Trip? Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The police officer. Tropic Thunder? I yeah. Yeah. probably would know him. Oh, Tropic yeah. I was a huge fan of Eastbound and Down. Eastbound and Down. I, I, yeah. I own yes. three of those seasons. Yeah. Eastbound and Down is my show. He's fucking funny in that movie. Okay, okay, so Kara um, says the Rob Zombie versions are good. That's yeah. awesome, Kara. I, I did not like them. I hated that they gave them an origin. Yeah. Uh, I, the, and they it's made the, huge. I did that's like cool. that part. I did I like that part. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't like it. They gave them the, the typical serial killer background. The right. Killing the animals. Yeah. The being awkward. He was going to become. The bad family. That. Yeah. I was okay. like, eh, Sharing okay. the zombie. Sorry. <laughs> that's a mom. Yeah, she's a mom. Yeah. She's a mom. Of so. course, right? Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not too keen on. I, I mean, I haven't seen it yet. You know, the, the monsters. But it seems like he always cast them as like psychos. So it's like, okay, now they're they're gonna be the monsters. A lot of people are like, worried about the monsters. So. You know, but I, so. I like I liked uh, you know his house of a thousand corpses. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah. And, you know, I've like, never really sat through movie. any of his those movies because I don't that really get really into good. like uh, that type of horror it's flick. It's really, really good. Yeah. I have a small story with that. We actually saw House of a Thousand Corpses the commercial or the preview way before it actually came out mm -hmm. and it looked really scary mm -hmm. and he had a lot of trouble making that film mm. so it couldn't come to fruition until oh. like five years later that's right yes yes that's right and Interesting. so we were five years of build up me and john was like we saw that preview we want to watch it we, we can't wait and we went to the theater and we watched it and we're like oh yeah. It's not scary. <laughs> uh, not scary. Okay. It's not scary. scary but, but I mean, just it looks love scary. The I think he was trying to make the it like story. the 80s. I love movies. this story. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, like things like The Hills Have but Eyes and like kind stuff of, about yeah, psychos. She, I don't really to... get that. I prefer like a monster or yeah. a creature or and like. Rain Wilson was you know. that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I, I think right. I remember seeing right. him in one of the. I one love the psychos. Oh, and the guy who does the Talking Dead. Oh, Chris. Chris Hardwick? He's in it. Really? Yeah, he's in the beginning. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, I'd give them a chance because I have. I haven't seen them so and i know there's several I like his wife in that movie the first house of a thousand Corpses. yeah she's yeah, pretty damn that's good. the first one right yeah. then it was what the car scene devil's reject devil's rejects oh devil's yeah rejects. Okay. but this last one that he did it was pretty bad this lords of salem no 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 the third, third movie in that trilogy um, i forgot the name I know. it's like i forgot but it's a continuation 31? huh 31 no I don't know. There's a bunch, though. I know there's no, there, like, but there was like a third movie to this okay. trilogy of his. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and I, I don't know. It went I to like comedy. It. it went to the. Comedy I always thought Sid Haig looked cool. He was the Captain Spaulding, and I like he's in the third one. He's in the third one. Yeah, and he looks beast, he looks pretty yeah. bad in that third one. Oh, all right. But he wanted to do a lot of comedy in movies that are supposed to be serious. Yeah, I mean, I I'm kind of of that nature as really? well i would say so yeah i'm kind of like what are i know we he hates here? comedy thor so, i hate comedy thor. <laughs> yeah what did you I, say i'm gonna put that wig on and be thor yeah, I, told, I, told, I, told, 
yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, it just gave, like, any fat guy a reason to dress up like Thor. Like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do when it comes to, to, you know, Marvel's got, I guess, a little bit more comedy <sighs> aspects to it than some of the other universes. But Sure, that's fine, but you know. don't fuck up Thor. <laughs> we're big Thor fans here, just another Friday night, so we, we love them. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I think we're good. We're caught up on comments. Uh, we'll allow you guys to give us your thoughts and opinions uh, as the topic begins uh, right now. So let us get right on into it. Uh, let will start it right now. All right, guys, if you heard that brief uh, snippet of, you know, the sound going out, uh, there used to be a commercial there, but there isn't one anymore. Um, so you just hear that go out while our audio loads, and then we get right back into it. But if you ever want to hear the complete and unabridged conversation, go check us out on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, we're trying to get up there. We're stuck around 65, uh, but you can see everything that happens during the comments. If you commented during the show and want to hear our response to your comment, it'll be in that version of the show. If you're listening to us on Spotify or any other podcast platform, you won't hear that. That version you'll hear this version that you're hearing right now the and, cut version. and if i the may cut, cut you off on that Go point right ahead, that huh? you were talking about um i try to every friday night if you guys if you're a uh, part of the friday night faithful if you can okay. uh subscribe to the channel it'd be great i mean we have 300 plus people that are in the in the Friday Night Faithful. <laughs> if you can go subscribe, I mean that will help the channel out immensely. We'll appreciate it. It's free. You just go hit the subscribe button, guys. Come on. It, that's all you got to do. Only once and, a week. We don't plug uh, yeah. your stuff. <laughs> you, don't have, you don't even have to watch it. Just subscribe. Yeah. yeah. We, know, we, we, watch we greatly yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. Watch 30 seconds of watch it. It will be seconds. great. Yeah. yeah. If you don't like what you hear in 30 seconds, click it off. I'm, I'm more okay with that. 30 yeah. seconds. Well, we ask for yeah, 30 seconds. Just 30 seconds. Come on, yeah. guys. But we, we would appreciate it. You, you guys can do it. I believe in you guys. Just Friday Night Faithful. Come on. There you go. There you go. I appreciate that, Jess. But we, always love the, we always love the love uh, here at the Friday Nighters <laughs> and the Friday Night Faithful. Uh, but guys, tonight, uh, the reason why we brought in the two bodacious babes is because uh, we're it's ladies' night, and we're talking specifically the madams of the macabre, the women of horror. Who were those chicks that were dressed in all black with the black hair and the pale faces that uh were willing you were willing to let them suck on your neck if need be Ooh, uh there were nice. numerous guys throughout uh history of horror you yeah know? so like i kind of uh approached this to cm i was kind of like you know what let's kind of do it and uh, let's not talk about like the heroines i mean that could be easy we can talk about jamie lee curtis we mm -hmm. can talk about nancy we can talk about you know sigourney weaver clarice like, starling clarice mm -hmm. you know i was like let's talk about the actual women that are supposed to be terrifying yeah, you know? totally. No, totally. I like that. So, uh, and we kind of uh, had a little bit of a discussion with it. Uh, me and Foxy Roxy were talking a little bit about like, you know, where do you put a movie like uh, Hocus Pocus? You know, and, and to me, the way I think about things, guys, and I'll, I'll refer to this several times is like when you were, I'm, I'm older. So back in the day, when you go to Blockbuster, what section was the movie in? You know, Hocus Pocus wouldn't have been in the horror section. It wouldn't have been in the horror section, but they do a lot of bad shit in the movie. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, and, and I do know that they you know, become they, kind of they, Halloween icons. They, you know? Yeah. They do kill a kid in the beginning, kind of, yeah. you know, and they, they turn do. a kid. Yeah. Kind of. They took her mm -hmm. age. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. they turn the other boy into a cat. <laughs> that lives around for centuries, you know. And so. actually, you know, they were kind of being a little bit silly for a little bit, but when they turned that boy to a cat, yeah. they turned serious. Yeah, they oh, did. yeah. That oh, was yeah. creepy. And okay. uh, you know what's cool too is like even when they start singing, mm -hmm. they're like close your, you know, shut your ears, shut your ears, because once they start singing, you become hypnotized. Oh, right. interesting. You know, okay. So there's like a cool scene like where they tell everyone to keep dancing, keep dancing, right. dancing, dancing. That's what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah, okay. so I mean, they're, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty bad chicks. <laughs> yeah, so no, so yeah, Double A approached me with that idea. I thought it was great, and then we thought it was And they have become you know, so iconic. Yeah, they for really sure. Have, so. No, I, once you get your own line at Spirit Store, yeah, it's I like mean, you're pretty much yeah. in there, right? Glasses and pillows and everything. everything. Uh, <laughs> my sister's got a Sanderson sister sign at the house. There you go. Yeah. Uh, that we just got to hang it up still, but um, let's and turn it over. And your is dressed up as, as Sarah as Sanderson. As I see, yeah, it, which, yeah. that was my favorite one of the three when which I was seeing this. Which when you said about her singing, well, she's like, Come yeah. Little mm -hmm. children, <laughs> and that's pretty scary too because they're coming. <laughs> yeah, like right. a siren, and like the, the siren death. Yeah, exactly, exactly a yeah. siren. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So, Jess, let's start with you. When you think of the women of horror, or or madams of the macabre, as I call them, who comes to mind right 
away. Like right away. Elvira. Elvira, right? Yeah. <laughs> First one, we've, Elvira. We've been watching her uh, present uh, movies. Uh, specifically, you can go into like uh, Shutter mm -hmm. or Amazon Prime, and there's like Elvira's 13 Nights of Halloween, and it's like it's her presenting the movie, meaning that she pops out, you know, throughout the movie and kind of does her one line. And just what and a stuff. great character! I mean, that movie is really funny. Mm -hmm. You know, the first movie that she did, uh, Mistress of the Dark. Mistress of the Dark. Yeah, I love really it. fucking oh, funny it's movie. Great. Yeah. yeah. You know, I like it that part. Where it's like, how's your head? Well, yeah. I never had any complaints about it before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great yeah line. she gets those one-liners in there. It's like, yeah. wow. Okay, Our buddies yeah. over at now watch this. Lucky and Joe just they cut got a couple episodes one. back. They did. A but what's of the cool dark. is that you know she was like that horror host. You know, yes. that would show like the B movies. Yeah. But she was right. she's all into horror. She loves it. You know, right. she dresses in black. Mm -hmm. You know, she she's scary looking. You know, so it's cool. It's like they got her. It's like you want to date her, shirt. but you're kind of like intimidated by her. Yeah, so, totally, you know? totally. And she yeah. was kind of like an empowered woman too, very forward. Very, and, you know, like I very. said, so it was valley like, girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always know that that's what she said. She kind of was doing like a valley girl, but like yeah. a horror hostess. Uh, but a parody of. Yeah. Right, a parody mm. of, and that's what I loved about her. I mean, she really she used all her assets. To mm -hmm. make this character, mm -hmm. I mean, Elvira, smart lady. Cassandra Peterson was an actual showgirl. Mm -hmm. She was a showgirl, so she used that. Like at the end of Elvira, she does the the, the, the twirly <laughs> thing. That's her doing she it because that's like... what she learned. She was actually <laughs> she was a go-go dancer at seventeen. Nice. Where they get their parents' permission to do that. Nice, and yeah. they gave her the permission. They did, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she actually dated Elvis at one point. I had heard about mm -hmm. that. I had heard and about that. She said, "I saw an interview with her. She said that Elvis gave her the best piece of information. She right. said you shouldn't be a showgirl like your whole She's life. She's like, get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Get out. He of told here. her to sing, and she yeah. did. She mm -hmm. yeah, she was two two bands in Europe from the King himself. From the King <laughs> himself, Man. pretty awesome. And she was a. She was in one of the Bond movies as a showgirl. And mm -hmm. did she date someone else also famous? Was it like, uh, I want to say, was Tom it, Jones? Was it Tom Jones? Okay, I was thinking it was Sinatra. I knew it was No, no, it was singer, Tom Jones. And pretty she cool. claims that he's a. Uh... Oh, okay. You know, so. All right. Pack it. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. It's not unusual. Yeah, I read it in that. <laughs> it's like a little snippet that she talks about that. And very cool. Pretty much she had to tell him to stop. <laughs> Cause, wow, cause it hurt too so much. She goes so. pretty in detail. Uh, yeah, yeah. That, so I was like, oh wow, interesting. Oh, and she just recently came out of the closet. That's right. Yeah, she yeah. did. Yeah, she's yeah. always been a big LGBTQ oh, advocate, and that's really cool. Well, that's when she started her, in but... gay clubs. Mm -hmm. That's when she started her career. Interesting. Mm -hmm. interesting. Well, you know, Sam, it's like you said. Her, Pee Wee Herman, two of the smartest people. They yep. own their gimmick. Yep. You know, they make a shitload of money. A hundred percent. Yeah. Hers is all horror. I mean, oh, yeah. you know what a great. You know, genre to be in the horror section. Yeah, you know, and, and she you know, was in Pee Wee's. And uh, she was movie. in it. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And three of the four of us here have the distinction of having met her yes. uh, at, at a and convention she or a con. Your birthday. That's right. Her and I share oh, a birthday. Nice. Very nice. Uh, but yeah, me and my dad got to meet her. We were without my sister at a comic con. She was in a costume, but it was still very cool. She was very lovely. Yeah, you guys see super nice. Mine. In right the back, right there, there right above, right, right there. there you go, right there. Fox <laughs> Fox. Uh, yeah, you and your wife got to be in costume, super cool at the Fright Fright Fest. Uh, fright, the one that whatever Billy Texas Madison was fright, holding, yeah, yeah, whatever it was the called, Texas Frightmare. Yeah, I wish yeah. she'd bring that back. I would, if she ever comes in costume again, we got to make an effort to meet her. You haven't had the distinction of meeting her yet, right? You, now. you need to buzz that name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's not talk about that guy. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I don't. I don't like that show either. But I guess he had tried his hand at a Comic Con, uh, right? And uh, I guess he lost money, so I guess that's why he never. It never. It never. But somehow recurred. he convinced Elvira to come out full costume for one day. So yeah, yeah. and I hear that's a hard thing for her. Her yeah, I heard she doesn't she appear that wanted, much in well, costume. Well, she, she wanted to be now, I think, right? 70, but 70. she always said the costume was just super uncomfortable. Right. Yeah. I don't even know how Roxanne's doing I right now. I have to say, it is very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I, had to, I had to rig it to it where it was It looks great, It looks great. Yeah. This is Jeez. tame compared to what it really is. Right. This is it's, it's supposed thing. to be plunging. No, 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 no one's complaining, I don't think. No, no, no. Share. Share this episode. See our numbers go up there. Yeah, we need to see people our last Roger. episode with Roxanne, we had quite a few hits on that one. Yeah, right yeah. away, we were like, "All right, you know." So, um, okay, who else? And you think about Elvira? That's that's a big one. Well, let me turn it over to you, Rox. Who, who yeah. do you think yeah. of um, besides Elvira? When you think of women of horror, who comes to your mind initially? Morticia Adams. Okay, mm -hmm. great, great, great Morticia choice. Adams. Now, Angelica Houston or classic Carolyn uh, Jones? Ooh. I love Carolyn Jones. Me too. I love Man. both of them because I grew up with Carolyn Jones. I grew up mm -hmm. with the original Adam family. Adams family. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love that. You know? right. And it's just something that 
was like, oh, okay, we watched Adam's Family and we watched Splinters. Fabulous. TV. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. And Gilligan's Island, but that's about right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, then Angelica Houston came in. Mm-hmm. And she just won me over. I didn't think I was going to fall in love with another Morticia until she came along. I think, I think really with the movie, it. you could kind of do more than what mm-hmm. Carolyn Jones can do. But Carolyn Jones was great. Uh, you know, on Adam's Family, that show, she's she's kind of like the main star. Yeah, the main okay. star of that TV show, yeah. honestly. Nice. Uh, a lot of the stories revolve around her. Yeah. So it's cool. But Angelica Houston did a great job. Oh, great, God, great yes. job. And uh, she well, really, I love her. She's and, kind of my morticia because I feel like I know those movies yeah. better than I know that yes. show. I was more of a monster. But Carolyn guy. Jones is, is great. Yeah. yeah. But she's got she's got great. I mean, both Morticias have great lines or whatever. Where mm-hmm. like Morticia is reading to Wednesday and she's just like. Oh, you know, what they did to that poor dragon, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> or whatever. And then, like, same with Angelica Houston, and she's, like, reading to her baby, and she's like, oh, they lived. <laughs> she's reading children's stories, and she's right. got these great one-liners, yeah, you know? That's, that's awesome, man. I love that. Uh, what about for you, Double? Is somebody specific that comes yeah, to mind that, of, you know? Uh, the kind of a Vira vampire. There you go. There I she is her. right here. She's also on this t-shirt here I'm yeah just vampiro is kind of like that the original i guess elvira almost i hate to kind of say that but yeah. almost you know she was that host uh you know she was loved by the misfits you mm-hmm. know the band she has a p- cool picture with them you know she did the plan nine from outer space movie yeah. the, the you know infamously bad edward movie you know <laughs> so uh you know she, she created that character you know yeah. the hus- her husband came up with that name vampiro and she That's kind cool. of introduced the horror movies to just like, you know, Elvira did, you know. She like, was a little uh, more creepy with it than uh, Elvira. Creepier, yeah. Yeah, she was kind of still scarier because it was like during the 50s. Yeah. So it wasn't like during the 80s. You Definitely. Know, but, you know, cool, very cool character, you know. It, you, and you got kind of like the same vibe with Morticia, mm-hmm. with Elvira, with Vampira. You know, they're all black. Yeah. You know, pale. You know, so mm-hmm. pretty interesting. No, definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, me and Jess were standing in the supermarket the other day, and they had a magazine there, like Life or whatever it is. You know, they do these magazines, and it was uh, vampires. And we're flipping through it, and like towards the back, it's like they show vampire, but they also show Elvira. And I was like, they never really say Elvira was a vampire, but well, she's they in the say book. She's a witch. <laughs> okay, that's right. Yeah, but yeah. here she is stuck in this vampire book. But I guess it's because she kind of embodied a certain look, mm-hmm. and it was like they talked about her and Vam- and Vampira kind mm-hmm. of side by side. Yeah. Uh, so. It's pretty cool. Um, But no, that's good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, For me, if I had to think of, um, you know, you know, anyone specifically, uh, when I think of like women of horror, I guess the first one that kind of pops to my mind, uh, and I was rewatching it today and didn't realize how little she's actually in it, but like the bride of Frankenstein, yeah. you know, because of the iconic look. I mean, like that, that uh, look, you know, with the white streaks in the hair and the big uh, thing, you know, if anything, you know, it stands out more in my mind at the end of Young Frankenstein when she's kind of, you know, using it <laughs> like a dance, joke. Yeah. yeah, and she's, uh, you know, just acting out or whatever. But, uh, you know, Bride of Frankenstein is probably my favorite of the Universal movies. We yeah, said we're that last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I was rewatching it today and I was like, damn, I really see why this really is, like my, you know, my favorite. But, yeah, she only comes out for a little bit. But, I mean, man, a short time on the screen, but uh, such an impact and has remained an iconic look for all this time. And I just found this out, but... Uh, uh, her name is uh, I don't know, I had Elsa, Elsa Lancaster. Lancaster. Elsa Lancaster. She plays Mary Shelley at the beginning of the movie, who's nice. introducing the story. Nice. You know, mm-hmm. it's a dark and stormy night. It's her, uh, Mary Shelley, who wrote uh, uh, Frankenstein, Frankenstein and Lord Byron and somebody else. I forget who it is. Uh, and, John Polidori. That's right. Yeah. And then she's like, well, I have a story. I feel like telling all the story. And, you know, and I love you that know. story. Do you, all, do you know the story? Yes, no, I do. I don't the, know it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they all got together, yeah. right? It was like a rainy night. Rainy and they night. all started telling horror stories. Oh, cool. And yeah, Lord Byron, I think, came up with Bram. Or Lord what, Byron, he, he came up with what did he come well, up John with? Well, John Polidori came up with Vampire. Vampire, and, yes. Uh, yes. Mary Shirley came up with Frankenstein, Frankenstein that evening. It was just like mm-hmm. really Lord cool. Byron was, yeah. I think he came up with like a, a scary poem. Yeah, he did. Yeah, nice. It was just cool. There were just a whole they bunch of like opium. poets, friends, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, <writers. Of> <laughs> and they were just all chilling out, telling horror stories. I think you know? that sounds like the funnest night. Mm-hmm. I want to like seriously. <sighs> let's go to a cabin. Let it be a rainy night. Right? Let's get some opium. Oh tea. wow! All right. <laughs> It's like a lot right there. And, and <laughs> some, some <laughs> real absolute. <laughs> you, you might have old CM Chuck just running through the woods naked or something like that. Hey, it might, not, yeah. might not be the best idea. So, um, yeah, but guys, that's just okay. So, a few. yeah, that's just few. So, what do you guys think about characters like Morticia, like Elvira, like Vampira, like the Bride? What do you guys think? 
about I, those. I mean, they're really like Bride of Frankenstein is really out there. Yeah. It's a woman being in the 30s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you have the Vampira and Elvira, you know, just really pushing the horror. And then you have Morticia. I just really dug how dark they look, but inside a lot of times they're funny. Yeah. And they yeah. are, you know what I mean? They're human. You know, Morticia, they all have like this dark humor. Mm -hmm. And it's something that like, I feel like doesn't get represented all the time. No, so that's doesn't. why yeah. that's why like us little goth people like we're like, oh my god, we love these characters mm -hmm. so much. You I think I mean? also, like you said, goth people are hot. Why people, you know, like us, yeah. <laughs> like that kind of thing is because you know Morticia and Lily Munster. They have something in common to me is that when you're watching them, they all have the same where they lit. The, everybody be them yeah. yeah you were okay to be weird you right. were okay mm -hmm. to like you know have a best friend who was a dragon or a monster <laughs> or a werewolf or you know you know you see wednesday adam with a knife trying to kill her brother right. and she's like oh god you know yeah. Yeah. you know y'all go do your thing you know whatever time. children yeah, yeah. eat children go play in the cemetery you know go visit uncle larry or yeah. whatever you know what i mean it was you know it was okay for them to be who they were yeah and i think that's that appeals to a lot of people you know i think a big part of that comedy was that that it was like they were doing things off the wall you know i don't yeah. to tell you because like morticia is kind of like the she kind of runs the family in a way mm -hmm. yeah. you know a lot yeah. of ways you know yeah. and bright of frankenstein has her own movie mm -hmm. that's pretty damn cool you know and then mm -hmm. elvira and vampira are such strong personalities you know so. yeah yeah an interesting story that uh, roxy was telling us about how they kind of you know but Vampira heads. kind of butted heads yeah. with Elvira because she thought there was a copy of the character. <laughs> I mean, they had a cease and desist on Elvira's show, like mm -hmm. right as soon as she had started it. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. because she saw that black dress and her sure. uh, rating movies and and talking over movies, and she's like, "Well, you stole my act." It's <laughs> pretty much her gimmick, almost, yeah. Yeah. right? I get it. But then it's kind of like, well, Vampira got her look for Morticia, right? Mm -hmm. You know, right. so I mean, mm -hmm. there's kind of that too. But, yeah. Uh, and they, what the cool thing is, they really cool. won her case easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they said they're just too different. Too different. Well, she too, was doing a different. parody of right that. So. Yeah. And they've remained the iconic. Line. And and I know in like our time being together, we've been together like nine years now, whatever. It's like that's kind of come out of you more. I, I when we first got together, I didn't know that how much of a big horror fan that you were but it's like totally grown now where you've got like this kick-ass horror t-shirt collection that mm -hmm. like i'm like jealous of you know what i mean with all my you know 300 t-shirts but it's just like like you said that's kind of what they embodied was being yourself and one of them we haven't talked about yet but it's like you know for me again i wasn't so much out of i was more of the monsters Monster. and i loved lily munster I love her. absolutely gorgeous i think there's that famous picture of her like in the bathing suit that they show all the time but she's still got like the hair on and again she's got the streak so it kind of like you know represents uh, the Bride of Frankenstein stuff, you know what I mean? But um, another great character, uh, just a know, mom, iconic, a mom, you know, yeah, you know what I mean? The, again, kind of the runs of family almost. Right, exactly. You know? Smarter than the, than the dad, you know, Herman in this case, and, you know, really like, you know, okay, I've got to make sure things stay together yeah. or whatever. You know? well, yeah. e even though it was of the month, I mean, uh, you know, Lily Munster, um, it still took... It still showed her taking care of her husband as yeah. in the 50s. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Where it was like, oh, you know, the wife stays at home and takes right. care of, you know, the cooking, the cleaning, blah, blah, blah. They show they embodied that in her, but still, she still <laughs> had that, you know, you were okay to be you type yeah, of style. Yeah, definitely, you know? definitely. Well, the cleaning, I don't know. Yeah, no, yeah. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> well, so you're right about that. What was cool, though, is that they said they were like the first show that actually showed the couples in the same bed. Mm, at that time period, yes. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. I was kind of like, "Oh, that's cool that the monsters kind of have that mm -hmm. distinction." What I liked about the monsters you know? too is that, like, you know, Grandpa was there too, so it was kind of like her a dad. Mexican family, like her dad's there, and then <laughs> right. like Marilyn's there. Who is is it? Her, her niece, niece or Herman's niece? Uh, I think whose it's niece, niece is there? Uh, but whose side is she I, from? I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and they keep saying how like ugly she is. Yeah, <laughs> all the jokes about She's Marilyn are like, great. She'll never yeah. get a boyfriend. Yeah. Poor thing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and then I know we've talked about before. We're like, how does a Frankenstein and a vampire have, have, a, a, have wolf. a wolf? You know what I mean? Right. So, but it was so fun that the monsters played with those things because it's like you know, it's a it's a comedy TV show of that time. But there's not really shows like that anymore. Like no. all shows now are, I don't know. They, I feel like again, too rooted in reality. Like I like how they went for it. Like, oh, we're gonna have this 
you know, story about this monster family or whatever, but like they live amongst us and people are not like, they're mildly aware that they're monsters or whatever, yeah. but they're like, oh, they're not even aware. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, you know, sometimes it's like they're frightened, but then sometimes they're like, it's like, okay that they like that. And they have the car too, right? They're the ones yeah, that have the, the badass car, the badass yeah. car or whatever. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I think that was awesome. You know, and Lily was like a badass, like, you know, female vampire. It wasn't like the male vampire, although grandpa kind of was like a Dracula, yeah, I guess right. you could say. Yeah. But, uh, well, both I, I was, say- he was a Dracula. Both mm-hmm. Marticia and Lily were ride or die chicks to their husbands. I oh, really yeah. loved For how sure. I loved how like loyal they were to the family and how loved they they loved their husband so much. Yeah. I just thought that's well, he was devoted. Uh, oh, Gomez. Gomez. Gomez was oh, yeah. Devoted to her. Yeah. I mean, Man. God, what kind Relationship of love story is that? <laughs> Jesus. I know. Christ. I was like, sometimes I'm like, I wish God I could be God Gomez God too, Christina. Right? You know? I'm like, damn. <laughs> you can't keep up with Gomez. Right? Oh God. That no. guy's got, that guy's got it for sure. Oh yeah. For sure. Okay, cool. So, uh, I that that's great. We kind of talked about some classics there. I have a list here, but some of it, my list is a little bit all over because we said we weren't going to talk about. Uh, some of the heroines, which I watch a couple of videos, you know, uh, Mojo videos, got some out there on YouTube. You can just type women of horror in YouTube and it'll give you several different videos with different lists. And it ranks all kinds of people. A lot of them include, um, you know, who I saw was telling the gals who I saw on there was obviously they talk about Laurie Strode and they bring up. Yeah, uh, which um, is fine. But that, for me, that's like another Chris? topic. Right. You know, no, no, no. I agree. I know, agree. Because, I mean, who wants to dress up like Laurie for Halloween? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Great point. But I've seen yeah. it. Great but point. I've seen yeah. it. But still, it's that's not cool. fun. Though. I guess it's cool if you're with like somebody that's dressed as Michael. You know Michael, what I mean? Yeah. But, right. um, one yeah. of them that I did see on a couple of lists was... Uh, Jennifer from the Jennifer's Body movies. Okay. They talked about that I like character. Her. I was going to bring it up, but I wasn't too sure about that one. Okay. Well, what? Do you, why wouldn't she be a woman of horror, or why would she be? What do you guys think? I don't know. What do you guys think? I just... I really liked that movie, but I just thought it was I like, liked fun. the movie, but I think she wouldn't have been that way had they not bitten her or did something to her. Well, I forgot what it was that they did in the movie Well, they her. sacrificed her to Satan so that they can become a rock band. Right, yeah. so, you know, if it wasn't for that, she wouldn't have been anything, so... Yeah. But here she was. I don't know. She, she was an her. asshole by the end. I just did, I didn't like her. I liked it. Towards the end. <laughs> yeah, she was I like, love I, her movie. I just, I, at the end, I was just like, oh, get I think it was neat that, killer. what I heard was it was like, she was supposed to be like a succubus. So yes. that wasn't really like something you really saw in movies because okay. yeah. she could, you know, kind of fly and she okay. had that kind of gross okay. mouth. So, but I mean, again, when you put it in the way you put it, double A, who's going to, if you dress as Jennifer from Jennifer's body, who the hell's going to It's just like, she's not like with them. Right. Like, an, like, like one of the, the right. icons. Right. She's on that group. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Okay. Right. Okay. Good. That's a good one. Um, all right. Let me see who else I got here on my list. Uh, unless anybody else wants to bring up another one. Well, you were talking about how uh, the Bride of Frankenstein was not really on the screen that much, but she was so impactful. Mm -hmm. And I felt like there was another person that was like that, that was maybe had a few lines and was barely on the screen. But boy, did she pack a punch when she came out. And that's Santetico Pandemonium Uh, from Dusk to Dawn. Oh, she was on two lists that I saw. I thought you brought that one up. Yeah. Yeah. What, I mean, jeez. Wow. Yeah. What an icon. I said, what a legend already. And then then we get one that she's so fucking badass. And she's Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Thank you for representing us, Salma yeah, Hayek. Right. In, one, in one of the lists, she was number one. I think when Stem yeah. showed me that movie, I was just as stunned as everybody in mm-hmm. that movie was. I was just yeah. like, oh, wow. I mean. <laughs> on her Instagram, she's posting pictures in her bathing. She's like in her 50s. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, she's And so she's a looking just woman. the way she looked in that movie. In that movie, yeah. Now, uh, Roxanne, now, why was she so impactful? Well, I had to in say, in a few minutes, in the few minutes you see, okay. So first of all, she gets introduced by Danny Trejo, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he what an introduction. And where are they at? Where, yeah. What bar are they at? The, the titty, the titty twister. twister down in Mexico. <laughs> I mean, I want to go to the titty twister. Right? Yeah. yeah. And, you know, me and Tim have. Said, I don't. After what happens there, no. <laughs> and me and Tim have said, you know, from Dust of Dawn is one of our favorite movies, and yeah. that twist ending is like one of my top five twist endings. You yeah. know, just that whole ending. It's a fucking pyramid. Per- 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 it, you know, with all those vampires. So. Yeah, yeah, when they zoomed Aztec out in the end, I was like, <gasps> Yeah, I was like, Holy <gasps> shit. It, yeah. it sucks yeah, that they never awesome. capitalized on the story that I felt could have been there. They, I know they did that show, and I didn't really yeah. watch it. And but part I two. I don't they think that it really two. went. Yeah, and then they did, yeah, they did the part two, and that's the that stuff is not. But again, Roxanne, back to you. Why 
Salma Hayek, why is so impactful? Why is she so memorable for well, first of just all, a few minutes? You know, absolutely in that movie, absolutely stunning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She exudes this presence. She right? does very have much. right here. Very she much. Did, when she's introduced, she's You're not even talking. Drink off my toes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. She's not even talking when you first meet her. You see her no. dancing with a snake. With a snake. A very sexy dance. And it's captivating and in itself. Just, just, and the oh music, too, right? Really oh, sets the setting, right? right? Tito yeah. and the Tarantula. Yeah. Tito and the Tarantula. Oh, right? That music yeah. is just almost perfect for that scene. The headdress. I mean, I agree. It didn't You didn't need a lot right there for it to to make a lasting impression on you for yeah, exactly. sure and it is because sure. i mean she's very scary and seductive and that's uh-huh. kind of what all these have right yeah scary and seductive at right. the same time totally right. totally and then you get that change into and one of the ugliest creatures <laughs> yeah. she wasn't like a it wasn't just like she popped out all some the hair fangs. went away and it was yeah. just like <laughs> and almost snake like in her own right. uh, appearance you know what i mean like scaly looking so it was like fuck like total like if you had a boner, boner down, because it was like, <laughs> holy shit, what the fuck is this? You know what I mean? Um, and you're like kind of glad when, you know, it's like she changes back for that second with Clooney at the end. Uh, or but, she names him Spot. Yeah, mm-hmm. she names him Spot. Yeah, but she bites Tarantino's ass, you know what I mean? And, yeah. uh, it's a great, great scene. And, and Danny Trejo, awesome I character. was just like. Oh, yeah. I love him. <laughs> and when he, he's the one that brought her out, right? Yeah, totally, man. Yeah. That that's a great scene. That's a great character. That's a great character. I, uh, and again, just so impactful, right? right? Mm-hmm. Just like in a few minutes, you know. I was surprised on the list that I was watching that when it got was winding down. I was like, wow, we already named all these people. They talked about Laurie Strode. They talked about a lot of some of the more iconic. I was like, who's going to be number one? And she was number one on that hmm. one list. I was like, now, oh, she, would she be number one? On your list. Would she be? No, she wouldn't be yeah, number one because I don't know about that one. Because right. obviously, I have yeah, an idol yeah. that I adore. <laughs> yeah. But she's definitely right up there. She'd probably be in my top five. Mm. What about you, Sam? Uh, yeah, I would probably put her pretty up there. I'm not really sure where I wouldn't think about. I haven't really ranked anybody yet, but but I mean, I don't, maybe top ten for me. Yeah, I would say probably I would top say these 10. ladies have to go first. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, is there anyone we haven't talked about here? I think we what touched on all of them. I would agree with that. Probably yeah, in the top right. 10. Top yeah. 10. Yeah, cause there, there are so many, and I wrote so many down here, but... Um, but very impactful. I mean, and she's a vampire, too. I definitely. Mean, so. <laughs> well, let's stick with that, because I, I noticed as I wrote my list, I wrote a lot of vampires or whatever. Oh, so let me okay, let me okay. just throw one at you guys. I didn't know there was that many. Uh, yeah. You, you, believe it or not, I was like, wow, I ended up writing down a lot of damn vampires. <laughs> uh, let me see if I'm doing on time first, though. We're getting there. Yeah, I, go, I, I got more, time to bring more. up one more. Okay, so... Akasha from Queen of the Damned. Oh, we talked about her. Yes. Played by Aaliyah, yes. who I adore. But, but you've read the books, right? I have read the okay, books. Okay, so tell me book What's... to character in the movie. I think Aaliyah played her pretty well. Okay. When you read her in the book, she's in Queen of the Damned. Okay. But she's very. it's very brief. It's it. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, it, it just kind of shows that they are the beginning creation of vampires but i felt like they didn't do the best explanation of how they got created the way it sounded like in the book was these egyptian people akasha and her guy which i can't remember her name his name oh she's egyptian mm-hmm. nice. she's egyptian okay she walks into a room where these poltergeist spirits mm-hmm. Ooh, kind shit. of attack them Okay. And the mixture of the poltergeist or demon or whatever is mixed in with the mm. human, and suddenly we get a vampire. Okay. And okay. I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, oh, like, I felt like it like wasn't, that. I didn't like that only okay. because I felt like it was kind of a half ass expl- explanation. Okay. Okay. Not that I don't love Anne Rice. Anne Rice, I love your books. I have a lot of them. But, um, Tony does too. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, what I liked about Akasha was. She was sexy, and mm-hmm. she didn't have to say much for her to exude that. Kind of like Sama Hayek with Santanico Pandemonium. Her little sexy dance did it for her. Sure. Uh, when she's seducing Lestat, um, she's, you know, talking, it's just like slowly, she's got an accent, she's, you know, saying everything that you think he thinks that he wants to hear and right. so suddenly you see that oh man you're batshit crazy yeah <laughs> yeah where do you stand on akasha just do you have a, an opinion about her were you a fan of the queen of the damn movie or Aaliyah's I, portrayal i was I, yeah i bought the soundtrack as soon as mm-hmm. I, oh that's great I, soundtrack yeah, yeah. yeah uh i i didn't like her i mean i love the way how she played the part or whatever but she was just uh too arrogant for me okay you know like she 
she did it all and she killed her husband, you know, and she became alive when she saw Lestat and, you know, stabbed the shit out of her husband mm-hmm. and killed him or whatever. And mm-hmm. this yeah. statuesque person of, you know, that he was or whatever at that time. And it's just like, you know, I know she wanted to be like this number one vampire <laughs> or whatever, but it just, I didn't. It didn't make sense. I didn't but you know like what? It. I will blame that a little bit on the writing for Queen of the Damned. Mm-hmm. Queen of the Damned was a rush job because they were going to lose the rights to the story. And so uh, they combined Le- Vampire Lestat, which was supposed to be two movies. It was supposed to be Interview, Vampire Lestat, and then Queen of the Dam. Mm. They just combined the two, mm. Mach podged it, threw it out there so and that they, they could make a okay. movie. Okay, it was a little album bit. was great though. Oh yeah, great album. <laughs> album was great. But I will make a, 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 a notation on it. I know we're ta- talking about the men, but Lestat I thought was a really good Lestat with Stuart Towns. Oh, okay, okay. And when you read the Vampire Stat, I pictured Stuart. As, okay. as the vampire list at. But Jonathan Davis was not a good voice <laughs> oh. for Lestat. <laughs> it should have been the guy from Orgy. Um, I can't remember his uh. name. The lead singer of Orgy had much more of a look that looked like Stuart Townsend. And, and I just wish I could just make that movie again mm. with that, with that mm-hmm. voice. <laughs> and we'll recap that for you guys on the audio that but might have missed. At that time, uh, though, Jonathan Davis like, was probably the biggest rock star. At the, at the time, time, for sure, yeah. for sure. Uh, guys, we're in the midst of a break uh, right there. So if you wanted to see what Roxanne was saying regarding that, uh, check it out on YouTube. You'll catch that. But we'll recap exactly what she was saying regarding that in a minute. Yeah. Let's check out the comments, guys. What are you guys talking about in regards to the madams of the macabre? Uh, let me see there, double A. Right here. Kara says, love Carrie, which we'll get into mm, very nice. pretty soon. Uh, yeah, Luke in the house. She said, beautiful witches. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then she said, who are your beauty guests? Beauty guests, our beautiful guests. Well, yeah, that is Jess and Foxy Roxy there, uh, as you know. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Just, uh, she says, Carrie, Carrie again. again. Yeah. And what did I miss over here? Uh, I love the design version of Halloween. Oh, the pumpkin. Okay. Are we at, uh, that's it on there? All right, guys, you know we're waiting for that audio to load there. Um, is, it the, is the pig nose, is the emoji so, for the pig Roxanne, blood. so being a water fan, what do you think about Vampire? Your I, opinion of Vampire. I love Vampire. I actually, but I do Vampire first. I mean, I mean Elvira first. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had to look up, because like, that Elvira was still playing yeah. their, like her little show watching horror movies mm-hmm, and commenting mm-hmm. on it. So I grew up on that. I yeah, see course. those. Yeah. So I had to look up Vampire. But for a whole generation, yeah, Vampire yeah. was that, Exactly. So that when, thing, when I looked know? her up, I fell in love instantly. Okay, she has great. a haunting look. And she and screams, right? She, she screams, has like that scream, right? But what's fantastic about that scream is she screamed, blood curdling scream, and then she pulls it back and yeah. she's like, and then she's yeah. like, oh, doesn't that just feel so good? You know what I mean? And then I'm like, oh, so she tries to be sexy with it. I'm like, okay, I think Which is kind of crazy right in the 50s, yeah, right? right? Because you didn't have women like that in the 50s. She was so ahead of her You had a I Love Lucy. You had a Mary Tyler Moore. You didn't have anyone like Vampira. Yes. That, that was why bringing I... out that kind of, mm-hmm. you know, goth, like you guys were saying, goth. Yes. You mm-hmm. know, that goth. And I have to out. say she watched better movies than Elvira did. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Right? <laughs> I'm sure. Well, that's good. I mean, I'm you sure. know, like, that kind of played into what Elvira was doing with the with the more bad movies. And I agree with you. I wasn't really familiar with Vampira because I was like a little bit after my time. But she's so iconic, you know. Yeah, I, I remember herself. seeing her around and I was, I kind of would think, I was like, is that like, was, I remember thinking, was there two Morticias? Is what oh, I thought. Okay, I was like, okay. is that, was there two actresses playing Morticia? And it took for me a while to understand there was another character. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, like, when I was little, I was watching Elvira with my dad. Like, we were actually watching uh, her show. We would see those cheesy movies. Because I think I remember watching Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. She had was doing <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah. And that was the first time I saw that. And I thought that that was, like, a joke. I didn't know that was a real movie. <laughs> because we would watch... Um, there was a cartoon for a while, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't even... I don't know if she ever did it. But, I mean, I want to say, like, I feel like... When I watched all those bad movies, it was with Elvira, like Toxic Avenger, Attack of the 50 Foot Woman. It was like stuff that I watched like that because I can't remember. Uh, I remember seeing one too where it was like giant bugs, or giant spider. I can't remember, but I felt like anytime I was watching something like that, it was on her show. And then I remember I later on, right. Freddie did a similar show. They had like a Freddy Krueger show where he was hosting. I don't think it was movies, but it was like little skits. He was the host. Freddie? Yeah, yeah, he, he was had, the he host. Had a nightmare but show. it was like skits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was like yeah. little stories. It wasn't a Jason had one too. movie. Really? Yeah. Was he the host, Jason? 
He wasn't the host. I don't imagine it's weird. Much. No, that one was here because it was called Friday the 13th, but I don't think it had Jason. Interesting. No. That's kind of funny, though, right? They, but they were, to give they them were shows. like, it, everybody was kind to be like a Tales from the Crypt type. Yes. Right. Tales from the Dark right. Side. Yeah, Tales from the, the Crypt. Yeah. Well, that one was great. Tales from the Dark Side. Yeah. Outer Limits was great, too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that gave us time for the audio to load. So let's keep the conversation going. So we kind of cut Roxanne off there at the moment there. Uh, yeah, that's no, okay. I, was, I, I thought you were looking at the clock too, but uh, that's why I moved <laughs> it to the clock. I'll move it to the clock like five minutes before so she can check it out. Mm-hmm. But uh, let's keep the conversation going. All right, guys. Foxy Roxy was just talking yeah, about so her love Roxanne, for this. Yeah, Stuart. tell us why Stuart was, is your Lestat again. Was it the, the, the silver smudge in the eyes? The silver smudge. <laughs> <laughs> no. And, and the makeup. why not Tom yeah. Cruise? <laughs> okay, there was just something about Tom Cruise that I just... Uh, er, and but do you, even do you Anne think, Rice liked Tom Cruise. But do you think Tom Cruise brought the arrogance more from Lestat than he yes. did from Stuart did? Because he's pretty fucking arrogant in an interview with the vampire. Yeah. <laughs> you know? is. When you and read, Townsend when you is kind of likable as Lestat. In That's what I'm saying. Where, you, know? you know, Tom Cruise is kind of like, man, he, he, this guy's an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. wait, when you read interview, this is Louis' point of view. Mm-hmm. So this is Louis' take on Lestat. So Lestat was more of an arrogant asshole to him. <laughs> yeah. um, because, you know, he was learning, yeah. basically, still. Um, I liked Brad better in the movie as as uh, Louis because in the book I felt like he was too much of like a bitch. I was like, oh, you're just such a bitch. I was like, he's, he's not likable. Like, yeah. I was like, I, I, I'm not into your character. Like, you suck. <laughs> But the, with Lestat in the vampire Lestat, in the book, he is somebody who is very beautiful. That's why he's attract, attracting vampires, basically. So a, a vampire who was not Marius, as you see in Queen of the Damned. Uh, um, but he was just an older vampire, was attracted to Lestat because he was in the theater. Uh, Lestat was very theatrical mm-hmm. and vibrant and had just this personality that you were attracted to because you were like, oh, you kind of glow, you know what I mean, without being a vampire, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, not we, sparkle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, no sparkling. Not, no, no sparkling. <laughs> But, you know, he gets bit by a vampire, and the vampire uh, kills himself. Says, um, I, I was made old. I, I wasn't a very good vampire anyway. You know, I'm gonna, I made you. You're going to be my legacy. And now I'm going to go uh, kill myself in the daylight, and you spread my ashes See, everywhere. that's bullshit. If you're bald and fat when you get bit, you should get abs and hair. <laughs> at least. <laughs> you know, full lips, you know, if, <laughs> pecs if you're a guy, if you, boobs if you're a woman. You should... Why the, why the fuck am I doing this if I'm going to look like I did for forever? Like Kirsten Dunst, right? Uh, yeah. Where like she Kirsten gets mad because yeah. she's like, you know. No, stays, young, stays young. Yeah, we're, I'm we're, a kid. We're, we're talking yeah. women of horror, right? Would we consider uh, uh, be a really her character as, yeah. a, as a woman of horror? Oh, Claudia? Claudia, yeah. yeah. Claudia. Claudia is. I'd say yes. Yeah, because I mean, she becomes vicious, right? She she's just as vicious as That was the sad. role that made Kirsten Dunst really her character. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean her, 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 her acting career, I would say. She, she did started really good, too. She did a job. I thought she was great. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't like her in a lot of stuff. <laughs> That's I don't so, either. No. Like Spider-Man? <laughs> oh. No, she's like not a good Mary Jane as a comic book guy. I'm like... I'm like, wow, they got you? Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, right. well, before we move on, I mean, Aaliyah does look great. So, yes. Uh, great. In those pictures. Mm-hmm. I mean, everything, Absolutely. she looks great. I've heard people criticize her, the accent she tries to sure, use, and it goes in and out. She looks but... good, though, as that vampire. And I love, I love again, because in a way, I guess, like you said, Lestat's kind of the hero in that movie, because when you see them at that beach, and she's murdered everybody at that beach house, he's kind of like, oh, fuck. Like, I thought I was a bad dude. You're really bad, yeah. and I was like, "Yeah, she's fucking badass." How do you man. feel like, about her? You know? since, since you read the books, you're Anne Rice. How do you feel about her portrayal? I think her portrayal was fine. Uh, she wasn't too much in uh, Queen of the Dam. She was more, in, I think, more in Tale of the Body Thief. What mm-hmm. do you think she embodies? A little bit. What the character? Because I mean, she looks great though. When you see that poster, she looks great. She looks great. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, and then she does this one thing in the movie that I really, really liked because she's getting bit by all these vampires, including oh, that's Armand. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right, and they're trying to take all her blood, and she's she... kind of getting fond of it, right? No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> she's it looks she's like pissed it. off that she's dying and her children are killing her or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she, Lestat has betrayed her, and she looks at Lestat like, oh my god, like, kind of like, help me, like mm-hmm. these help me eyes, and he's not going to help her or whatever, and then she goes, hey, <laughs> and then she tries to hurt him, then she's got no 
power left no power or whatever. Left. But I was just like, oh man, it's such a, a woman. Like you screw me over. I'm gonna yeah, with every last bit of me, I'm gonna try to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was the funniest thing. But yeah, I liked no, her. That's <laughs> great. Okay, Jess. So you, we've talked about a couple, and you kind of haven't had really good things to say about her. You didn't like the Jennifer from Jennifer. <laughs> you didn't really like Akasha. Is well, I didn't like so- her at the end of the Jennifer's it, body. It, in the end, yeah. is there someone though that you're like? That's a that's a, a woman of horror, like a, a, a chick maybe that you like I wanna dress like her, be like her. She's someone that you you know, that you can see more like positive things about that you really dress like her, be like her? I don't know, but I did like Ripley. I don't know if that's considered horror. I can say Alien's is horror. The first one, Alien, Alien is horror. horror. Alien is Ultimate in my horror. opinion it is Ultimate a horror, horror movie. I think the first one is like just a straight up like a that one is movie. suspenseful. But it has a lot of like jump yeah. out of it. Like, just, I'm like, oh, it, by the end, I was like, oh, fuck. It, made, <laughs> it makes me feel like, okay, she's a real. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, you know, they give these women like these different, you know, characters portray, but it feels like with her, she's a, a woman who is kind of cowardice a little bit when this alien's coming at her, but she gets empowered. Especially when she finds the child and she knows that, the, mm-hmm. you know, it's trying to get the child. And she's like, hell no, like mama mode comes into play, <laughs> you know what I mean? She becomes like this badass person mm-hmm. through the rest of the, you know, two and three, you know, yeah. movies. And it's just like, wow, like, you know, she embodies that power. She gets woman. more badass. Yeah. I, I agree. Like, you I, know, I like the way you put it where you're like, she is afraid. Like, there's fear because you would be fucking afraid. Yeah. But Fuck she yeah. doesn't let it overtake her. She uses right. the fear and, like, becomes more badass. And, of course, as the progression goes, gets She's not going to let more. that kill her. I mean, you know. and it's so funny because there's a lot of, like, focus, I think, nowadays on, like, you know, that women empowerment and strong female characters. I'm like, she's one of the originals, man. Like, she was badass, a badass you know, female before there was badass females. And to me, like I said, the first Alien one, that movie just plays like a, like, a, like a horror movie. It's a movie. thriller, yeah. I, again, back to my blockbuster, if I was stocking the shelves, I would put that one in horror. Aliens, I might put in action. Maybe me. Yeah, That's the, me. the second one. The yeah. second one. But mm-hmm. Alien, it, it plays like a straight horror movie to me where I'm like at the edge of my seat and anytime that fucking thing comes out, I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, especially at the end with the hanging in the suits, I was like, oh, spoiler alert. Sorry, maybe you guys haven't seen <laughs> Alien yet. Oh, jeez. Oh, that about, movie's super about, about 30, 40 yeah. fucking years right. late. But, but that one for me is like, that's a horror movie. And it's, she is a badass. Especially when Diaz, I think it's Diaz, yeah. when she comes mm-hmm. into play, I'm like, damn. And that's Girl. in part two, right? In part yeah, two. Yeah. Yeah. When she comes out as a character, I'm just like, wow. Like her too, you know, she gets down with the guys. She's just like, you know, and then, you know, like she's who? like, um, the lesbian character with the bandana. In she's the one from Terminator 2, the mom from Terminator 2. Oh, oh, I, oh sorry. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. yes. <laughs> Vasquez. 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 I said Diaz. I was like, yes, Vasquez. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I missed a character. <laughs> and well, we I was like, I don't know if that's her name. But we yeah, were no. talking about her, uh, kind of her doppelganger in uh army of the dead with the the one that just, is army of the dead army of the shit what am i thinking of now the recent one that just came out from Zack snyder that he did dawn uh, dawn of the dead no 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 the, the oh zombies. the one with batista yeah with batista yeah oh shit i forgot the name but it, the, yeah, the one that came out one. with batista there's a character yeah. there a latina female character that she pretty much is like a you know it's a tribute to uh um, you know the character I of aliens whatever vasquez. it's very awesome vasquez's character oh, yeah. she was hard she's got the red bandana like you like can tell that it's, I like her it's and Drake. a tribute they're cool that, yes oh, i love yes. that that she has this male yeah. friend and they're two badasses and they have like even coordinated moves <laughs> and she's like, you just gotta yeah, tell me home. where the hell they are. Right. And You're too bad. And he didn't yeah. even have to say anything. And he was like, she was like, uh huh. And then he pulls it and, you know, it's just like, ah. Uh, and that's fast crazy, fast. right? A lot of people like that one better. They like aliens better it's, than aliens. I, like alien I like aliens better. I like aliens too. I like aliens too, but I can out. see why people like aliens. I like yeah. them both. What equally. about you, Roxanne? What, is there like a female like out there that you're just like, hey, no one really talks about her, no one really dresses like her? You know, that you're like, hmm, she should be shown more. Well, you not that nobody, not, I guess yes, in a way. Okay. Uh, because I really dug uh, Angela from Night oh. of the Demons. Mm. Oh, there you go. And you guys have the distinction of having met her, isn't so that good? That's a- my, Amanda Kincaid. That's my brother's, like, go-to horror movie. Like, for any newbies, <laughs> he loves showing up Night of the Demons. So, why Angela? Why is she so iconic? You know why? First of all, she's she was in the eighties. 
She was total badass. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're like, in the first scene, they're shoplifting food for her yes. Halloween party. Yes. <laughs> you know what and I mean? where are they having the Halloween party? In at? an abandoned, like, house. In so fucking abandoned, like, creepy looking wow. fucking house. Yeah. <laughs> but where I got, where I totally fell in love with her was when she's kind of like left alone Beautiful. and she starts dancing. Which, whatever. Uh, she actually choreographed that dance she herself. Did. And, and she, you had a conversation with her about I that. I did. Right? I said, oh, my God, I love the song that you're dancing to, and I love your dance. She goes, I choreographed it, and I picked the song. So it's the Bauhaus Stigmata Martyr. She has a total love for that song. It's a really good song. You wouldn't even think that somebody would dance to that one or choreograph anything so beautiful. <laughs> hey, kind of describe that scene, Roxanne, because it's pretty. It's one of the freakier scenes in Night of the Demons. Kind of like that. describe like how she is. Well, first of all, like she's already been she's possessed, right? Being possessed yeah. by a demon, so she's already possessed. There is fucking this house that's. Like demon, mm -hmm. all demon. So okay, so yeah, she's already possessed. She's starting to act a little bit mm -hmm. weird, and uh, for some reason, that guy stays with her. Stooge. No, well, no, <laughs> Stooge comes later. <laughs> I love Stooge, you know. But it's oh, like the, other, the dude. other dude, the other dude, the I Mexican mean, dude, the Mexican, yes, the Mexican yes, guy yes, who stays with yeah. her, and suddenly. The music comes on and she with starts the, doing with this the, with the strobe light. Yes, and it yeah. has this hardcore goth music in mm -hmm. the back. She starts twirling it's a around. Scene, too, she's, I've never seen she's, it. She's she's like first she starts. I think off it's just with, like what fireplace. The, yeah. that's like the only light yeah. right besides the the, the fireplace the, lights. Yeah. And she's I've like, seen this movie, but it's been years. Are you familiar with it? It's so freaking good. I'm gonna show y'all that rewatch. You know, what? y'all should put that on your Friday Night Faithful, like the scene from that movie. Okay. We are. There, for sure. But for sure. describe the scene. So she's possessed. And she's the possessed. music comes on. The music on. comes on. She's dancing like crazy, but beautifully. And, you know, it's it's like these like little clips where it's like, boom, she's dancing with a full skirt. Boom, she's dancing with no skirt. You see oh, her shit. underwear or whatever. And then it just kind of goes on where she's kicking high kicks and she's doing this with the strobe light. And then the guy is like, man, she's acting fucking weird. Stooge comes in <laughs> and he's like, all right, we got the strobe yeah. light working. He, we he's got like completely ignoring everything. He's just seen this <laughs> fucking hot ass woman dance around <laughs> yeah. while this other dude is like freaking out because he's and like, this the, is weird. And the weird. guy the guy's trying to warn him, he's yeah. like, I don't know. She's acting fucking weird. He's like, hey, it's the weird ones uh -huh. you don't have to worry about. <laughs> yeah, you you know, they the freaks. Yeah. He goes, he's all like, oh, baby. And he goes, like, to her or whatever. She doesn't look like this yet, right? Yeah. In the, in the, no, in the, no, 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 like has here. Okay. no, but uh, uh, she ends up, like, making out with him and then suddenly ends up killing him because she, like, rips his tongue out. She, they start kissing, but she's, like, got a hold of his tongue. And, oh, shit. And yeah. And just rips it out. And it's then just he a becomes very possessed. memorable thing. Yeah. <laughs> it, and, and she's become a very memorable character herself. They were spinning about, like, what, three movies? Yeah, she was about in the second this. One. Yeah, and so she that look right there has become very iconic. Oh, I mean, you know, Double A, you talked earlier about, like, you know, would you dress as that for Halloween? If somebody could, and again, That'd guys, cool look up Night of the Demons yeah, for our audio cool listeners. If somebody would come up with that, I'd be like, holy shit. I don't remember seeing the movie. I know I've seen it, but it's been a while. But what I do remember is that cover scaring the fuck out of me at yeah. Blockbuster again. Because I would always... see that cover and I'd <laughs> yeah. be like, I'm not renting yeah, that. I don't want to see that. Yeah, that's face. Yeah. She's like the face of the whole franchise. That, that's, mm -hmm. If you did that makeup for a costume contest, you would scare the fuck out of people. Like, now, that's terrifying. Luckily, you know, she came to Trader's Village of all things here in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And I told Roxanne right away. And, oh, you know, we all down. went. We all went. My brother loved her. He he had yeah. like a he had like a twenty minute discussion yeah. with her. <laughs> he was holding up the fucking line. Art. Uh -huh. he, he was holding up the fucking line. You know, and he was like, I don't know. I, I was like, damn. Karina, his his wife said that she was flirting with boy too and everything. So I don't son, know. That son of a bitch. Yeah. Good old boy. Yeah, so, but, boy. Man, I've never seen him talk that much to some stranger yeah. before, and he was just like yapping and yapping and yapping. I was For like, wow. And Roxanne was there too. A she was with fan, him. Huh? Yeah. yeah. No, he loves that movie. Like I said, that's like his go-to horror movie. That's if, cool. if he ever has like a group of people. And they're like, have you ever seen Liar of the Demons? He's like, okay, I'm oh, you got to watch it. Yeah. You know, I think I watched it in one of those sessions. It was probably. in your mom's old house. And it's probably it's with John Roxanne. I probably haven't it. watched it since then, which has probably already been like 15, you know, years or whatever. But, so. Roxanne, right? It's all iconic, right? Angela, the character, iconic character. the character of Angela. I and mean, everybody and again, if somebody showed up to my too. house, mm -hmm. I'd be freaked out. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a scary-ass costume. Uh, Everybody I showed that movie to, they're like, how have I missed this all these years? <laughs> and they actually have a really cool, they re-released it like on Blu-ray, mm-hmm. like really Cleaned cool it edition, steelbook, everything. Oh, nice. So it looks really badass. It's a really cool movie. She's a really cool character. And mm-hmm. She was actually really great yeah, <laughs> in like real that, life. She's we a met real, her in real life, and yeah. she was awesome. That's good. That's great. I love it when you meet someone and then you have a great experience. Like I said, I mean, and I remember y'all's pictures. She still looked pretty good. I was no, like, she, she, like she you said, very you know, beautiful. Yeah. My brother was just yapping his ass off. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there you go, right? Classic. When is he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's like, I love Bert. Like, <laughs> like don't really said though to a stranger though. It's kind of that's not that's unusual for him. So especially someone like that's been in a movie that yeah. he loves. So pretty cool. No, 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 uh, starstruck for, for, uh, Fred Knight or Boy. <laughs> um, ladies, is there anyone that you want to bring up? We're not, we're not ending the show anything, but before I bring somebody else up, is there someone that you would like to mention that I, we haven't Actually, mentioned yet? Actually, yes, uh, because we mentioned Night of the Demons, and there was another iconic person in there, and her name is Linnea Quigley, mm-hmm. and she was, uh, Angela's friend in that one, and she was more, she was the first a person who was possessed in that movie mm. and she has this iconic scene with this lipstick yeah. <laughs> where she's yeah. naked and she's like yeah. twirling the lipstick and I she's I, doing it like in the mirror yeah so. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, on, and she's twirling it in the mirror and she's twirling it twirling it twirling it and she gets to her nipple and then she pushes yeah. the lipstick into her nipple it's pretty nasty, uh. <laughs> and we're, I'm like what <laughs> <laughs> what am I watching so I'm like She's already awesome. That's not cool. Yeah. I don't like it. I like <laughs> it. was scary. And, and they made the, because she was the, like, one of the prettier ones in the, in the movie. Yeah. And they made her very scary. And she has a great body. And uh, she was also in Return of the Living Dead. Yes. Mm. Yeah, she's a scream queen. Yeah. I hate to say it. There's something mm. about that for me when I'm watching these kind of movies when it's a, a beautiful woman and they end up doing something to themselves or hurting themselves or, or getting hurt that it, like, makes me cringe or whatever. I even remember going to, you were with uh, us, but. Uh, when we, I think Roxy took us to a uh, a burlesque show, and, oh. and these girls were they were stapling themselves Jeez. double A, and they I was invited like, people it did, to staple ow. money to them. Yeah, they were stapling there, and they were letting mm. people come and staple money. To, and I remember, I, I remember that. getting kind of sick. I, I was like, oh yeah. shit, I got it, because they were really gorgeous. I they mean, had hot bodies. What are you talking about? It's different when I'm watching these <laughs> motherfuckers, hairy giant bastards do You've that. Seen some fucked up wrestling. Uh, uh, oh, I have seen some very fucked up wrestling. Throwing themselves on nails and shit. But they were not Stapling like... It's, 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 I'm telling you, there's something perverse about it when it's a beautiful a woman, woman yeah. like that. And I was but like, they're oh. letting people staple? Yes. Right. With the staple gun. I don't know. With right. the staple gun. And it was it like... It better be $20 or more. Yeah. Yeah. There was. Like I, gave these her, girls, I gave her a 10 because that's all I had. They could have been models did or you like strippers. I did. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. I, I couldn't have done it Are you either. kidding? Roxanne passed an opportunity like that? Man, I like heart. I feel like they made more money. And it's a shout out to the Lestrange side show. Yes. did a really good job. Job. It was cool, but I wouldn't want to see Where'd it again. Staple? <laughs> so I, everybody was stapling their ass. One of them stapled their oh, boobs. Damn. And I said, I can't do Ugh. that to you, sweetie. So I did her arm. arm? Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, these God chicks could have been hardcore wrestlers, double A. But I remember, do you remember that? I can't do that today with it, COVID. It, it, was, <laughs> it was very jarring like i, I was I like do all right i'm there was I'm, so much going on i, I, do I don't even remember yeah that's that. when you were the jackie brown it i was know that one, but right? i don't it remember was quentin tarantino oh, yeah. right. i was gogo yubari ah, from okay. kill She's bill go-go. they put both of them and in the uh, uh, was jess was jackie, was jackie brown okay. yeah they put them both in the uh the weekender i was uh clarence from oh, uh, True Romance. Okay. Yeah. And Jonathan, Jonathan was... Uh, Aldo Rain. Aldo Rains from Inglorious Bastards. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was a I great, a fun job. night. But it was... Uh, we that shit great. Fucked we me up. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't I, do oh, that. It was like boner down again. Like yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, like, they look hot. Insert picture. Insert picture. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I will tell them to insert a picture. I made my weapon. And that took me a whole week. Like, can I just <laughs> and I made my outfit. They put them both in the weekend. That's a current. That's a current. Yeah, mm-hmm. current for that awesome. One. Awesome. That was awesome. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Cheers to that, ladies. Great job. Oh, uh, double I think Jess needs a drink. Cheers. Okay. Bad luck to cheers on a, on a no drinky, though. Okay. Let me, let me drink the drop. Uh, Hun, is there someone that you wanted to bring up that we haven't talked about yet that you're thinking of? Oh, man. Before I give you guys one. Because I'm going to give us all Give us one, one and then I'll probably. I'm going to give you guys one that I know we're all going to love right here. Annie Wilkes. Misery. Oh, oh, woman of horror, oh, if there oh, ever was one. Oh, she was, talking about she, that one right yeah. she was on, that's a, that's she was on every list I looked at 
And she was pretty high up there on the yeah, list. Yeah. yeah. And it, that shit is fucking scary. I, I love ben that movie. I do too. Nuts. We talked yeah. about Stephen King nuts. last year. Uh, obviously based on a Stephen King it's book. It's funny because that, that movie kind of pisses off my wife. Because my wife's a nurse. So, <laughs> like, the character of Annie Wilkes is supposed to be a former nurse. Mm -hmm. So, right. she's like, man, that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did not care about her oath. No. At all. No. Yeah. Which I, I saw that they, Rob Reiner based her on that nurse that we have here in San Antonio. That yeah. Really? Oh, oh, my God. God. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. I oh, forgot no. what her name was. Okay. Uh, that was in the 70s and the 80s. Yes. Yeah. I want to say my aunt was... Had her as a nurse. Oh, really? Oh, no yeah. shit. My wife said that her sister was around that area mm -hmm. in that hospital that mm -hmm. she worked at. Uh, I forget Janine something. Janine. Really? Uh, yeah, you're right. I didn't you're right. know Janine, that there was uh, a real I don't person. Remember she was yeah. a killer nurse, and killer nurse. It, she's she's like wow. she comes out like in American Justice, City Confidential, all that kind of shit. Look at my lack. Janine of Jones, San Antonio. Janine Jones is her name. Not okay. Yeah, Janine and she Jones, did okay. the Bear County Hospital, which I forgot what it's called now. I think it's like the University or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so she uh she died, right? No, she's still alive. Is she thing, still and alive? they denied her parole again. Yeah. I need to write to my girls over at Morbid and tell them to cover that case because I'd I'm like to know. they have it. No, that I haven't heard it. I've heard all their episodes too. Yeah, because she's a she's a famous. She's a world. I mean, in the right. country, everyone knows interesting. her. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. So yeah, I Annie Wilkes, so though, scary yeah. ass character. You know that scary number one fan crap. You know. I know. Oh I know God. what you say, don't worry about. We talk about that. Like, there might not be much to that costume, but you walk around dressed no, kind of frumpy with it? a sledge. Yeah, if somebody did that. People yeah, with the sledge, will know. I would, I would take are. a picture with that. Oh, that would be fucking cool. I'd be like, oh, you're fucking, you know, Annie. And I mean, how? And, you know, again, it's a credit to so much in that movie, right? But there's just certain parts where, you know, um, James Caan as Paul Sheldon is literally drenched in sweat because he's fucking so afraid of her. Yeah. And you're like, man, I am at the edge of my seat. So so uh, let's start with you, Just How do you feel about Annie Wilkes' misery, that Ugh. character, that woman of horror? Would you... Is it, I what? Is, it, is it is it is it uh like you said earlier is it uh is it uh eh, you know i don't really you know fuck her kind of or is it or is it more like yeah that's a fucking so, bad bitch right yeah, there. yeah yeah that's that's a bad bitch like <laughs> yeah i wouldn't say fuck her because like she was true to herself as far as she wanted what she wanted and she was gonna do anything that she had to to get that shit so, that's a definition of that right yeah so to her it was just like you're gonna fucking do what i want or i'm gonna fucking start cutting body parts off yep. or whatever the fuck she wanted to do you extreme know I mean? measures yeah. to the max extreme what's so, your experience with the movie like do you like to watch it repeat is, is oh, it yeah. you see that i mean I'll you know, definitely watch that i know me and you like you or you know i own a, a, a blu-ray copy but it's like you know i think we're both always like oh like that's one of the ones that we're both like we're like it you know what i mean like misery right. we agree she had like ocd i mean she noticed oh, when yeah. something was moved i you know i always make a joke one of my like you know how you said earlier actually you you know y'all you and your sisters will quote dune and things like that one of my quotes is I, i'll always say when someone moves something of mine that's not where it's supposed to be, I'm, I always say, the ceramic penguin faces do north, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> that's what she's, because I was, I remember being like, in that part, I was like, he's so fucked, he's so and fucked. she was such he's a so romantic. Fucked. Oh, wasn't she? I know. We talked about Gomez being a romantic. a romantic. What about Annie, double A? Annie, oh, was, yeah. Annie was a real... She was wow. so just warped up Gosh, in his man's books, mm -hmm. you know, and then when he told her he was, you know, he killed her I off. I mean, does that was, say something about being yeah. in the cabin in the winter uh, months where the roads are cut off? Yeah. Like, does that say something about that? He was driving a little <laughs> reckless. He was, but I mean, what a scary situation, you know. Yeah, but he was riding more reckless, Rexon. <laughs> <laughs> just scary, you know, and, and she's like... She was not scary. violent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, she doesn't say any cuss words. No. She's like cock doodle yeah. something. Yeah, which makes know? it like, more yeah. scary in a way. Like, it's too. more eerie. Like, I'm like, that is more ooh, scary. man, it gives me fucking and, creeps. And then like, I don't know what's scarier. You know, in the book, she cuts off his, his feet. Mm. Or the movie where she bashes she the, 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 the hobbling, yeah, you know, I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know, places but the she nurses there. him back to hell, which is <laughs> even worse. It's like, and then forces him to write a book that she likes, you the know, uh, that she wanted, as bad yeah. as the hobbling scene is, it's like when you know his legs are so fucked up. And remember, she slams the typewriter, no, the paper, she slams the paper on his lap, yeah, and, you know, and like, he, he winces like. Fuck! Like, I'm just like, oh man, like yeah. that fucking That's like this horrid. is awful. Like, 
you're just tense she's just the whole scary, time. Up yeah. to the very end when he has the PTSD already, he sees her at the, as the waitress, and he's like That's terrified. He himself when she would come into the room. You yeah, know, like mm. yeah. I mean, it, it's a it's an intense movie. It's an intense character. Uh, I have not read that that version the the book version of that I'm one, but I it. love the movie. I'm so glad they haven't tried to do a remake or anything like that. It's really perfect like the, the way it is. Didn't she better. get? She won an award, right? For that one, or yes, nomination? I think she did. No, no, I think she did. Yeah, she, I think she did. Yeah, she I think she did. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. That's where uh, yes. she kind of got uh, Kathy Bates got yes. her notoriety. Yeah, oh, and yeah. she's become a American horror alum oh, as yeah. a heroine. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, and I love her. She's fantastic, and she just brings that intensity. So that that's my. Well, was that's it Roanoke? Uh, she was in Roanoke. She was in actually, in and she's in Coven too. And Coven? Annie Christ, Annie played, Christ uh, one okay. too. She played yeah. another horror character named Madame Delphine Lolori, and that's a real person who actually did do those things in the show. No shit. Uh, wow. So a person who uh, tortured uh, her slaves and oh, her workers. Oh yes, uh, I I remember that character story. in the in the show in Coven. Yeah, yeah. So that's a great one, I think. Uh, woman of Horror for sure. And it was I would put that one probably top five. Oh yeah, because it's time. very very. When you're scary. talking about women of horror, horror, and, <laughs> and that's it. Like I said, I prefer not based in reality so much. I like 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 a monster or a creature or whatever. But I'm like for her, I'm like that one is she she ranks up there. She gets mm. up there. She's fucking scary. She yeah. is super scary. But I have to say, she made him a better writer. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I don't ever want to write that good. Yeah, uh, I'm Damn, good. I don't want I'm you to write that good either. Oh my yeah. god, I'll, I'll stick to podcasting. You know. Damn. Um, Double A, is there someone that we haven't mentioned that you yeah, want actually, to talk about? Roxanne, yeah, uh, gave me like a whole list, and one of them was what Kara said. Carrie. Yes. Uh, man, just the you know the whole blood, the prom, you mm -hmm. know that look with her eyes wide open is such an iconic moment. Well, this is another one, another one that's you can't mention women of horror without Carrie being on you the list. You can't, and it's, it's her movie, Stephen King it's her, character. Yeah, another Stephen King. <laughs> she's the, the the star, and she's mm -hmm. the main character. They've remade it. And they've but made sequels. You can't, you, know. you can't top the Sissy Spacek. She Sissy Spacek mm -hmm. looks so scary, yeah. you know, and everything yeah. is... And but kind she of, played innocent well. And she was she innocent. She really yes. did, yeah. Yes. Yeah, and yes. that mom was uh, oh. super Piper fucked Lord. up, oh. who makes her like that. She's great. I love her in The Hustler, and yeah. then she came out in this one, she's great. Have any yeah. of you seen the one, the, the, the newer version, where it's uh, Chloe, Chloe Moritz? Oh, no. Chloe, Chloe, Have you ever seen the Chloe direct Moritz? sequel? I did. Uh, I just watched it last Amy, night. Uh, <laughs> Amy Irving. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I just okay. Is she supposed night. to be it's so the bad. same character? <laughs> She's supposed to be the same character. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the one I'm talking about, the Chloe Moore, it's what it's a remake, but the, Julianne Moore plays the mom, I believe. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I was just wondering if anybody, because that's you know, I, that's, I love I Julianne Moore. That's like another a woman of horror that I don't think you can top is the mom. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Well, she's the scary one, right? Super scary. You know, because see, to me, Carrie is. While she's vicious with her power, these people fucked her they over. They pushed her to they that. So, her yeah, so I'm kind of like, oh, if I, they would have left her alone, they would have. Yeah, fine. like like mm -hmm. I said, this is a, a situation double A where I'm like, well, I'm kind of on your side. Like, but still, she's them, scary you know? looking, and that hope her covered in blood. Is oh super yeah. Iconic. Oh no, that's an iconic you know? scene. Was that's an iconic look. One where she worked at the pool place. Was that that one? No, the second there was a a, a sequel. And the Rage, the, Carrie 2. Carrie the Rage. Oh, the Rage, okay. Carrie 2. And the yeah. girl's got Je like curly uh, Jeremy hair. Jeremy or Jason London, one of the twins who is in yeah. Jason Confused is in it. He plays the lead guy. And oh, more rats. And they, you know what? She has quit. Damn. Yeah. You know what's weird about that is they have a romantic connection between her and the guy character. And it actually was cute. They had the chemistry. It worked out. Mm -hmm. it, it seems like it'd almost be a better love story than it was a horror story because when they threw the horror in there, it was cheese ah. oh, It was okay. really bad. Like, she has a tattoo. Like, when she finally gets to her point, like, the carry point where mm -hmm. she's, like, big-eyed or whatever. Yeah. Uh, she's got a tattoo that suddenly like grows oh. into her skin. Yeah, so she's got like it. Oh. I remember seeing. I remember seeing parts of that one, and I was like, eh, I don't know. You it know, was kind of cheesy, but, but you know what? I, I I enjoyed it because this Halloween I decided to do more romantic horror. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so I saw I watched things like Crimson Peak and Ah, yeah, that's a weird oh, one. <laughs> the yeah, incest. Yeah, yeah. I was all like. <laughs> That's like oh, the kind of romance weird. I want to talk about. <laughs> I know. Loki so, comes out now. It's so yeah, weird, though, that on, on a Crimson Peak, Chester. people are, yes, are like, rooting right. for Tom Hiddleston yeah. to get with the, the lady character. And mm -hmm. I'm all like, 
but he's trying to kill you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's some toxic ass people. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But, you know, I mean, obviously it's a 60s basic character that we're yes, talking about. Yes, of course. Yeah. yeah. And, and I do think, like I said, Carrie was on all the lists that I saw. You just immediately think women of horror, like and the music too. Carrie. It's just really scary. Well, what about uh, Norman Bates' mother? Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> definitely. I think that that would definitely be a woman of horror. What well, is that? The mom or is that Norman? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, well, she's well, kind of who created the monster because, in a way. Right, I know, but they the... talk about they talk about that. Uh, what wasn't spoke of uh, in that was that Norman probably had a a sexual relationship with his mother oh, oh really yes. well okay so if you watch it's it's really weird i haven't seen the bates series me neither i, I, can't, see I, haven't seen it I can't talk about that but there is a movie that shows like a prequel of what <sighs> okay, so we'll come right back with roxanne's thoughts on that right Sorry. after this guys <laughs> I just didn't want uh, the non-watching live audience to miss your thoughts on it. Yes. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, we, we were just talking, me and Jess, about the, the Bates Motel series. I was like, I would like to give it a shot since we just recently watched uh, one and then two with you, Roxanne. Yeah. We mentioned we that. We still got to watch the second back. one. I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I I'm there for it. it. Yeah. And Double A was telling me that, uh, don't forget your thought, what you were going to mm-hmm. say, but Double A was telling me recently that he was watching... Mm-hmm. Um, Eli Ross History of Horror, yeah. and it was, was it Eli Ross History of Horror? Yes, Eli like, Ross, the yes. best sequels, and that yes, Psycho yes. Two was and, out there, and yeah, I said they oh, it was Psycho really good. And they said I stayed they away. Oh, I, yeah. oh, I love yeah, Psycho Two. I had never seen it. I wish I could have been there with you. Guys. It was really, really good. Oh, I, and I, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, we have to have another really viewing. Good. Yeah, it was because really good. yeah, we want to see it. Like after we saw the episode, we're like, oh wow, that's cool. And then it was so funny because there was a little bit of controversy because Anthony Perkins was famous for Psycho, and then they made Psycho Two like twenty five years later. He was a lot of bit older. But you know, you know what's cool is that they mention it. They're like, oh. He's been in the psych ward all that time, and right. now he's able to be released. Okay, well, so until well, Amy in the house says, "Happy early Halloween!" Hey, Happy hey, Halloween, Amy. Hey, sis. So yeah, um, um, I wanted to bring something up while we're on our break. Yeah, go right <laughs> ahead. Me and you kind of were were talking about this. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we're talking about sleepaway camp. Oh, I love sleepaway. So, oh, I was gonna mention. We're that. like, should we mention it because technically in the movie. <laughs> She, she was she? on she was on one of the lists I saw and I was gonna bring <laughs> but, it up because you guys have met Melissa Rose, right? Yeah, we yeah, have. She's yes, we have. More of a male. <laughs> yeah, she's a good looking woman. They does always call her on Joe. Jess always watches Joe Bob Briggs. Yeah. yeah. Joe Bob Briggs, yeah. Um, but there's a character her character, Angela Count. I can't because I put it on my list. <laughs> I, I say she does because she probably identifies as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> she really does. Her pronouns are probably she, her. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. So I would say yes. And you know, guys if you you see Slipway Camp. I mean, that's just like a, that was one of your brother's presentations, that's another and I, was, one that and I remember really being like, out. I was like into it up until the end of that part, and no. I was like, what the fuck? Did now I we were watch? surprised though when we found out that you know, Roxy's husband <laughs> actually owns the whole trilogy. <laughs> no shit, I didn't <laughs> know had that. the Slipway Camp kit. So yeah, had, like three. They were like, holy oh, shit! Wow. I thought you were like for some reason about to say like that. Roxy's husband one time dressed, and I was gonna be like, what the <laughs> fuck did he dress as that? <laughs> You know what's funny though is the one that takes over Angela is Bruce Springsteen's sister. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I was like, really? holy shit. Familiar. I yeah, didn't know so she was from, I was like, holy crap. Awesome. If you're not the boss, then you must be the boss's sister, then. So or the boss's until Amy says whoop, and then she says uh, double. A-. I'm sorry. She goes, y'all look awesome, queens of the night. Ah, uh, thank you. Hey, stay up for those tots later. <laughs> She's been drinking, maybe not. I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> But uh, great stuff, guys. Okay, uh, Rox. We might have to talk about Angela uh, on the coming. Don't forget your thought, Rox, that you had before the break. I totally uh, forgot. That I, I, knew, I knew you were. I got to give you guys paper and pen. <laughs> uh, okay, guys. Thanks for uh, hanging out with us during the break. We think we got to all the comments in there. Uh, Untamable Amy is saying that y'all look awesome. Of course, we Queen wholeheartedly agree. Uh, we are talking Madams of the Macabre. We've got two of them right here with us. I can't think of two cooler horror chicks to have here with us in the pod lab talking about, uh, I was going to say women of the night, but it sounds like prostitutes, so that's not what I meant. But w- women of a horror night, so I that's what I mean. That sounds even worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not you two. I meant the character of women of the night. You... No, that's fake. It's like horror. Everyone's, a, like com- horror. everyone's a comedian. And, Why and are you always calling me a horror? <laughs> <laughs> a horror. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's bring it back for the audio listeners. 
into well what was the last thing we were saying what were we talking about what were we talking about I have no idea what I was talking about but we were about to bring up Felissa Rose I don't know no 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 we were talking about and then no prior to that we were saying the last character that we had talked about was uh, Norman Bates Norman Bates' mother mother. we were talking about Norman Bates' mother yes Norman Bates' mom yeah Yeah. and Double A was saying would you count I think you were talking about the, the Bates Motel that you hadn't seen it, and then the mm-hmm. what kind of uh, made him that way? Well, there was a movie that showed Norman Bates. Oh, that's right. You're talking well, about that's the prequel. You're talking the pre- about the prequel. There was a prequel that actually had a uh, Henry Thomas, the one who played E.T. Holy boy. Uh, yeah, oh, I heard dude. about I that. Did. Yeah, the one that plays. Let me, let's bring us back into the recording real quick. Okay. All right, guys. If you missed anything during the break, again, go check us out on YouTube. I can't stress that enough. You get the full unabridged version of the conversation that sometimes goes a little bit off the rails but we try to bring it back <laughs> we were talking a little bit about a great uh woman of horror that uh a lady jay jess brought up which was norman bates's mother in a sense who creates the monster Pretty and much. we were so, saying that we hadn't seen the bates motel but i'm wondering if but, it goes into but in cycle we do get a clips of that we do oh get yeah how she was overbearing you know well never... pretty much she began to live in his own mind right you know yeah because she was so overbearing she was such an overbearing mom that she mm-hmm. wouldn't let him have friends wouldn't let him have girlfriends <laughs> yeah you know all that kind of stuff and every time he got close to a female or like the female that voice inside his head would come out yeah you know? yeah so a well, boy's best friend is his mother. Because in the in the prequel, Terrible. she Should've kind been. of uh, like uh, punished him a little bit for having like sexual thoughts. You know what right. I mean? Because Ugh. he was so attached to her, and and for a long time, uh, she didn't have um, her husband there or or man at all. So she was always with him. Um, they would always play around and there was even one time where like they were kind of like wrestling on the ground like laughing or whatever but then he gets a heart on Ah, and and she's like horrified Mm. and she's like i'm gonna cut it off and i'm gonna put you in the closet and i'm gonna dress you up like a woman i'm gonna call you norma and and she was really fucking psycho when she you know, realize that he's like at his sexual awakening. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, and that's an interesting. That's a kind of some uh, Red Dragon vibes. Yeah, you know what I mean, bit. with the uh, you guys have the you ever seen character. Psycho. See Psycho. That's a really, really great movie. I'm talking we about the just, original. Yeah, we not just the rewatched Vaughn. the original and part yeah, two. Yeah, not the Vince mm-hmm. Vaughn and Hish one. Right, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah sometimes, no. I, sometimes I want to see it just to see. Oh, you've never seen it? Not the Vince Vaughn one. It's literally take for take. You okay. know, frame for frame. Psycho. So the but, acting is what has to. But what's hold crazy it about up. it? He's like, no Anthony Perkins. What's right. crazy about Psycho He's is that not. you're thinking it's a mob, right? <laughs> right. Like all throughout mm-hmm. the movie, you're thinking it's a mob. Right. So I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty crazy that you're thinking it's. Yeah. And I mean, again, this lady, this female. They that kind you're of not ad- seeing. They kind of address it, whereas it's like he's. It's almost like a split personality. It is. No, it is. It, he, it truly is. You know, he's yeah. almost not, and he tries to fight it in that part he too. He tries. Yeah. When you see it, he he's really like you know, uh, like Roxanne told us, uh, and that's what Eli Roth was saying that their people are pushing him yes. to be that exactly. killer again, a, that carry situation. Yes. Like I said, it's well, kind of hard. Been to... there for twenty five years, mm-hmm. supposedly, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's a why long I feel to get cured, hey, you know. Yeah. I, that's why I, when we talk about Carrie, I don't really feel that bad because I'm like, oh, if I had powers and people fuck with me like that, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to use my powers to kill your <laughs> ass. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, great, great, great uh, when it comes to Carrie. And definitely I think Norman Bates' mother is a definitely sure, woman mean, of horror who, to, who to, creates the monster. To get into you know? the son's psyche that way, you know, where he has to dress up like her to fight all that kind of inhibition. Mm. Yeah, that's terrible. No, totally. Totally, totally. Um other ones, guys, people, ladies that killed. come to your mind. Mm. Who? Yeah. Norman Bates' mom killed her lover. Or oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, so there definitely was that aspect of her that we that we mm. didn't see. And I would like to check out that Bates Motel. I haven't uh, watched it yet, but I think that it's on, I think it's on Hulu, I think. Oh, go ahead. So then. I would like to check it out. Yeah, go ahead. Um, but uh, others that come to mind, um, the three of you that we haven't mentioned yet. I have a few more on my list, but I'm just want to hear if there's something I'm missing or we haven't talked about. Yeah, absolutely. There is. When I was in school, I was in high school, and we went to go see The Craft, and there oh, was a there character named Nancy mm-hmm. who Oof, was the man. like darker witch. Is of this the Feruza Balk character? Balk. Golly, what an iconic character! She was Her great. She's also pretty scary in American History X. <laughs> I was like, she you're is. fucking scaring me. Yeah, she is. <laughs> 
So yeah, yeah, she's uh, got a scary she's look. She's become that face, you mm-hmm. know, the face of horror, you know, for witches, for horror. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, I saw her at a con not that long ago. She like, was so here, far away. Yeah, she was here and, in uh, San Antonio. She's, yeah. she's, she's looking older. Age. She's, she's looking older. Yeah. Well, you were with me, right? You were with me? I believe so. Yes. You see, we both saw her. Yeah, yeah. Well, Roxanne, why? Why is she such iconic? Well, what I liked about it is that she didn't start out that way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? She was a person. That like this, her and her little friends, her little two friends were just people who were dabbling Nef in Campbell, the craft. Nev Campbell, I forgot what the other one. Nev Campbell, right. and I don't remember the other one. Her name's Rochelle in the movie. There's mm-hmm. three, or there's, there's four. Three. There's three before it was that three, new character. And then came. Robin Tooney comes in yeah. uh, and makes the four. So now they have like all the elements. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so now they have their fourth witch, and they can make things happen. Now. I knew <laughs> the one girl uh, was from Half Baked. Yeah, yeah, yes, her, yeah I forget her, her name yes. though, but yeah, Ooh. yeah. She's with uh, what's his name? She's with Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Yeah, she's the girlfriend of Jay- Mary Jane. She's Mary Jane. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm in love with Mary <laughs> Jane. <laughs> Mary yeah. Jane. You need to watch Half Baked again. Right? <laughs> I didn't watch it again because I don't remember. Anybody <laughs> right. from but the but yeah, she's in the crowd because I only knew her from those two movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she came here too. She was there too. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was just you know she's. Uh, didn't start out that way. She seemed like a person who. She's just that weird she, character, yeah. goth character, goth right? Character. In school, we that you're just like widows. you hear mm. you hear rumors. Oh, she's into witchcraft. Oh, okay. she's into this and that. Okay, she hates me. She's a lesbian. Uh, <laughs> okay. Blah blah blah. Right, you know? she's dressed goth. You know, yeah. and she she got hurt in the in the movie like that guy who what is it Skeet Ulrich? Skeet Ulrich from Scream. Ulrich. Uh, Billy Billy Loomis. She yeah. that guy sucks. Gets her heart broken from him a little bit, and and she's lived, she has an unhappy life at home or. Whatever. Suddenly, she gets powers and she abuses it or whatever. Okay. Right? Yeah. So is she the first one? Why does she stand out for you as a woman of horror against the other three witches? I just think that she took it to another level. She, yeah. okay. she definitely did. Ooh. She's the she, bad one. She was yeah. the faces, the way she talks. She even turns into She's Robin Tony, yeah. right? She does. She glamours herself mm-hmm. to yeah. look like him. First of all, she goes over there to be like, okay. Skeet Ulrich almost raped Robin Tooney. Mm-hmm. And Robin Tooney goes over to her friends and she's like, I almost got raped by this dude. You know, our spell like turned him into somebody who's like mindless and he was didn't even look yeah. like him. And she's yeah. like, I'm going to go. It was a love spell, but it turned him into this like. Oh, wow. So I only love you. overbearing type <laughs> yeah. of. Yeah, okay. I only love you. Let me rip off your clothes. Oh, yeah. right. you know? So Nancy's like, I'm going to go and basically like kick his ass or whatever. This is the Feruza Balt character. Feruza yeah. Balt. And, and you think that that's what she's going to do, but she ends up just turning herself into Robin Tooney and starts making out with him as revenge. That doesn't make any sense, mm, but whatever. <laughs> You just wanted to have. Well, I guess for the guy, right? He's like, holy shit. You yeah. know, I was like, mm-hmm. it's But that's the you. part where you kind of <laughs> see her really turn. Right. She's like, has no remorse. It's all gone. Anything. It's all out the window. Out the okay. window. Mm-hmm. She's using her powers, Mari. She's even her. Uh, she's even floating above yeah. the ground and it's her like toes are dragging. Yeah. And so the other like, ones are not as skilled as she is. No, They're well, not like, into it like she is. They're not okay. that into it. They like it. They like changing they their it. hair yeah. color. You know, like Nev Campbell whatever, like, has like yeah. burn marks right all yeah. over her body right. that mm-hmm. she cures so with she's her able pool. to do, yeah. reflect that to have people. Have you seen the movie? No. No, I've not, not seen the movie. It's a really, it's a really, really cool movie. The reason why it works is because Robin Tooney, who plays, I don't remember her name, but she's a person who comes into the group because she's moved. But she's a real witch, though. And she is a real witch. All the so she's kind of created this one. power for them. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, okay. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I know that it has its uh, place because it's always brought up. It's it always, always is. referenced or whatever. You know what I mean? Have so. you guys ever saw the sequel? The Legacy no, Craft Legacy? I did, did you? So. Was it good? Uh, no, but my wife and daughter did, and she comes out. Oh, at the very end. Uh, I, didn't know, cool. I didn't know if they were going to do that. The Nancy character, she comes out. Nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, she looks fine. She's still, like, in the hospital. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, because she went Probably yeah. you yeah. are like, uh, but, yeah. But there's, like, a twist why she's shown at the end so oh. yeah so i mean she's she's in there so so it I, kind of gave that that part to you kind of like the weight yeah you know for that this is not off my list but i just thought of it because i was hearing you and i was trying to think i was like oh, i haven't seen that one but then i was make, made me think about stuff i have seen with you rocks i think you might have been there hun uh, and this is gonna be like i'll put this in our honorable mention section because i don't know the character's name all i know is the movie that i saw with you with you rocks the movie for women of horror the movie Teeth. Oh, oh. wow. 
where the I gal, love that movie. The, the primary character, the gal, literally has teeth in her vagina. Vagina she, dentata is what it's that's called. That's one of Tony's movies. I stopped <laughs> watching that after like a I, few minutes of the movie. I love, like, love, love. Are that you? Movie. That was. This is another gathering at your brother's, but this time I think yeah, Roxana yeah, picked the movie, and I, we were all. I was like, "What the?" But I gotta say, as far as horrific goes and terrifying, I mean, yeah, you yeah. can't dress it as for Halloween unless you dress as the oh, whole vagina. Yeah. With teeth. <laughs> but but the idea of it, I was like, "That's fucking terrifying!" Like, what the fuck is this? You know what I mean? So, or we're like, "What the guy?" Like... Jeremy, uh, what's his name? Comes out in it, right? Uh, the porn. Uh, not Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. It's Doesn't either. he come out in that movie? No, I don't know. It's I it's always on did. one of the streaming services or whatever. But mm. yeah, that the time I saw it, that one time was it, one time. Or was enough. it the Killer Couch? <laughs> that may have been Killer Couch. He comes, it was one, he comes out of one of those. <laughs> I gotta see this Killer Couch now. I don't know if the couch is a woman of horror, but but either way, okay. But that was that's just one of my asides on, on the honorable mention list. If you haven't seen if it, you want to get freak, mm-hmm. freaked out. Um, but you guys have anyone else before I talk about a few of these here I have? No, nope. go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, so, go ahead. Uh, I mentioned earlier the movie A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, the primary character. She's just called the girl. So that's it. That's it or whatever. Mm-hmm. But if you guys get a chance to check that out, I think that she's an outstanding woman of horror. That what movie is she? Plays icon so well. of horror. Uh, I wouldn't call her an icon, but she's definitely a woman of horror. And I think okay. one that could be iconic. This movie, I think, is ripe to be made into an American version. And mm-hmm. when it does happen, I think that people were going to dig it. I agree. You know? oh, I really I liked it. Know. Yeah. I, I really liked it. Did you watch it? it? No, but I'm like, I really, okay, so like, let the right one in. I don't know if anybody's uh-huh. seen that yes. one. Uh-huh. Yes. I haven't seen yes. that version. Yes. I've there, seen the let me in version. There's yes. that version that's fantastic. And then they do like right away, like a year later, do let me in or whatever. And I know you liked it because that's the first one mm-hmm. you saw, but that is so like, not the movie that I saw when I saw. <laughs> so Let, tell me, right tell one. me the differences, or tell me what you didn't like. No, about first it. off, tell people what that movie is. Okay. Well, that movie, the original, the, compared to the remake. Let the, the right one in. The original is about this little girl who is a vampire, and she actually has like, I want to say that that's her lover, but it's 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 a it's a man who who grew up with her. The they're entire pretty time. much together. Mm-hmm. You know, they they. Partners, they're partners. Yeah, partners. Yeah. You know what I mean? But she's, you know, uh, she still looks like a little girl and she makes friends with a young boy. And she's kind of like grooming him like she did this older She's gentleman. a protector too. Yeah. yeah. So she's protecting him and, th- and they become friends mm-hmm. and they're trying to be like, he's like, I want you to try things that I do. Like he tries to give her a now and later and then she gets sick or whatever, you know, but... <sighs> See, like, I felt like it was just a little more creepier in Let the Right... Is it Let the Right One In? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let the Right One In. Usually and, those are creepier, yeah, the foreign the, movies. The foreign I films. haven't seen that movie. You know, uh, I want to show I you. I want to watch it. The, yeah. in, the, in the original one, it just has a creepier tone. Yeah. And there's a one big scene they make that's different. So in Let Me In, uh, the girl attacks these bullies. In the pool. In the pool. Mm-hmm. And in the original one, she takes them, and it's the guy's feet dragging in the water, and he's like screaming his feet, and he's like he's like you know, splashing, and he's like you can tell that he's being attacked, but all you see is feet moving. Mm-hmm. But in Let Me In, uh, it's his head or whatever, mm-hmm. and he's like trying to like or whatever. And I was just like, oh, I lost the impact that the first one had or whatever. And then like there was just like little things, especially like Americans like to put like this like horrible a cgi face yeah uh, when yeah. you attack or whatever the other one didn't it was very more natural you know what i mean so i didn't i i'm not a fan of cgi it cheapens things and it, i felt like it cheapened i didn't like movie. that in blade too that's one thing uh, I didn't okay. like in blade the too. the big vampire yeah. thing now yeah um now uh would she be an icon mm. for be, I mean, because I don't know if a lot of people know that movie. Like, it's it's she's a cult on, favorite. She's on it's my a, list, Abby from Let yeah, Me because in, it's a cult like favorite that. movie. I've heard a lot of people mm-hmm. mention that movie, the foreign one, mm-hmm. more than the American one. I think because people didn't like that, like yeah. um, 
that CGI version. Yeah, I, I gotta disagree. Cause and again, I didn't know that it was foreign. Uh, but that there was like, an original. You like stories, though. You know? I do that's like the stories. Thing about you. And, and you're not a big when, horror. When Roxanne was describing story. it, I was like, it, "That's exactly the same movie." Because I was like, <laughs> "It's about a little girl. She's got an older guy. The guy is Richard Jenkins, who is the dad from Step from Brothers." Yeah. I can see where like, it was just, you know, it was. To me, it was better made yeah. because they were trying to do a lot of more natural effects. There's a part see, where, like, see, it likes the heartwarming stories. Mm-hmm. I, well, <laughs> yeah. Again, to me, the story is essentially the same, which it is a cool story. Yeah. It's the same, it is the same. It's just the same I just story. Don't like CGI. Um, you know, again, and I haven't seen that original version or whatever. Yeah. So, you know, which, you know, it's fine. Depending, I can't, where's it so, from, Roxanne? Do you remember if it's. I want to say it's Swedish. Swedish? That's what I could thought be, too, whatever. So, and like, been a I said, while. like I said, Tony had just put that movie up too on If I cannot read it then i would rather just hear it and i thought i think that chloe grace moritz is a great actress and then the the one that's like the the caretaker or whatever is uh richard the dad jenkins. richard jenkins the dad from Step Brothers, is what i mainly think of him from oh, whatever okay. he's okay. he's um uh well the, the the dad character but um yeah i thought when i first saw that i was blown away i was like oh this is like really cool like, i never seen this concept it's like really neat or whatever mm-hmm. and like you know she was a little girl but she was obviously an old vampire so, yeah, yeah you know what i mean i was like oh okay this is uh pretty cool and then you know that it's just got a very dark tone to it or whatever it's cool very i would dark. definitely watch very the other dark. one um i think i feel like i i can treat them separately or whatever you know what i mean but yeah if you're the, the job is to compare them i wouldn't know until i saw the other one or whatever but i think that let me you in it's a great version. a great version i don't own that actually i have to stop buying movies. do you know if it's on shutter Mm, I think so. I don't think that either is on anything streaming because I just looked for them because really? we were going to watch that. Really she hadn't seen them. It's now. it's very rare for something that just hasn't seen. Well, so I was, she was like, I okay. haven't seen that. I was like, what okay. the hell? Okay, then it was just it. recently taken off because it was streaming. It was. Okay. But now it's Halloween and they took a lot of Halloween movies they off. Yeah, they like always Practical do that. Like Practical Magic. Yeah. Practical oh, Magic is now taken off. <laughs> Which is funny because I see that like HBO Max and like Hulu put a bunch of stuff on there that you couldn't previously. Like, oh, that you can stream Monster Squad right now. You can stream, you know, Corpse Bride right now. Like, I'm like, oh, okay, they threw a bunch of stuff. I think Monster Squad can... is on Prime right now. It. I think. Prime? Yeah, I yeah, think so. Like yeah, you can stream it for for uh, what? Uh, well, stream it. Normally, you got to probably pay. So cool. So I did put Abby on my list, and I okay. mentioned the okay. girl from A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. Which, again, I think that once you saw it, you might say, "Hey, I want to, I want to continue to watch that one." So let me talk about uh, these last ones here that I have on my list. Then it's all open to you guys, I think, because I have a bunch of um, heroines on there, which Double A said we're not going to address. But one that is, I think, iconic that always comes up because they're always mentioned. Anytime you mention him, you can almost not mention him without mentioning them. But what about Dracula's brides? Ah, he's always got brides. three brides. Yes. Yes. And I saw that there's even a movie <laughs> called The Brides of Dracula. You know, I've never seen it, but Bram Stoker's Dracula's. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the three oh, girls. Yeah. Oh yeah, the main scary. one. I'm like. Monica Girl. Belushi? Yeah. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. She got a whole career out yeah. of that. Yeah. yeah. She's in what? She's a bunch gorgeous. of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Matrix. Oh, yeah. she Matrix. Was a and then she was yeah. yeah. a Bond girl. Yeah. At, a Bond girl. Yeah. At 50. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Super hot Girl. Italian. Uh, yeah. I mean, but, you know, you, you almost cannot have Dracula without having his brides. And it was almost like he was trying to fill this void of, you know, and, the love lost with these. They show me too, Van Helsing. If you okay. guys ever seen the movie, yes, that's right, and they're, they're badass. They're very like they're like his personal guard, his minions, almost, like, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, what do you guys think about that? The, I think Dracula's the, brides. I think they. <laughs> I remember seeing Monica Bellucci, and okay, first of all, I we're was, talking about the Coppola version. I'm talking about Coppola Bram Stoker's version. Dracula. I'm talking about Bram Stoker's Dracula with Keanu Reeves. I went there because Keanu Reeves was in the movie. Oh wow! And I, was I don't like, think most people would say that. that. <laughs> I, was, I was, I was a big, big fan of Keanu Reeves. I thought he was gorgeous. I was like, oh, I'm gonna watch that movie. Then I fell in love with Gary Oldman, and then I saw um, Monica Bellucci come up from the bed between oh, uh-huh. scary part. That's Keanu a very scary, sensual part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, seductive. I have you know? to say, my eyes went like this, and I said, <laughs> "Who is that? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh my god!" <laughs> that, that whole scene, right, Tim, is just super oh, scary. Yeah. He's just on a bed, like laws of physics do not work in Dracula's home. No. And then you just see these three women just spring up, mm. and you're just like, "What the Sorry. fuck's about yeah. to happen?" You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're now, just they like, mention Holy the shit. best looking of? The oh three. yeah, yeah. In in the original Dracula, the thirty one, the Bell of the Ghost. There's no brides. No, right, right. No. right. But no. do, do they ever address them in the Christopher Lee ones? <sighs> Christopher there, Lee. There, I thought there was three little brides. 
I know there's a movie that is called The Brides of Dracula. Yeah, yeah. There wasn't three little brides on on, on the Dracula one. There might have been. No, wait. The the original Dracula. The original Dracula? I don't think so. I want to. I didn't rewatch really that one this year, but there has to be time, because right? there's always brides. There right. exactly. always is yeah. the brides. It may have been in the Spanish version, and I don't. I don't know. I wanted to mention it to you guys when y'all were talking about the monsters mm-hmm. of them, but. At the exact same time of... Uh, I think I brought this up based on your you? story. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, tell it again. Well, I may have seen it on the Spanish version. So at the exact same time Dracula was being filmed, there was a separate movie, Dracula's Spanish version. Is that what you were telling me about That's last what I was week? Telling okay, you about. yeah. Roxanne okay. tells it better, though. Okay. Yeah, so they were both... Fil- so in the daytime, Dracula was being filmed, nighttime, Spanish version, with, do- with all Spanish actors... And they say this is the more superior film wow. because the guy took wow. uh, the original guy who was going to f- film the American version got, you know, demoted. And uh-huh. he says, well, no, you can film it, but you're going to film Spanish, Spanish version. version. So he literally stayed up, watched them film Dracula and says, oh, you're going to film from the left? I'm going to film from the right. You're going to film this way? I'm going to do it this way. In fact, I'm going to top you every single way so he was looking for different angles for different things if this if uh, mina was wearing something that was you know with a, a high collar i'm gonna have my ladies wear something that was low yeah, and more yeah, appealing to yeah. people and but i think you said that his dracula was not as good as Bella okay Lugosi. so they said that's everybody that's gonna be hard that they nice. said the only it it was almost superior in every way except for not having Bella. Which Lugosi. is kind of hard when that's the name of the fucking hard. movie, yeah, right? But, you know, like, it, it's oh my Dracula's week. Yeah, but, you know, you know? Yeah. we talked last week. It, it's going to be hard to top Bella Lugosi, yeah. right? Honestly, right. I mean, he's yeah. always still the standard. I would love to vampire. see it though, based on those things. Though, do you have yeah. that movie? Do you, do you know if that movie's like available? You can stream found it. it. I found it on YouTube. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Try to but I would like to find it. Like, like. So what is it? Darker. It's it a was a little bit movie? darker. It was a little bit, and then it's so funny because there are some scenes with Bela Lugosi. So the stock footage that they didn't use in Dracula, he was like, "Oh, I'm going to take that." <laughs> so they okay. Put it. So, oh, nice. but the brides though, we we're going back to the brides yeah. though. That whole scene with Keanu Reeves is like I said, it's very seductive, it's very sensual, but it's very scary at the same time. Mm. Yeah. It looks like he's about to have a great, like, every man's a fantasy, night. right? Yeah. He was gonna uh, he's going to have a foursome. Night. Not a threesome, a foursome. <laughs> until oh, all of a sudden the fangs come out and they just start sucking the life out of him. How about the one that's, like, two women, like, they're, like, That was the scary part. Yeah, that, when, when that whole shit is freaky. That's why I said, like, like the laws of physics do not work in this house. But, I mean... You know, they're, he, she's got an arm, she's got an arm, and you see she's biting down somewhere. I don't know where she's been. You know, <laughs> like, you know. Yeah, but then, they, <laughs> but then uh, he calls them away, and what does he do? He feeds them and a what baby, yeah. which yeah. makes them more terrifying. Very so. terrifying. And then later, Van Helsing has to contest with them because they're protecting their master. Like mm-hmm. you said, they're like three vicious fucking, minions. you know. Minions. Yeah, they're like, like double A's, like his his honor guard pretty much exactly. like yeah. they're not gonna let you kill their Do my master dirty work, you know? right and right. you know saying on that movie what about lucy oh. yeah you know what you know, who i have right underneath the dragon but i have lucy that, Lu- lucy her, and mina are they look when they buried her, her she looked fucking terrifying oh, she looks very amazing. terrifying you know <laughs> and i want to be that costume the all white, you should, the all you white lucy and you should get john's dress of like arthur yeah <laughs> come to me arthur it, that, that, Dumb shit still goes. That's you know, how she's dead. John normally dresses. Yeah. Who, me? No, John. Oh. John, he's normally dressed like Arthur. <laughs> and, and dumb shit is all like, okay. You yeah. Know, you're yeah. just dead. But I mean, man, how scary is she as, you know, the undead? Yeah. You know? She was going to eat a, a child. Yeah. 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 And that's another character that kind of is persistent throughout the Dracula. But the you Lucy don't see character. her like that in the other no, versions. No, you like, don't. He no. gets rid of her. He kills her right she has sex with the werewolf part that's right yeah. she does and that, that was a that freaky scene pretty scene yes it was because I, I was like wow elevated. Dracula can turn into a werewolf I didn't know that yeah <laughs> and his <laughs> werewolf looked pretty scary because he kind of had like a bat nose still yeah. which he looked like a, like a wolf but what about her look uh, Rocks Jess. I mean, man, you know when she's buried, she looks fucking creepy as hell. I don't I know how they that. can <laughs> bury her like that. She's, you know, they painted her all white, mm-hmm. you know, first. And off. then with the mouth so like red, yeah, like, it was like that was fucking. Fr- and freaky. then like he like he kills her, and then she's all. Yeah, yeah. she throws up. Uh, she, uh, yeah. Yeah. 
projectile vomits, blood. Uh, then you get Anthony Hopkins as Van Helsing, right? He tells the story. He's like, oh, we chopped off our head. Blah, blah. No, he's he's, eating that, he's, yeah. eating that <laughs> he's telling Mina, who's like, that's my fucking friend. You know what I mean? Right. So, I mean, I think that uh, the Lucy and Mina character is pretty iconic in the in the Dracula lore. And again, as persistent as vampires are, as persistent as Dracula is, it's like you, they're always a part you of it. You always kind of mention the brides of mm-hmm. Dracula. For sure. Yeah. You know, because that's a pretty horrifying thing to think of as women yeah. as vampires that can seduce you. Yeah. You know, and, and how about that he's, kill you right he, away? He's not, there's no like love for them. They're just his. You know, maybe concubines. they're concubines, <laughs> yeah, and and protectors. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, but they're yeah. incredibly and how about loyal that to scene him too. When he's lighting up that ring of fire, mm-hmm. and they're there, like mm-hmm. in the dark, and they're like howling and hissing. Yeah, I'm like, wow, I don't, I don't know if I could have slept that night. You know, like, <laughs> I was saying, that's holy a, shit. You pretty, know? Uh, pretty clever and, and wise of Dracula to he enlists these three women and I don't know if they ever give their backstory I'd be curious to see that movie The Brides of Dracula to see if they give any of their backstory and how they became mm. but the fact that you know he's this is how he uses who were his these power. women right yeah. who were these women that he bit and mm-hmm. and clearly has sway over Sw- to, to where lot. they're gonna give their yeah. life for him you know what yeah, I mean a lot and, and their afterlife for him they've given yeah, one yeah, life they're giving two lives for him their life and then their yeah, one dead life Matt Helsing kills him pretty nasty in Bram Stoker oh yeah you know, he waits for his son to come up and he's got you the know, three heads. He gets them and cuts their heads off. You know, and I'm but, pretty sure that's that they're they're giving up their eternal souls. I'm pretty sure they're, it's damnation if you're fucking a bride of Dracula. You well, know, even you would Monster think Squad so. had mm-hmm. the brides of Dracula. That's right. It? Yep, Monster Squad addressed it too. They addressed the brides. They were like these uh, um, undead. You know, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. We got clanking going on here. Oh, I think it's it. I was like, oh, I was like, what? Well, something's oh. touching something. Sorry, I was picking up on the mic. But uh, yeah, so I wrote down the brides. I how cool down, would that be? If you yeah, saw like three Lucy. people dressed up like the brides. Oh, that would be so cool. Oh. Or even a guy that's Dracula. Like maybe a guy that's dressed up like Dracula with Seriously. the three brides. Mm-hmm. You know? I love it. I mm-hmm. it. Well, speaking of brides, what about uh, Jennifer Tilly? Bride of Chucky. Oh, Bride of Chucky. Oh, Bride yeah. of Chucky. And Roxanne brought that one up too. Yeah. Oh, that's a great one. I like that one. I love her. Tiffany. What, Tiffany. Tiffany. I was like, what is her name? I just, it just came from Tiffany. Uh, oh, did I want great. to say, does she have a tattoo of herself, Tiffany? <laughs> no, I think it says Chucky. It says Chucky. Does it say Chucky or does it say just, Tiffany? I don't know. I, I'm not uh, sure. Well, we gotta look that up. Have to check. I thought, <laughs> but uh, that's cool. What do you think about that? Uh, uh, you know, the comic, you know, she falls in love with the serial killer. Charles Lee Ray. Yeah. Yeah. How normal is that? That we seen that's you know, very common Richard actually Ramirez got married with a big yep. fan of his almost you know? all of them had fans right Bundy, Ted Bundy Charles yes. Manson people had right fans. In the, many of them got married in jail many after they were convicted murderers it's like they're known to have done it right and and people still want them so it's not uncommon it's they know. not uncommon but what's cool about this story is that they they're the story is that she dated him she dated Charles Lee Ray Tiffany before oh, and then he murders her yeah. He murders her as Chucky murders her and then puts her spirit well, using the spell he wants her to into be a doll. Him. As a <laughs> yeah. doll as he is, yeah. Yeah, but I I guess he couldn't have regular sex doll with woman, but he wanted to have doll with doll sex. <laughs> yeah. And they had a doll baby. And they had a doll baby. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. So what was the tattoo? Did it say Chucky? It said Chucky. Yeah, it Chucky, right? Right? Yeah, you gotta I have thought Chucky it would have been it. hilarious if it was Chucky. Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, so, uh, no, I think that's a great pull. Great pull. Huh? That's a good good character. Um, obviously iconic. Now the show is going to come out. She's going to be a part of it. Oh, Jennifer, she is. Yeah, I think Jennifer oh, Tilly's okay. like going to be in okay. it. Oh, she's still like she had on her Instagram. She always posts stuff with Chucky. Yeah, like she's by the pool and she got a Chucky doll next to her. But I don't know if she was going to be part of this new series. I think she's going to be part of the new. I thought series. they got rid of her because I don't even think they mentioned her in the coat of Chucky and the newest one. Well, I remember they didn't mention the two her in newest coat of ones. At one mm-hmm. part, she plays herself, right? Like the yeah. she's playing Jennifer, Jennifer Tilly. Tilly's yeah. playing Jennifer Tilly. So uh, I don't. I don't know how this but i think she is gonna tiffany's gonna be in it and the voice is gonna okay. be in it i think okay. it's her is what okay. they show her in the in the trailers mm-hmm. for the new chucky show so uh mm-hmm. that's pretty cool that's which pretty is already cool. out i think it's on episode three now yeah so i would definitely say she's a woman of horror and in the, oh, in the iconic because you think of her you're like she's the only one that like the doll one you know what i mean so that's a really really great one um I don't know, guys. Is there anyone, any ones that we maybe missed or? Oh, should there's miss, still a few that we haven't mention? missed yet. There. I mean, physically, a woman. Uh, yeah, right. She's a, a doll, a Christine. doll of horror. Uh, 
Oh, Christine is a great one. It is. Christine you know, is a great one. In the book, I, I I don't know if it's a female, but obviously in the movie version, it's very much a female. female very yeah. jealous yeah. female. Yes. Jealous female. <laughs> jealous female. I mean, if she's called Christine in the book, she's got to be Christine. There's got to be a girl. So. I mean, yeah. the way she drives Artie insane, mm -hmm. you know, kills the bullies for him. Yeah. She know. hates the girlfriend, too, she right? She hates the girlfriend. Oh, yeah. That's a very, very good pull. Uh, Christine, the car... Uh, a woman of horror, no doubt. And she has a sense of humor. I mean, like when they try to break into Christine, what does she play? Yeah. Keep on knocking, but you can't Richard. come in. Yeah. <laughs> can't be the uh, can't be the psycho girl with a good sense of humor. That's how it's gonna be. <laughs> Guys, we're up at our next break. Uh, I think we're nearing the end. Am I right? Almost. Double a? Almost. So we'll take this break. We'll come back because there's we'll, some that Roxanne mentioned. We'll that round I'm it up. Want, I want to get her opinion on because yeah. I've never seen the movie. I'm so. in no rush. If y'all are in no rush, so I'm I mean, you know, we'll, we'll, Me we'll get to the ones we've got to get to, you guys. So we'll take this quick break. We'll let our ladies do their thing, and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, if you're joining us here on Facebook Live, we're not going anywhere. The ladies aren't going anywhere. Well, for, for a minute, they're, they're, they're going to step out for a second, <laughs> and then they'll be right back. But let's take a look at some comments here. Uh, who are your madams of the macabre? Who are your ladies of horror that you want to discuss? Uh, on this episode, uh, let's see here. Uh, real quick, guys. Jason says I like the faculty. Oh, the, the faculty. Oh, faculty. Nice. It's a, it's a great one. And then my thing. Yeah, this is Queen of the Dam. Says Dan. Queen of the Dam. Yeah, yeah, and he says yeah. Queen of the Dam. Yeah, so. we definitely did talk about uh, Akasha and Queen of the Damned. Uh, we love her. At, and Jess just said hi. Yeah, if you don't and, recognize her with and her, remember, her blonde we're, wig, we're, we're trying to like. We're not talking about heroines. We're not talking about Lori Stroll. We're not talking about Nancy. Nancy. I have you them know. written down. I have. I have and, here. And that's fine. And and that's fine. If we're talking about like mm -hmm. maybe like heroes of horror, sure. maybe we can put them there. Sure. Uh, but we're talking about like ones that have looks. You know, right. Vampira, Lily, Elvira, Bride, Morticia. They all have looks of horror that you know you want to dress up like as you know. It's a squad. Yeah, I mean, they're very <laughs> iconic looking women. They're very cool horror looking women. You yeah. Know, again, on the men's side, you have, you know, you Jason, have Jason, Freddy, Freddy Dracula, the Wolfman. Uh, what's the one from Scream? Ghostface. Ghostface, yeah. You know, you, you put it in a great way, Double A. I hadn't thought about it when you said somebody you'd want to dress as for yeah. Halloween. Like, I want to like be who, that person. Like, you, you know? know, my sister in law last year, her and my brother dressed up like Morticia and Gomez. And Gomez. That's a great that costume. That was cool. It's a it's great couple costume. It's been a costume. long time that I yeah. haven't seen a Morticia and yeah. my sister in law dressed like that. You That's know? Very so that cool, was very cool. Yeah. You know? So it's it's cool, you know, when you dress up like a female horror, because there's so many females of horror. And it's so funny, Double A, you're saying that, right? Because you know, we went to the, uh, you know, when we mentioned, uh, Jason, you're still here, Jason. You're gonna ask me what's going on this weekend. Ekman's uh, show. Tomorrow. Ekman's show is tomorrow, buddy, over at the Shrine Auditorium. Get out there, go check it out. Gonna be some great vendors out there. You might even run into Mario, um, but there's gonna be a lot of great stuff out there. Are you going? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to go too. I'm probably going. Yeah, I think I'm going to go too. So uh, you run into us out there too, possibly. I want to go just scope scope out the scene, check out the Layla Land. Their Halloween one is always fun uh, with them. So uh, definitely wor worth uh, getting out to over at Ekman's uh, if you get a chance. Uh, Diana says, "Love you guys. Love you too, Thea. Appreciate you being now, here." If, the show. if anybody would to see like Roxanne. She'd probably be number one at the, any horror contest. Right. You know, if she dressed up like that at that, you know, the Wonderland Mall, right. she'd probably win number one. And, and the know? point I was trying to make, though, is that I just went to the Big Texas Con, right? And I yeah. and I saw, yes. I saw, I've been in the Titans, right? So I was yes. like, I wanted to, I didn't stop any, you know, uh, people, cosplayers, yeah. for pictures, but there were a couple of really cool ones I didn't get to catch up with them that I wanted to. But I saw two Ravens, you know, Raven from, from See, Titans. Cool. And I wanted to get her in. But, there's here the thing. There's two of them. Two of them. One of them looked very cool. She had did the white face. She had the look, all that. And I even heard a guy saying, hey, can my daughter take a picture of you? She's been looking for a raven. She wants to be raven for Halloween. And your costume is great. She had everything right, except she didn't have the diamond on her head. Ah, I didn't like okay. that. I was like, eh. And I told Jess about it. Then I saw another raven. She had everything right, all, all that. The costume everything was cool. She had the diamond, but she didn't do the white makeup. So I was like, I feel like you said, I was like, see, women dresses these type of characters because it's like oh they're like iconic and like you said it's like you know you want to you know you want to be them it's something that's cool or whatever and they did that but then it's like you don't do it all the way so it doesn't kind of come off all the way like, you know <clears throat> last year roxanne did a really cool thing she dressed up like almost every day as like a like a, a horror uh costume 
and she has like a really great i think it's your your profile pic now it's like the bride of frankenstein yeah that for today, by the she way. looks great mm -hmm. you know uh you know she sort of like a virus she says she's like the bride of frankenstein yeah. You know, she even did like this Roy Demon that I thought she looked like Purgatory. Yeah, like Purgatory. Lady Death oh. We haven't even gotten into the comic book. We have aspects. it, but I told Roxanne, I was like, oh, wow, you look like Purgatory. Yeah. I was like, I've never seen anyone that comes close to looking like Purgatory. Right. And, you know, I, I sent a picture to you like, for Roxanne to see. Best fucking compliment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, that looks fucking awesome. You know, uh, Roxanne, what, what other costumes would you see? Would you see yourself dressing up like if you can't, if you could? Would it be Angela? Would it be Carrie? You know, if you could. I always wanted to do Carrie, you know, and I always wanted to do the girl from the birds oh. with like, uh, the birds attacking. Gosh. Awesome. Amy has wanted to do that one for years. I'm telling you, Amy has awesome. been like, I will. But you know what? She told me she never does it because she goes, I've never seen the birds, bro. Like, I want to watch it first. And and it's like, a oh, really good movie. I love the birds. It's That's a, really a great good movie. movie. Yeah, movie. super freaky. And, I'm gonna, you know, like, and, and, I'm gonna do the same thing that these and ladies Jess do. is here too, dressing up like the Sanderson sister. That's really yeah. cool. I really Sarah. love the look. Sarah. I really love the look. You know, so I mean, there's so many costumes that you I'm can up, put up, 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 right? Yes. You don't have to dress up like the sexy nurse all the time or oh, the no. sexy cop all the time. The Playboy bunny. I know this is sexy, but I also do very funny. I also did. But it's a <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's all right. You can't. There's no. Yeah, the other day too, I saw her. He dressed up like uh, Coach. Uh, what's her name from Matilda? Oh yeah, uh, Trenchbull. 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 Yeah. Trenchbull. Which is you know another great horror character. If you want to say, <laughs> she's you know, scary. she's a bitch. <laughs> she's you know? scary. She's like she throwing kids by the pigtail. But you had <laughs> you had like a great month last year of yeah. just like horror theme every day yeah. every day every day it was so cool it was i think so my cool. favorite one was the um the demon and frankenfurter yeah 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 so that was really cool that he was able to bust out so many costumes yeah that so was many really iconic really costumes you know so <laughs> right. and it's coming out again all on our feet it's coming out again like every day of her memories so. and everybody right. was trying to say oh are you gonna do 31 days of halloween costumes again and i'm like do you know how much that is <laughs> to yeah. do 31 yeah. new costumes yeah. <laughs> yeah, serious. so i tried to do a one with uh one dress six looks and oh, i did okay. harley quinn on one of them okay um uh lydia when she's uh, the bride and lydia, all that yeah so that was really cool she had i mean they were just super awesome super awesome costumes i was loving it every day that they were coming out it was super cool and, you know, like I said, you can dress up like Lily, you can dress up like Bride of Frankenstein, you can dress up like mm. Elvira, like Vampira, like Morticia, like my sister-in-law did last year. You remember, Karina, she dressed up oh, like yeah. Morticia. Morticia. That was pretty cool. I yeah. always wanted to do Lily Monster. The Lily would oh, be man. super awesome. Yeah. And, you know, the green paint, too, because yeah. she's green, mm -hmm. you know, so that'd be super cool. Yeah. So. And, you know, the Munsters, their house was pink. Like, it I was know, pink. It, it was, it, it was, I know it's black and white, but people... Uh, posted pictures of the real house oh wow and it was pink inside wow okay <laughs> damn i didn't know that so yeah that's cool. Damn. That's cool. so i mean who else would you like to dress up as i've always wanted to do harley quinn the court jester outfit that one the court jester the one up there second yes okay that one okay. i've always wanted to do that one but i mean and john b joker I would love for John to be the Joker and us match, but he's he oh, he's done the Joker once and he was Heath Ledger Joker and I wanted has to be he? more classic. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of John as the yeah. Heath Ledger Joker before. He did a before. good job of like I've the... only seen our buddy George as Joker and that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, George. Shout out to George. Sorry, George. Sorry, George. That was like that you know those Mexican wrestler toys that you would see at the store. <laughs> You oh, know, well. with those cheap belt. That was, yeah, that was flea market. Like, somebody yeah. painted yeah. him wrong. Yeah, for real. That's what it was. So, that was oh pretty bad. Gosh. Yeah, Good old Georgie. Yeah, that'd be I cool think if you guys did that. You and John did that. That'd I be cool. Guess. John was the uh, the Joker, like, at the beginning of the movie when he's in the... Uh... With the mask? Yeah, he's got the other mask. Over, okay. Over the other okay. mask. I believe he was that one, like, because he kind of had that But, you know, John would that's fit cool. that Joker. With the slick hair back. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, that's all John right there. For sure, yeah. man. Definitely. I could see, see Holty doing that. Uh, Jason said, do we read the comment? About yeah, no, ghosts? I okay. haven't read it. He said, 13 Ghosts is a good one. Definitely. Oh, it is a good it. one. And there's some female characters there's in there. There's two. There's two. Shannon Elizabeth, and then there's that 
ghost, that female ghost. Mm-hmm. The naked one? Yeah, that c- has cuts all oh, over yeah. herself. Oh, and that's everything. pretty cool. She is pretty iconic. I bet yeah. that one's that's someone that people wouldn't really wouldn't think of. But you can't of, really like, dress up like that. Right, you can't dress up like that, yeah. And yeah, Annie said she loves you guys. Oh, so, love you, cool. Uh, yeah, Danny said Queen of the Dam. That's yeah. like one of her favorites. So. Awesome. Let's get back into the recording portion, guys, and continue talking in the conversation about a great comments, everyone. We appreciate that. Um, and, oh, yeah. Jason, like you say, he talked about the faculty. Uh, oh, I love it. Ah, gosh, I had forgot good. about that what, movie, too. Yeah, what's I, her name? I like Jean, it. You know, the one who plays Jean Grey. She's kind of like uh, the... Femke Jensen. Right. Femke she's kind of like yeah. one of the... Uh, in that movie, I right? think she's one of the teachers, I believe. Yeah, she's yeah, one of the teachers. One. And then yeah. she gets with, like... Uh, the student at the end. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. I think Usher's in it. I think isn't, I, it kind of, isn't Usher? Oh yeah, in, she's a Usher's football player. Usher's in there, and the football player mm-hmm. in there. Yeah, Robert Rodriguez. Robert directed? Rodriguez directed really? it. Really? Yeah, directed. Sam Hayek's oh, in it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh uh, wow. Lilith from yeah. Frasier. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's aliens. I think it's aliens. Is aliens, the yeah. they're aliens? Damn, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. See, the girl who plays the alien uh, was on a Canadian show with Ryan Reynolds called Fifteen. I saw it on Nickelodeon. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Interesting. Let's bring it back, guys, into the recorded portion. Oh, wait, do we? No, 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 no. Am I at the right one? No. Okay, there yeah, you go. Okay, we're good. All right, guys. Uh, let's bring you back in for the recorded version here so we can maybe maybe round it out. But if not, maybe we'll go another 30. I'm all good with that, too. <laughs> you know? Uh, I'm enjoying hanging out with you guys. Hey. All right, guys. We're still talking Madams of the Macabre, the women of horror. Uh, one of the ones I kept seeing on my list over and over again was um, Species. The one from Species. Oh, hey. and she was like, wow. you know, uh, Natasha, Natasha Henstrich. Yeah. yeah. Henstrich. And they were just saying how she kept, uh, uh, you know, there was several of those. I don't know if she was in all of them, whatever, but definitely that first one was. She, she was just in part kept two. Seducing the men, and it was like she turned into that creature, which looked pretty freaky. Again, it kind of borderlines. I know we talked earlier about like Ripley and aliens, and stuff, but like sci fi ish, mm-hmm. but. You know the things that are happening are pretty horrific. So that's what's right. good about yeah. horror. There's so many different genres. Definitely. If you don't like one, we'll find one that you will. Right. Yeah, that you I like agree. Exactly and well. it's like my wife said: if there's what's an easy way to kill a man, you send a beautiful woman. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that one, the the videos I was watching, it kept showing that one clip where she just like goes up to a guy in a bra at the club she's or looking whatever. Looking at me, yeah. She's, she's looking like, at me, yeah. And she's trying to find someone suit anyone, anyone, anyone just yeah. to anyone. anyone to well, me. in the movie Scream, what's the number one thing that you should not do? <laughs> Don't have <laughs> sex. sex. <laughs> exactly. And I got that like, answer wrong. We learned, we, we learned <laughs> that we learned the hard, hard way. way. <laughs> you know, we went to trivia, right? Double hey, A. but we were number two. Yeah, we were, <laughs> we were number, number two. two. <laughs> we, we, we took uh, Roxy here and, and Jess, and we thought that we were going to just clean the house, but we... We came in second over at trivia over at Tim. I think but second you know what? is a good place. But you know what? Ro- uh, Roxanne's so husband John told me that there was like that the one who won first place were like super fucking sensitive. Oh yeah, you know that he was debating about how many Halloween movies there were. Which he I, took I, the phone, was on Google. Was yeah, like, look. I, yeah, many that, that dude was like, I counted like, him the other day and I counted 13 actually he kept debating that it was 12 and the, the guy, the guy the, said no the, 11 the guy said it was 11 so, so like, he said that dude was like super fucking you know, like plus I want to win it we were a team of four they were a team of six oh, so okay. it was well, like that. All right, yeah. you have a whole yeah. two other brains yeah. and I said out. we were drinking and we some people were shouting answers and that wasn't helping our team uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I thought we did exactly. pretty well you know okay. all things we did really uh, good, yeah. aside six to four yeah yeah for sure, for sure. So, uh, guys, uh, anyway, that's my list. So, whatever you yeah. guys got, well, we got uh, uh, one of them that Roxanne mentioned, which I didn't even think about, was Lydia from Beetlejuice. Oh yeah, yeah. and Definitely. she was even on one of Eli Roth's histories, uh, the Psychics. Is that he right? He called her a psychic, which I never really thought about. Interesting. Right. Okay. A <laughs> I mean, she, I know. I thought so too. But, she had that know, connection she had to the undead because she's the only one that could see them. They uh, never say why you know, she could see them. But how That's iconic true. is she with the red she wedding dress? She did say dress, she read the book, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. I mean, the white wedding dress. You, you think about that, or Roxanne again, dressed up like her one time. You know, with the the black hat and I the did picture. Two yeah. For her. I did you the know? one with the photographer look, and I did the red dress this year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So very nice. Oh, I need to see that one. Mm-hmm. So I love Lydia. Uh, definitely an iconic character. Another one of that a movies. goth character. Again, double A. Okay, you're working at Blockbuster. I hand you Beetlejuice. I tell you, put it in the section. It goes. Where are you going? Man, for me, it'd be comedy. That's uh, see, that's, what, that's, we what, we that's, that's what, what we said. That's what we said. It's definitely a comedy but, horror. Yeah, but yeah, there's a lot of scary things in Beetlejuice. Sure, you know, 
the suicides, you know, working for, uh, right. you know, service for all eternity. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Tim you Burton know? plays with a lot of concepts. The music is kind of scary. Yeah. Here and there, you yeah. know. We just did, I was just, and I mentioned this last week, but I was a guest on Jerry D's podcast, Total, Totally Rad Christmas, and we had done Batman 89 and ba- mainly Batman Returns because it's kind of a Christmas yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah. And one of the oh, things I watched that, it during Christmas. Yeah. One of the things that came up is that we were like, how vulgar, like, Penguin is in that second movie or whatever. Like, it's just, you know, let me show you my flipper trick. And there's, like, a lot of, like, <laughs> sexual undertones. But, again, that's kind of what oh, Tim Burton yeah. does. You know what I mean? So it's like, again, I'm telling you, (laughs) stock this movie, where are you going to put it or whatever? It's kind of like we talked about Monster Squad the same way. It's like, where would you put Monster Squad? It's like, it doesn't go horror. There's some some parts like, you know, know, the the dead for the dead. That's Mm -hmm. pretty scary. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. That window part when he shows them that. Yeah. I mean, Roxanne mentioned the smoking man when he's all burnt up. It's like you're like, geez, like it's pretty. Uh, it's like, oh my yeah, God, you chicken bone. Yeah. He's like, oh yeah, and he's got the wish. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. yeah. Or we always talk about Miss Arjuna, the suicide. She's got her wrist yeah. cut, you know, and her mean? throat, and her throat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's it's pretty, uh, you know. Uh, and then Vito Juice but... too. It's like, what the fuck is he? You know, yeah, right. like, yeah. Really? Yeah. What right, is yeah. he? What is he? Yeah. I mean, I get, he says the ghost of the most. Yeah. You know, but he's but not a ghost. He's like this bioexorcist. Yeah. Yeah. I love that movie. It's probably in like you know definitely my top twenty at least, if not top fifteen. But and you got it here. But uh, but the Lydia there are, character, there are dark comedies, and I would the definitely character, say dark like comedies. I said, if somebody came in a white red, red wedding dress, I'd be like, oh. Shit. Yeah, you're Lydia, That's Lydia for yeah. sure. Mm. Or like Roxanne, you know, she dressed up like her in the black, you know, with the picture. You know, yeah, like, yeah. oh, okay, that's, that's a cool, a uh, cool iconic image of her. Right. So yeah. I would definitely count Lydia as a woman of horror. You know, and they, you know, I too am strange and unusual. Yeah, you know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Again, the, a movie that's gotten its own section at Spirit now, where you can get yeah, Beetlejuice big time. merch and cups and and everything that there is. So that's yeah. a great one. That's a great one. Uh, anyone else that we might be missing or overlooking i i did write down a few uh authors earlier we kind of mentioned um Anne rice because i would think she is a woman of horror because she's written yes several vampires. vampire books now with that being said you have stephanie meyer who wrote twilights but i don't consider those huh. horror books because it's more like romance novels yeah. um, see that's a romance horror yeah <laughs> we mentioned Mar- uh, mary shelley we mentioned earlier she wrote how about you know, you got Bram Stoker does Dracula, and you've got, you know, the classic mummy story. You know what I mean? The Wolfman, again, that's like another, you know, classic story of its own from, you know, history. But Mary Shelley creates one of the most iconic horror characters of all time, Frankenstein, a story that's trans. There's so many Frankensteins yeah. now. It's like he's almost like like Dracula, and it's written by, you know, a, a woman. Female. Like, yeah, yeah who, who would have known? I definitely think that she's an icon and a woman of horror. Mm. Um Roxanne, what, a lady that we both like, and the, maybe the antithesis to Charlene, uh, to uh, uh, Stephanie Meyer, but Charlene Harris, who wrote Charlene. True Blood, all the True Blood books. Uh, obviously, the great oh, HBO show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True um, Blood. And that, you know, they're, it's about vampires also, but they're kind of like, a not lot of like things, Twilight. Right? Huh? But it's about a lot of other things too, right? Yeah, there's fairies, fairies and goblins and, and, and wolves and where. Foxes. Foxes and wear <laughs> panthers and wear tigers and all that. So it's it's uh, got horror elements to it. Um, but, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. I don't know if we'd call her a woman of horror, but I'm throwing it out there to see if she, so. if she counts. You know what I mean? Because uh, there's definitely... You know, she went with the vampire thing theme on her stuff, whatever. Like I said, I don't count Stephanie Meyer because I think the Twilight books are, it's just straight up romance <laughs> novels. There's nothing really horrific in those, you know what I mean? What so. about the Victoria character? Uh, in Twilight? Yeah. Uh, yeah, The I first guess. one was pretty damn scary, the first actress. I feel like it's more like an antagonist than like a scary. But like, you know, the red hair, the yeah. eyes. She looked cool. Know. And she yeah, was a murderer, right? I mean, yeah. she was just yeah, straight up killer. That little right? that little group, that little first three, they were pretty bad. You know what I mean? They were pretty badass, whatever. But uh, like, even when you get later on into like the European vampires that were supposedly the bad ones, I was kind of like, "What's her name?" Uh, <laughs> the Volturi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, eh. you know, what oh, I mean? you okay. know yeah. the young one. Yeah. Uh, what's oh, her name? right. Fanny. Yeah, Fanny. Fanny. Could yeah, Dakota, Dakota Fanny. Fanny. Dakota. Yeah. 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 I like yeah. her. I don't know. Nope. It's just no. Nope. I feel like it's playing with those elements. You know what I mean? But I, I if I was at Blockbuster, I wouldn't stock those in a horror. I would oh, put no, them probably no, no. like no, in no. Like, no. But I mean, uh, you know, she's yeah, you know, 
Yeah, and I, what, I get it. It'd probably be in like know. fantasy. It's like first love story. Yeah, it's whatever, weird. But... Again, that's interesting. Where would you put it? Because I, yeah. I don't know how. Not the movie you know. itself, but what about the the characters? Uh, yeah, again, but I, I'm not iconic enough to be not for me to consider okay. like a woman of okay. horror. Mm. So. No, there is one that Roxanne sent me, which I've never seen, but I've heard plenty mm-hmm. of uh, Ginger Snaps. Yeah. Oh, oh and I love werewolves. We haven't talked about any werewolves, I feel like. <laughs> well, she is one of the. And that's a movie I've heard about a lot. Werewolves, uh, right? She was on one of the lists I watched. Yeah, uh, Ginger is her name, Ginger, right? Ginger. Yeah, Ginger is her name. And it talks about her and how she kind of spirals. Yeah, and so. she snaps. It's a really I fun see it. <laughs> movie. I own it. We can watch it. Yeah, I want to watch it's that It's a, a really fun film. These characters, the two sisters are very, like, misfits. They don't quite fit in it at school. Ginger's, like, coming into her own, coming, you know, getting... Uh, becoming a woman, you know, uh, getting pretty. So it's during puberty. It's like during, but uh, that's when I, I thought that was really cool. Okay. You know what I mean? Because okay. there's not a lot. Is of, there a lineage of her family being werewolves or something? No, no. no. she gets okay. bit yeah. by she gets one. Bit. Oh, but okay. if you continue with the story all the way to uh, Ginger Snaps Part Three. Oh shit! There's uh, a trilogy. There's a yeah. There's okay. a three. And the two. What, what I love about it is, Part Two. Is nothing like part one. Oh, no. Wow. That's, and it's a whole new story. It's a continuation of a story, and it's nothing like the other one. Mm-hmm. So what's lovely about it is you get a brand new story with the character you already know. And Ginger is not really in it because she's her sister. Yeah. Yeah, it's her sister. But uh, but on the third one, Ginger is in it, and it shows kind of like a lineage of why werewolves are in that area. Oh, okay. That's cool. So she got bit by werewolves in that area because they've always had werewolves in that area so i think that's kind of cool mm-hmm. yeah you're a fan of these as well just something yes. you've seen them both yes. or no, all i haven't three? seen the third one. Oh, no. okay but you've seen the but first i've seen two. the first two yeah. okay and you agree woman yes. of horror there yes right? it sounds totally like she agree. might be the lone wolf <laughs> even though she gets ah. bit the, like the... her her hormones being a teenager and she i think she starts a period she starts a period so, so it's, all it's, it's that incorporated, is like, like i said puberty somebody's right. going into so she's like angry angst you know Okay. It, it trying to become part of the 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 popular kids. Yeah. Of course, when she turns, she becomes like this. Guys right. are starting to pay attention yeah. to her. Uh, you know that kind of She gets thing. the confidence. So, right. Uh, she gets yeah. the confidence. I think a little bit. Yeah. Because when you're what is it like on Wolf? They're like when you get bit by a werewolf, you feel good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so it's like Teen Wolf, but for girls, but more badass. <laughs> more because she's gonna yeah. like fuck you up. So. Uh, Okay, I dig that. That's pretty cool. I want to check it out. I, I I'm interested, it's, I'd be especially happy to since watch it, with it was on one of those. <laughs> yeah, it was on one of those lists I mentioned, and they mentioned her as one of the the I women say we of have horror. Night. Mm-hmm. So yeah, sure. let's do it. How about you, Double A's? Or somebody that we've missed or haven't talked about? You know what? Let's talk about this quickly. Uh, you know, I mean, not quickly, but you know, while we can. We did not in in my write up. I mentioned the comic book characters because I mentioned movies, TV. But there's obviously a couple of comic book characters that you first brought up to me when you first proposed this to me. Some of them were obviously probably the main one, Vampirella. Vampirella, yes. Uh, of the most one of the most famous, most iconic uh, yes. female, <laughs> definitely gorgeous. I think in my write up, I say if she was gonna bite me, I just would say yes and just deal with it. <laughs> um, Absolutely gorgeous. Right. Since the seventies. Seventies, yes. She's been around since the seventies. So she's like from a planet where blood is water. Draculon. Yeah. So where like the blood is the water for them. Yeah. You know, and the planet starts drying up. Mm -hmm. So she kind of tries to leave and come to Earth to see if there's a way to save her planet. You know, and she finds Dracula there. Yeah. And Dracula is from this planet too. But he's been there. He's left that planet. <laughs> he's came to Earth and he's, you know, been sucking on people. <laughs> you know, he's living he's like, like a king here. Yeah, he's living like mm-hmm. a king. So that's what Vampirella does. She stays here and tries to uh, live around the Earth. But I mean, her look is so iconic. You know, oh, yeah. uh, they, if I could, I'd dress up like that. <laughs> you know, she so, thick. She thick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the, from the planet Dracula. I don't. I. I'm not. I never read any of her comics, but I've always been familiar with her imagery, and that to me says something. When it's like she strikes you because it's just the images. Like, we have two posters of her hanging in my bathroom. We're about to hang a third, third one, one yeah. just because we love the way she looks. But and that seventies look, a you know, she had that has that vampire look. Yeah, you know, and there was a movie. And there was a movie. I didn't yeah. ever see it. 
Uh, that for other movie, yeah. The girl yeah, that plays was. her's name is Talia the something The one who or played other. Katana from uh, Mortal Kombat. Oh, she's beautiful. I think it's from 97 or 99. It is. It's from like it's 96, 97. Nice. If somebody can find it, I, I'll be willing to watch it because I, I dig the Vampirella yeah. character, but I don't uh, own any of the comics. But, I mean, it doesn't mean I wouldn't. I certainly mm. would. Yeah, that's um, a reprint of her first appearance up there. Ah, there you go. You know, so. But the fact that she's an alien and, is kind of cool. And then, you know, the the comic that Roxanne picked up at Mario's was mm-hmm. like the the coming of Vampirella. Right. You know, the, the creepy. Of creepy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah which cool. I picked up myself, you know, when he told me that, you know. Nice. So, that is not a cute. She's nice. very oh, no. iconic. And then uh, Lady background. Death. Lady, Lady Death, Death herself. Yeah. You know? Lady Death. Yeah. That's another um, Bram Polito, right? Yeah. Bram Polito. Polito. Her original name was Hope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she was born in the Middle Ages and her dad was uh, dabbled in black magic. Okay. Uh you know, the, there's townspeople that come after him. They get her. They're going to burn her. She makes a deal with the demon. Mm. Uh, she becomes Lady Death. And, you know. Right on from there. Right there on you from go, there. Right? She's just, yeah. Um, this is a, another character that I never read any of the comics. But I remember your brother was huge into her. He was very He big had the her. issue one. It yeah. was cool with the big gold sword with blood. She was all white, white eyes. In the evil Ernie you character. Know, big bust, you know you what know, I mean? She comes out in evil Ernie. He, she, it's almost like she's an imagination of him. Interesting. You know, okay. she's like a supportive, like, yeah, go on and kill. Kill all these people, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Good old evil well, she Ernie. she becomes man. like a real person. She is a real person. She's not just evil Ernie's imagination. Mm. You know, so... <laughs> very cool. Very pretty, cool. <laughs> pretty creepy. I definitely think know? that these two would constitute, especially Vampirella, would yeah, constitute... It'd be hard to dress like them, though. Oh, it'd be very hard but to I've dress like them. I've seen it, like when the girls yeah. pull it off, it looks amazing. Oh, I'm sure you can the go- Google image uh, cosplay Vampirella, cosplay Lady Death and see... A ton of them that go for what's it. What's better than this movie version? You, you probably can't. Move. <laughs> yeah. But what's the actress's name? Um, Talia something or other, right? I don't know. I was looking to see if it was streaming anywhere, but it wasn't anywhere. I, I don't could think find so. It. You Ooh. probably got to find an old DVD copy of it to <laughs> watch it. But I'd be interested to see what they did with it, just to see. But uh, those are definitely some of the uh, comic book women of horror. I can't think of anyone else off the top of my head. When it comes to uh, horror, no, probably not. Yeah, not necessarily Talisa horror. Talisa Soto. Talisa Soto. There you go. Okay. Yeah. And she was in Mortal Kombat. And Combat, she was a Bond girl, too. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah, License to Kill. Nice. Yeah. Nice. License to Kill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, I mean, that's it. That's it. all that I had, really. But if you guys have anyone some. else, go ahead. Let's go. Well, for, here's your Roxy. It's more animated, and I thought okay. I'd mention Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, yeah. that's a great woman mm, of horror. Yeah. I love that. And again, we're back at Tim Burton, right? Yeah, Tim Burton. Yeah, so yeah just he's like provided us with many. Yeah, yeah. you know. Um, Sally's an icon. Mm-hmm. Sally has the section at Spirit Store uh, <laughs> and Walgreens. You could get uh, mm-hmm. Nightmare Before Christmas. That's how I almost a Frankenstein origin, right? Almost a Frankenstein origin. They even yeah. had makeup from mm-hmm. her. Nightmare. That's right. They have the the what do you call it? a palette? The palette. The palette. My yeah. daughter dressed up like her one year. Too. Very oh, cool. that's right. Yeah. She was yeah. super cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sally. Yeah, I love that story. I love that she wanted to protect Jack and that she wanted to be. Uh, you know, that'd be a cool costume. You can, obviously, that's a great one to dress as. You recognize it. Definitely an icon. Uh, mm. Definitely a woman of horror. I love Night Before Christmas at Halloween and Christmas time. You can watch it at both times. And it's a good Halloween movie and a good Christmas movie. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> a good, good pull. Rocks on Sally. Yeah. Um, I also had another animated, uh, which is also... Tim Burton, which is the Corpse Bride. Corpse the Bride. Corpse Bride. Does she have a name, or is it? Just... Yeah, she does. But I never remember it. Cause you know what I was thinking, the Bride of Frankenstein doesn't really have a name. She's just the Bride of Frankenstein. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think Double A is gonna get out here real quick. Yeah, uh, real quick. As we're, we're gonna we're gonna begin to Ooh, call it the wait. podcast with P breaks here, the only Sorry, one that there we're is. A bunch. <laughs> we sure are. Sorry, uh, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you said that she does have a name, right, Rox? Oh, she totally has a name. I just can't remember it. <laughs> and like I said, I was thinking about the Bride of Frankenstein, and I feel like that's all we ever call her is the Bride of Frankenstein. She doesn't really have a name mm-hmm. uh, that they call her. Um, but she deserves a name, and they should figure that out. Universal should work on that and give her a name. No, she give has her a name. name. I just, uh, the Emily. Bride... Emily. I knew it was Emily. Emily is the corpse bride. <laughs> yeah. Right, but, but the Bride of Frankenstein doesn't have a name. Oh, no, I've always known her as just... Surprise. Yeah, it's funny because when I was talking about the Girl Walk Home Alone at Night movie, uh, when I looked up with the main characters, they just called her the girl. So she <laughs> doesn't really have like a name. But um, 
Are there any others, Roxanne, that you think that you might have missed or that you want to talk about? Yeah, there was one on um, a movie called Coraline, and it's the That's right, Coraline. other mother. Her name was called The Bell Dam. Okay. And I think she's freaking horrifying. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you saw Coraline. I did not see that one. Did you see that one? Yes. Oh, my God. She is terrifying. We need to watch this movie. <laughs> okay, Coraline. Okay. Yeah. And then, of course, they... That's they, not Tim Burton, right? No, this is Henry Selleck. Okay. He's the one who actually directed Nightmare Before Christmas. Really? So it's Tim Burton's characters. And it's claymation too, it's right? A claymation. A claymation. I like that. Yeah. So uh, Tim Burton was too busy to try to do everything with the concept and making the characters and everything. So he actually had somebody else direct Nightmare Before Christmas, but it's all his concept. So that's why it's still Tim Burton's Nightmare Before right, Christmas. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so the same director. And his story, right? He wrote his the story. story. Yeah. yeah. So he's just the director of it, and so mm-hmm. he also took up the the post for uh, Coraline, and Coraline came out amazing. Yeah. And I want okay. to say, who's the one who wrote Coraline? That I don't know. I'm yeah, not sure. you do know him. I do know him. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see here. Who I wrote, feel who like wrote the Sandman. Neil Gaiman. That's him. Mm-hmm. Neil Gaiman wrote Coraline. I want to say. Well, that's pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, the I could be wrong. I mean, shit. I I'm not like the no, no, no. Expert. I mean that that's pretty awesome. If it is, I've never seen, you've seen it. Uh, Based on okay. Coraline by Neil Gaiman. Wow, very cool. I did not know that. I knew you something. Like it. You like I Coraline? like Coraline. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I okay. love Coraline. Yeah. So she would be the woman of horror from that. I think the Bell Dam. Yes. Okay. The okay. This is the that's antagonist. The, the antagonist, the scary freaking. Yeah, this is Coraline. Um, is upset with her mother because she can't do these things. And that other mm. mother mm-hmm. is like, oh, you can do this. What do you want? Like, she's catering to her, you know. Yeah. And and she's loving it. You, you familiar, know. Double A, Coraline? Oh, yeah. I actually saw that with my best friend okay. when it came out in the theater. So. But the story was written by Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman, yes. I did not know yes. that. I never mm-hmm. knew and that. And I actually got my daughter a hardcover version of that book. Really? And she loves that story. That's yeah. what I've not ever seen, but I would be... Now, now but I, I actually know got to see that at the theater. So. Very cool. <laughs> and they had a 3D version, and it was really scary. And, and the mom is it's voiced by Terry Hatcher. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. She's Coraline's voice? Yeah. No, okay. the mom. Oh, the mom. Okay. The, the opposite mom, or is it both moms? No. Oh, yeah, she's both moms. She's but it's creepy because, the like, the, the eyes are buttons. Button eyes. Right. They're yeah. sewed okay. into the, the socket. Right. So That's pretty sweet. That, I it's pretty that. scary. I think <laughs> that. Okay, cool. And, and there's, like, a little door in here that, you know, my son got scared of. <laughs> 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 He's like, stop talking about the movie. <laughs> oh, man. Very cool. Very cool. You ain't never going to open that door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Rox brought some of the animated ones with Sally. Uh, Coraline, but the from Coraline, the the Bell Dam, the Bell Dam, which is the the antagonist. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, I can't think of any others that really come off the top. Well, of I my mean, head. what a whole list, right? I mean, we got oh fire right there. Yeah. We got Vampire Lady Death. We got you know Ginger Snaps. Mm. We got you know yeah. uh, how many others? Christine, There's a lot. And oh, Angela, Angela, yeah. Angela, yeah, yeah, the mother from Psycho. Lily. No, I wanted I mean, to say something that was kind of cool from Psycho. Uh, I was watching H two O, which is Halloween, the twentieth. Twenty. First, the t- yeah. So um, I was watching it. Found out that uh, Janet Lee was in it, and I was like, Janet Lee, when when did she come out? And so, if you know Janet Lee, she was from Psycho. She was the one who was killed mm-hmm. by one. Norman Bates. Um, and that's Jamie Lee Curtis's mother. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, wow, let me look her up. So I was watching it, and I was like, oh, wow. When she gets on the screen on H2O, she's talking to Jamie Lee Curtis, and she's, like, giving her motherly (laughs) advice. (laughs) But when she walks away, they play the theme song Ah. from Psycho, and she walks to the car, which is from Psycho as well. Ah, Really? How cool is that? Oh my God! Because Psycho, Psycho is like my number one horror movie. Is it? It really is. Oh wow! That's Very my nice. most favorite horror movie. It, it's kind of funny because we didn't see it. We follow uh, Jamie Lee, and she did uh, one where she dressed up like Janet. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. just did she it. Just did yeah, it. So for that the was the premiere. Of of How cool is that? Dressed like her mom's iconic oh. character. I think I sent you that too, man, mm-hmm. and in, uh, in the social media stuff. 
But uh, very cool. No, great list. And again, this is like double A said without even talking about any of the heroines like Sydney Prescott. Yeah, because like I said, you know, how Nancy fun would that Thompson. be to dress up like them? I mean, right. honestly. Right. Who wants right. to dress up like, like Sydney? Who wants yeah. to dress up like Lori? Definitely. <laughs> you know, they're, Sydney. They're definitely <laughs> iconic for having outlasted, you know, some of like, their Like, what are you going to dress up like Nancy? Villains? That you'd be like, who, who right. you know, Nancy from Nightmare on Elm Street. What, what are you going to put on? I, <laughs> I would have to carry around the phone with uh, Freddy Krueger's tongue. tongue. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Maybe that would help. Like, scream. Maybe. Scream? Yeah. Scream? Oh, right. Scream. Scream. Be like, scream? oh no, that's what, no, that actually time. happened. No, you weren't there. So we were at, uh, golly, that, that, that couple. Oh, my God, I can't remember. Uh huh. That couple that always has the that awesome, awesome Halloween parties. Trevor yeah. and um, Corey. 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 Yeah. Corey. Sorry about it, Corey. <laughs> but, uh, they had one where somebody, one of their friends dressed up as Drew Barrymore, and she carried around a phone with her okay. so that we would know. <laughs> I guess I guess I would get it if you had the blonde bob. Yeah, and she the had the blonde turtleneck. bob, and she had the, like, a blood splatter. Okay. What about, okay. What about Linda Blair? It's a stretch. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. You know what? That was one that also occurred on several lists, and somebody else put that. They yeah, said I mean, Regan geez. is the tops. Uh, and I was like, maybe, wow, I didn't think maybe, about it. Maybe can you imagine it, someone but... dress up like that? <laughs> Number With one, the white contacts, yeah. the ugly face. I had a I mean, dream about her. Oof, I was so... sitting at the bottom of the bed that was post, and I was sitting in front of the mirror. Oh, shit. And in the mirror, I could see her. Oh. And she's oof. just like, ah, ah. And I, I was so terrified. I could not move. Yeah. You know, and, I, and I'm just seeing myself and her in the mirror, and it's just... Freak me out. Rob, take, what if you saw sweat. someone for Halloween in the blue pajamas? I think that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. I did see somebody who uh, did uh, dressed up with her, but they also attached a bed to themselves. Ooh. Oh, I've seen nice. that. And I've she can that. actually, yeah. like, she turns Move. around in the yeah. bed. That and, was uh, pretty cool. That's I, like, that I had to win whatever it was. If you saw someone dressed up like that coming to your house for candy. Yeah. That's <laughs> fucking that's pretty freaky, man. That, they they get the whole bowl for me. Uh, <laughs> I would say her and Carrie, they definitely gotta be considered big time women of horror at the top, whatever. And if you get yourself some pea soup to spit out. Yeah. Yeah. But what an amazing performance from Linda Blair. Oh, I know. She was oh, very what, young. A 13, 14, yeah. whatever she Something was. Like Speaking that. of here, because he's had the opportunity to meet her. I had the opportunity to meet her. She Did was you? super nice. Super cool woman, so nice. yeah, cool. I have the autograph back there. Nice, but yeah, I mean, super cool, super awesome. So. Very cool. Mm. Can't Very say cool. enough good things about her. Yeah, so that would be one you have to probably put in your top. You know, definitely. I would think five, so. If not ten. Yeah. Right? <laughs> definitely. But who would be the ultimate? If you were to dress up, who'd be the ultimate? The ultimate woman of horror. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I got to give it, you know, to Rox, and I got to say, for me, it's like Elvira, because Elvira. Elvira was always like, you know, the mistress of the dark, as she calls herself, and she just kind of owned that and was, you know, again, she'd be the ultimate in, representation. In this shirt, they put her in the middle, I think, for they a reason, the middle, or whatever. Yeah. They they reduced her cleavage, but, you know, in the middle, like, you <laughs> well, know, she's, she's fantastic there. fantastic cleavage. You know, yeah. Yeah. and, you know, I had got to meet her, you know, that's someone that I wanted to meet or whatever. Yeah. I was at the same con where I think you and Tony met Linda Blair or whatever. Yes. But, I yeah. was never like again for me like you know that big of the Exorcist fan. I like it. It's fine. She's mm, just but... a super big icon. You yeah, know? And she had a long line. She yeah. had a super long line. Who did? Uh, Linda Blair. Linda Blair. Linda Blair? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, I mean everybody was there to meet her. I yeah, mean, she's again that has to be the ultimate representation. Yeah, of a horror icon. Um, but for sure, when it comes to like you know scary, scary because Elvira is not particularly scary. No, but she's the mistress of the dark. She's definitely the mistress of the dark. Yeah, no, no and doubt. She has an awesome car. No doubt. <laughs> and an awesome right? dog. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, you think about Carrie, you think about Linda Blair. I gotta say, you think about uh, Annie Wilkes, you know, from Misery. I mean, it's like you know, again, I think if somebody was kind of dressed like that, you know, had her her hair and the With the, the sledge, sledge at least. you gotta have the sledge. Yeah, you gotta have a sledge. You, you would you'd get it. You know what I mean? Uh, so. Um, Maybe even a pig. It's interesting. Maybe, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. misery! I mean, yeah. Misery. <laughs> pig. Um, for and, sure. And like do the like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit. Um, what about you, hun? Who's who'd be number one for you? Is it hard to say? Because we did mention like Lily Munster and Morticia yeah, Adams. Selma Hayek. You know, you know Selma. Yes, and Nancy Sonica from the craft, yeah. you know, Or Vampira, kind of Vampira? an originator of mm -hmm. that genre. You know what I mean? Is there someone that tops it out for you? 
just For maybe that um, satanic pandemonium. Oh my god! Nice and I've I've suggested it for many years now. I really want Jess to dress up <laughs> like Santanico. You should be with Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> uh, I'll get bit. I'll get bit, hun. Uh, that's All a right. that's a cool one. Uh, I don't know how we pull off the snake, but yeah, well. that would be pretty cool, <laughs> um, for sure. Uh, Double A, do you have someone that tops your list? Man, the bride, maybe the bride of Frankenstein. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. she would probably be iconic. pretty up there for me again because of the iconicness the of it. Almost, you know? yeah. I think so, Put man. Together. I mean, like I said, I mean they yeah. they gave her like her own whole movie. You know what I mean? And yeah, then and, it's, and you said she only comes out in just a little bit, but yeah. it's called the Bride of Frankenstein, and it's endured like the look and that inspired i would say again like you know um lily's monster's hair is inspired yeah. by her with the kind of the yeah. streaks you know what i mean um, and then you know her and morticia yeah, yeah mm. for sure yeah. for sure so i i definitely think so um but lydia you know lydia deets definitely up there i mean because she's got you know that pool with the crowds and you know we say morticia she's... but what about wednesday yeah, I know. We didn't even mention Wednesday at all. And definitely she's become she an is. icon as yeah. well. Like Jess said, I she's always so. trying to kill Bugsley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that gif of the old the old school one where she's like dancing all fast yeah. or whatever. Oh, yeah. like, it's like a classic. Like, I used it for one of my, my ads. So. Yeah. But Christina Ricci definitely you know, gave a lot to that role too. And, and I think that she definitely is an icon for mm-hmm. sure. So um, I think we're up against at our last break, yeah. guys. We'll take this last break, and then we'll open up the comments. I'll let you guys comment in live while we're uh, recording. Uh, tell us who you think is the uh, ultimate, ultimate icon. you know, Madam of the Macabre, the ultimate woman of horror. Mm. Is there just one? Is it multiple? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's all these women are awesome, and if they're a werewolf, you get to hear them roar. <laughs> we'll be right back, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, if you're still hanging out with us, sticking around here on the old stream yard, uh, we got uh, a few comments in here. Double A, what do we got? Right, it's just Jason saying Astros are winning. Oh, there we go. All right, and good night. Jason, Jason says good night, y'all. So good night, but uh, go enjoy the game. Um, again, no skin in the game for me on that one, so it's not, not really that big of a deal. I'll take a beer, Double A, if you're, if you're Which having one. Make that too. Uh, whatever you got okay. there. We're letting this audio load up. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Nice. You, should have some. you want one of these? No, yes. I'll take one of these. Oh, Thank you. Wow. Cool. There you go. My fave. There you go, guys. Um, yeah, so Talk like I said, right with your... that's all I have. Is that another rolling rock? Yeah. Except for, uh, like I said, the... I had Lori on there from... Oh, from uh, Well, okay, <laughs> so, is so guys, let's yeah. talk about heroines. Mm-hmm. Uh, who would you say is the number one heroine? Jamie Lee Curtis. Lori. Lori. <laughs> it's undoubtedly. It would be Nancy from Nightmare. No. I mean, I see Nancy... Um, but I just I'm more attracted to Halloween. What <laughs> or Sydney? What about that that dude from Nightmare on Elm Street Part Two? <laughs> oh my God! Oh, man. He's a scream queen, yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it. We, we can't deny his rights. <laughs> You've got the body, but I've got the brain. Uh-huh. I mean, I remember watching it. I haven't kids. seen that doc. Have you seen a doc yet? I have. How is it? It's pretty good, it's actually. It's pretty funny. Yeah. And you, you feel sympathetic towards the guy because he had his 15 minutes of fame and he was invited to all the Hollywood parties. Was he? And they thought he was going to be a real big thing. Oh, wow. And it just okay. didn't work out. Well, it worked out for the other dude. Which one? The, the best friend. Yeah. <laughs> it he worked did, out he for did him. some movies. Yeah. So wait, what happened? There was a documentary? Yes. There, it's on Shudder, right? All about uh, Matt Brennan's Sh- 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 yeah. yeah. Which actually sticks in my brain. That one I kind of remembered pretty well. So... My brother would go on and on saying how Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2 was super badass. He was like, man, it's really good. It's, especially the ending. It's really good. Okay. I remember seeing it the first time. I was like, man, this is kind of gay. You know, like, not like in a bad way. It's just like, man, there's like he a lot. He just screams so good. Yeah, and that too, his scream. So mm-hmm. I was kind of like, hmm, this is kind of weird. And boy, I was like, when was the last time? I asked boy, I was like, when was the last time you saw this movie? <laughs> it was just like, well, it was a long time ago when I was a kid, but it seems scarier then, you know. Yeah. There's just so much parts. And they've admitted, the director, you know, everyone has admitted that, yeah, they put those you know, subjects in there on okay. purpose. On purpose. So okay. it's, it's, you know, so it wasn't just like, oh, man, this is really gay. It was meant to be that way. Okay. And I saw a little clip where Robert England was kind of like saying how he wanted to make Freddy more homoerotic. Oh, like yeah. being kind of like coming out from him 
Mm-hmm. Or whatever, kind of like the way he says it, you know, he's hiding inside of him and he comes out. Oh, you know, okay. Like, that's how they saw Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. So. Well, he also, like, Freddy Krueger, or Robert England, actually ad libbed a line that was one of my favorite lines. Which one was it? Which was, uh, like, he said, and he, it's, it's not because of the line, but it's how he says yeah. it. It's very scary. Whatever. So he's at the pool party and he's that, terrorizing that the kids. Yeah. And he's like, and he talks to the, all the teenagers. He's like, you are all. My children, and I was like, "Huh." <laughs> and the ending is pretty damn scary, you know. It, yeah. it, it really is. It's yeah. pretty damn scary. So. I, I remember that scene. Like I said, so much where he's like, "So you've got the body, like, but I've got the brain." And see, that's yeah. the thing. Like the main character moves into Nancy's house. Like whole family moves okay. into Nancy's house. So it's like it's still possessed by Freddy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, but there's just like weird shit in there that you're just like, what, he's "Where like the hell is it going?" Becoming Freddy. Or yeah, something. it's like Freddy's in him. Interesting. And like I said, it's he's coming out. <laughs> oh, know? I see. They're you know, out. Okay. Right, right. Yeah. So right, right, there's right. a lot of like any windows in there, you know. Interesting. So it's interesting. I think maybe you rewatch and see. Like, I had I, if you watch it, well, how would you rate that movie though? Honestly, Nightmare on Elm Street Part Two. It's not my favorite. Yeah, I don't right. Put that on so, that often, yeah. but it does have great parts. So if it's on, there's I do watch it. There's parts in there, but I mean, it's yeah. not one of those movies that you recommend someone to see. Weren't we mm. just looking at the Nightmare on Elm Street that were available to watch? Part Two wasn't yeah. on there. It was like no. three, four. It was like one. Because you can kind of skip. Too. Five, yeah. to be honest, it yeah. is my like three, four, yeah. There was missing number. It was like two. a, it was like a hodgepodge of like. But I mean, that's not saying the other ones are better. Like four and five, are right? Probably I mean, you could that probably much better. For a price. Well, see, that's yeah. when people say he, he gets more comical. One. You know, the Freddy. I'm saying, saying, like when you get Dream Master, Dream Child, it's just like, yeah, whatever. You yeah, know? it's like it's really only part I like one Dream and, Warrior and Dream Warrior. <laughs> right. I was gonna say it's only one and, and three. <laughs> but who is it? So you said, right. so you said, Lori's the ultimate heroine. What about you, Jess? Who would you say is the ultimate? It'd be Ripley. Oh. Would it be Sydney? But we cut. We mentioned Sarah Connor earlier, like in our conversation about uh, we it. We did mention Sarah, but uh, it might be more sci-fi. That, 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 that could be a horror, I guess. You can. The say. first one definitely feels like scary. sci-fi horror. That's a yeah. scary one. I, I was terrified. She's very Ripley esque, where she too starts out kind of her. a weaker woman, and mm-hmm. then Sarah Connor works. Because she does way start up. off. You know, this frail, what about scared. You, Sam? Uh, the ultimate heroine. Heroine. Yeah, female. Kirsty from Hellraiser. You guys just saw that. Yeah. Stanley from Scream. Nancy from I Nightmare. Think maybe Ripley is. Ripley the from upper. Alien franchise. I, I would go with Nancy, and I would say because I, you know I, she fought back. And I mean, like she fights she with did. Freddy, like Even on the she bed. Died in part three. She kind of home alones him a little bit, like you know, the, it's him with the hammer and all that, like in part one. You know what no. I mean? Like that's <laughs> fucking like pretty, like you know, she had this whole plan. You know, like don't fall asleep. If you fucking see me freaking out, wake me up. Like you know, I was like, all right, she's she gets she in that one movie becomes bad by the end. Like I'm like, all right, like Nancy fucking knows what's up, and you know. As a little boy, I remember being scared of Freddy a lot and, and that movie, but it was like, okay, like, you got to think like her. Like, she wasn't, she became not afraid and she had, like, a plan or whatever, you know? Right. And she was like, we'll catch this guy. But there was so much shit that happened, like, you know, like, when she's got the hat, like, when she wakes up and she's got the fucking hat, you're like, oh, shit, like, what the yeah. fuck? Like, this shit is yeah. real. The like, it marks. freaking freaks you out. Yeah. yeah, that one freaks you out, I think. Just the nails themselves, mm-hmm. and he's like, you know. Yeah. I always hated that scene where he had the long arms. Yeah, like, I, I was know. like, why is this fucking freaking go, go me out? Go go catch it up. Like, <laughs> and then I felt like he got shorter when he was running towards her. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, did you lose some inches? <laughs> Let me bring us back into the recording, guys, to close it out. All right, guys, we're in our last block here, talking all about the Madams of the Macabre, the women of horror. If you caught us during the break, we talked a little bit about Nightmare on Elm Street and some of the heroines from these movies uh, that have been there, like Laurie Strode, uh, Nancy from Nightmare on Elm Street. Sydney uh, from Scream. Sydney from Kirstie Scream. from Hellraiser. Yeah, there's been a lot of those. And not to Ripley discount Ripley from Aliens. It's just we think that it might be a different subject matter. They're definitely women of horror, um, but not but like... we're talking about the women that love the horror. Yeah, we're, yeah like Double A said, somebody you want to dress up as for Halloween, nobody wants to dress as Sydney Prescott. I mean, like, you know, you... You could, you know, but would anybody but know be, who you were? It, you'd have to get something to for your people to be like, oh, you're Sydney. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Well, oh, so you're Nancy. So would this person be on the cusp? Wizard of Oz, Wicked Witch. Ooh. Ooh. Uh... Definitely That's an iconic a looking yeah. witch. Yeah. I mean, like, when you think of witch, you think of kind of that witch. That you one. know what I mean? Yeah. I would definitely say 
Now she's scary. It, it's just that that movie is scary. not a horror movie. No, or whatever, but I mean, but... She's, she tries to well, set fire on Scarecrow. Oh, yeah. She's, <laughs> she's definitely horrifying, for sure. What if they did, like, a, a prequel to how she became that way? You there know? was a prequel. There was, yeah, there Wicked was. is the, the prequel. The James Franco one, right? Yeah. yeah. No, that's Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Mm. But the, uh, the the play Wicked is the priest. The Wicked. Oh, okay. That's right. That's right. That. They gave her a name, Elphaba. And oh. she has... Uh, She's attending a school with Glenda the Good Witch. And they actually started, they actually started out somewhat as friends. Not, really? Not firstly as friends, but, like, they're roommates, and Glenda felt bad from kind of for kind of, like, playing, like, a joke on her, and so she's, like, trying to help Glenda, and then they actually, I mean, help Elphaba, and they kind of, like, become friends, and then, like... Later on, when nobody's really accepting her because she's a bit of a social misfit, um, she kind of like goes off on her own and lives mm. in where she lives, where, she, where those flying monkeys are. Well, now I gotta see that. Yeah, <laughs> see. there's a movie version of it. Uh, I think I so. Is there? I'd always know so. it to be a play. I thought it was just a play. I, yeah. It's just a play, but I think you can find a version of the play you can in a watch. movie form. Mm. Yeah, I'd always known about the play because it's a pretty popular play, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was I like, saw oh, it. that's cool that they do that. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to see I that. saw the play. Has your it sister done a production? No? She did. She did. She did the pro- not not a projection for school. She actually works as like a costume mistress, sort of. I call it mm-hmm. costume. I know that's not the title, Shannon, but. <laughs> uh, I call her costume mistress over at the Majestic, and she did uh, Wicked. Very it was cool, awesome. very cool. And uh, Roxy's sister is a theater teacher, so she at a high nice, school, so she nice. puts on productions of her own. So very nice. I would love to see a production of Wicked. We should make it a point to go watch that. Huh? I really watch on it Broadway. I watch it on Broadway. Or, wow, or off Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> Mom and Dad Emma went to go see that. Really? Yeah, they loved it a lot. Really? Okay, lot, cool. Yeah. I love when someone takes something old like that and then like adds another layer to it. It's not a remake. Yeah. It's it's like, hey, what about this person's story? before you know what I mean so I should do the uh, Scarecrow before like no brain oh like, okay being, just being well they did the there. lion oh they, they did the lion already see yeah. so it's like damn that's okay. been touched on now okay. right so you gotta do that uh, I'm gonna give an honorable shout out to fellow podcasters podcast women of horror but um, Ash and Elena from the Morbid podcast you know I talk about that podcast yes, I'm not a true crime fan but I've become a true crime fan it's hard them. to hear those and yeah. they bring true fucking horror to like true crime horror is like another level of horror i was just telling these two on the way over here the uh recent episodes i heard were about this house in iowa that's like an axe murder house Ew. and it's like uh six kids and like two adults killed there but you can spend the night there like the lizzie borden house <laughs> you can st- actually okay. stay there all right uh and i was like yeah no i wouldn't want to spend the night but you know maybe to go walk through it and see it and they say even that <laughs> they have the actual axe that was used like they, wow they Shit. They found it or whatever, yeah. But it's an unsolved. Like it's they don't know. There's there's many suspects, but mm. uh, the, the true killers or whatever. But for me, I can listen to them and I can get pretty fucking horrified listening to them. And I would <laughs> say that they're definitely podcast women of horror for sure. Uh, Ash and Elena on the Morbid podcast. Go check it out if you guys want to listen to something uh, true crimey. Uh, and they have some episodes too that are like kind of about like haunted places and stuff like that too they talk about our ghost tracks in one episode um yeah uh, ghost adventure scene kind of debunked that one uh yeah 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 we were talking about that too how that's not really uh but well that and mythbusters i think were here too right yeah Yeah. Yeah. everybody was here supposedly (laughs) yeah supposedly there's like a slope yeah that kind of pushes the car down and it's your the fingerprints are just our fingerprints. our fingerprints yeah well, not only that Makes but sense. the accident happened 200 miles from here and that's kind of like in Utah or something right yeah well, i did read we did we do have the fourth most haunted hotel in the texas Manger? the manger really yeah. interesting so, but i've so. also heard some of the other ones are haunted as well like the mm-hmm. When Emily we were, Morgan. Uh, the, the Emily yeah, Morgan. Emily Morgan. And then when me yeah. and Jess stayed at the Gunther for New Year's or whatever. Oh, yeah. uh, number one, it feels creepy in there. And, you know, that's where, like, Robert Johnson recorded music at the, the hotel or whatever. Yes. No, no, no. The Gunther. No, it's a Minger. The Robert Johnson recorded yeah. It's also the Gunther. They've got it in there. The bar okay. is named after All him. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, 
yeah, it just feels creepy in there. Like you're like, oh, it's well, people still like. take pictures and say, "Look at this form. Looks like the lady who used to live here, or whatever." Right, mm. right. So for sure, I definitely think there's enough haunted shit without needing the ghost tracks for sure. Right. But um, yeah, why did we have to make anything up? <laughs> yeah, I know. I was and then like, there was there, a, a movie called Fingerprints based off of the San Antonio. Uh, really? Shit. Track. How was it? It's terrible. Oh, jeez. So oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, uh, guy who made it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still it. waiting for the movie Where's My Golden Arm. Where's ah. my golden arm? <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't think of anybody else that maybe deserves a mention uh, right off the top but of my I mean, head. What a list, though, we came up with. Oh, yeah. You know, that... I'm sure we're missing some. Someone's going to call us out on somebody that we're missing, which is you know, totally fine. I want to hear who we missed. You know but I mean, mean, there's so many great women that can be dressed up like ass. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. Well, I want to say one. It's not horror. It's more sci-fi, but it's like I call it sci-fi horror. And I want to say Scully from X-Files is a woman. That's a great one. Yeah, that's a great one. <laughs> yeah. Man, she definitely dealt with some horrific situations for sure. Exactly. And Amy was just telling me the other day, you know, and Amy was saying, she's like, you want to get scared at night, watch X-Files at night by yourself. You'll be like, <laughs> I fucking can't sleep now. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah, for sure. I definitely think that Agent Scully definitely deserves to be uh, mentioned uh, amongst the women of horror. You know, we talked about heroines. I did not mention it right now. But I've talked about her all the time, a little bit at the beginning of the show. But Clarice Starling, you know Clarice. what I mean? Like, you know, oh, she's yeah. dealing with the real, the real deal there, and she That's also really fought yeah. back. You know, what I, mean? I love Clarice. Some of those are my some of my favorite uh, books and movies. Uh, respectively in their own without comparing them to one another but just on their own uh, and i like the julianne moore and the um the jodie foster. foster uh versions of clarice so mm. for sure for me that that's those whatever but um yeah unless you unless you ladies have anyone else you want to mention you want to talk about or yeah. discuss uh anything that you ladies want to plug or talk about before we get going uh foxy roxy um we I don't have anything to plug. You can visit me at Madam Roxanne on Instagram. That's right there. Um, and oh, happy Halloween. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know how to do it, but yeah. Uh, how about you, hon? Jess, anything that you want to plug or talk about? Uh, we know where you're yeah. at on social media. On social media, you should, it should be Trinket Tuck, um, or Trinket underscore Truck mm-hmm. on Instagram. Um, I think that's the only one I have. And then your Facebook is uh, trickertruck.com, and you sell different stuff, right? I sell paparazzi jewelry. Jewelry? Yeah. yeah. So Very cool. You can hit Very... me up on that, too. Awesome, guys. Uh, and listen, when Jess tells you guys to go subscribe to us on YouTube, yeah, go check subscribe. that out. If you guys want any merchandise, please go check out. Some of our shirts are available over at threeleggedrabbit.com. You can get Just Another Friday Night shirts. Shirts for our fellow podcasters. Now watch this. Uh, as well as other cool shirts like the Joker, Frankenstein uh, is on there, I believe, uh, Ghostbusters. So if you like stuff like that, go check it out. Uh, don't forget to go support our buddy uh, Invincible Comics and more, Chris Rizzo, uh, doing great stuff there. And he also has shirts on uh, threelegedrabbit.com, including one that he made for us. Uh, you can go check that out there. Uh, if you need comic book stuff, uh, hit up our buddy Mario over at Authority Comics Sorry, on uh, Facebook. Uh, for sure, you may run into him tomorrow over at the Ekman's uh, show. Uh, if you haven't already, follow us at JFN Podcast on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. We're at all those, but mainly go subscribe on YouTube. That's where we really need you guys' love and support for sure right now. Subscribe, like. There you Come go. Come on, guys, you there can do you it. Go. And if you're really super bored, you can give a like to uh, the monkey and the Yunkie. That's me and my nephew's uh, YouTube channel. We have a new video coming out soon where we unbox stuff or whatever. And you don't have to be bored to watch it. It's fun even when you're not. Uh, it's a lot shorter than this show. I promise you that. Um, and uh, last but not least, I do want to give one more shout out to uh, the East Central Hornets who defeated the Judson yeah. Rockets for the yeah. first time in 40 years. I got the pleasure of meeting 42. fellow fellow podcaster uh, Joe uh, his son, uh, John, uh, number four for the Hornets on the defense. Got to meet him the other night over at the uh, East Central uh, Homecoming right. Parade. Uh, it was really cool, uh, really good kid. Joe, you're doing a great job with him. And as long as you guys keep kicking ass on the football field, we really appreciate it for the Hornets. So go Hornets. Yeah, they're like actually in the top 20. Yeah, man, really awesome. Yeah, UTSA keep winning too, right? That too, yeah, that too. <laughs> so pretty cool. Some San Antonio sports getting some yeah. Spurs won the other night, so we're always happy about that. But uh, other than that, uh, I don't think I got anything else. Uh, Ladies? 
Yeah. No, nothing. Oh, no, I no. just want to say a huge thanks to Madam Roxanne, Jess, uh, for coming hey. on the show. This was really fun. Uh, I really had a good time doing this show. Yeah, uh, me too. It's fun. You it's know, awesome. I kind of just wanted to bring this to the forefront. You know, the you know, there's a lot of great horror women out there. You know, oh that totally. Are, you know, just as big as Michael Myers, Leatherface, Jason. You know, so. I thought it was a great choice for a topic, man, and one that we probably what wouldn't have talked about. I probably wouldn't have thought of or whatever just because I wouldn't think of it. But I mean, great topic. Yeah. And uh, when you're talking about the women of horror, you got to have two women of horror here with you. I don't know any two other bigger horror fans than these two, uh, <laughs> and who would know exactly what we're talking about. I watch most of my horror movies with Jess, so um, yeah. Like yeah, you said, totally. Roxanne last year had just a great run of like Halloween costumes. That Absolutely, was super awesome. and thank you guys for dressing up. I know this stuff's probably not totally comfortable or whatever. Yeah, probably not comfortable. Wigs and all that. Yeah. This is not Jessica's hair. So, yeah, it's a, I wish no, it was. Yeah. I wish it was. Yeah, you can use it almost for a uh, Game of Thrones. Also, that. Way. Right. So, yeah, but um, for sure. Well, guys, uh, there is something that we like to say at the end of every show, guys, and that is if there is something that you want to do, uh, something that you want to accomplish, you guys, today's the day to do it. Seize the day. There's no time like the present to make that uh, dream, intuition, whatever it may be, happen. Uh, look at these women we talked about, uh, women of horror. Uh, obviously, they didn't know they were going to become the next horror yeah, I mean, Elvira, icon. Elvira, Vampira, yeah. I mean... They seized it. They very the very essence of seizing the day, uh, by all means. Uh, and then again, like we always like to quote the one and only great Captain America, who says in Endgame, "You got to do whatever it takes." So in order to do that, to become that, if you want to be the next Elvira, woman of horror, horror hostess, you got to do whatever it takes to make that happen. You got to get yourself a big beehive hair and you know a. a a dress doesn't have to be skimpy, but make yourself, you know, uh, known. Get out there, mm. record a YouTube video, and watch a hey, bad you B movie. Be before you do a movie, there you go. Introduce see, them. see that <laughs> and introduce a bad a bad movie. Roxanne teeth. <laughs> oh, <I love> <laughs> uh guys so remember uh every friday night come and join us live on facebook uh, check us out on youtube and then like us on all the other social media stuff uh podcast uh, is available on spotify and anywhere else podcasts are available so guys for us here just another friday night happy halloween yeah. thank you and good night Bye. <laughs> and uh unpleasant dreams, unpleasant dreams. <laughs>